Are we guys audible and visible, my dear students? Warriors, can you guys see us, hear us? Do let us know in the chat box. Hello, Sharat. Hello, Pooja. Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your An Academy Neat English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having the good time. So, my dear students. So finally, we are here with the most predicted Neat 2023 paper. Well, in this particular session, we are almost going to solve around 200 questions. and you can expect the similar sort of questions directly or indirectly in your neat 2023 examination right so please and please focus on the session properly the session duration won't be more than 3 hours right so first it's going to be ambika ma'am who'll be starting with the bio Biology. then later on physics and similarly will be going ahead with the chemistry as well but yeah. only one thing we would want from you please take this particular session very seriously because the questions which have which we have come up with they are the amazing questions and directly indirectly you can expect the same questions in yes. your upcoming neat 2023 examination and right? also to add over here those of you who have been following us for a long time you already know that this has happened again and again uh, questions from from wazim sir session or questions from my session and questions from ambika ma'ams or hsp sir session has been coming again and again in the actual examination yeah. directly or indirectly so make sure you give in your 100% till the end of the class okay exactly so guys it's going to be ambika ma'am who will be starting the session okay she'll be first doing some 900 questions or bio then later on it's going to be your captain and after captain it's going to be me and hsp sir will combinedly come here solve the questions with you together right so ambika ma'am you can carry hi on. everyone how are you how's the energy the are you people okay. excited are you guys excited for the session yes tell me in the chat section quickly see today we are going to practice the most expected 90 question and yes we'll be covering the entire syllabus okay so you have to you have to solve all the questions and we want that that after the session you all are going to comment the, your marks your score in the comment section this is what we want okay so yes uh, whenever you will solve any question put a paper with you write down the answer as well and later on even check whether you are answering it correctly or not do check the negative marking because we want to make sure that our students they get an idea Yeah, that what kind of you know what kind of question can come in exam and how to manage the time how to manage the negative marking okay okay so first of all tell me in the chat section quickly all of you all of you how's the energy how's the energy are you people excited are you guys excited for the session yes are you people excited for the session and yes i want to make it very clear to you that in today's session i didn't uh, i didn't add any assertion and reason based question reason being i have decided that separately i'm going to take one paper in which i will put maximum assertion and reason today it's just like a start for you so i want you guys to solve the basic questions i'm not saying the easy questions but yes these questions are the most repeated questions uh, very good questions they are and later on i'll keep a separate session where we We will be discussing the assertion and reason based questions so before starting the biology part i want to see the energy in the i want to see the energy in the comment section plus like the video like the video and if you are new to our channel do subscribe our channel as well do subscribe our channel as well so can we start can we start yes yes can we start i want to see firstly it in the chat section there i will <coughs> same to you guys same to you So all the best here I'm going to start the session and we will be starting with the with the botany first okay right so we are going to start with the botany first so here we have our first question guys the bulbil of agave represents yes the bulbil of agave represents yes all of you you are not going you have to solve all the question in you know uh, within 10 to 15 seconds that is our target so all of you quickly answer it in the chat section quickly 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 yes an academy need english is right 409 students are watching and the likes are very less all of you just like the session right now done ah likes ka target it is not 500 it is 1000 One thousand till the end of the session. I want thousand likes. I want thousand likes. Yes. So bul uh, the bulbil of agave it represents what? It is a vegetative propagule. What is it? It is a vegetative propagule. Right. With the help of this bulbil, we uh, we can you know form 
we can grow other plants as well so yes such kind of question used to come in your neat examination might be here i'm asking the bulb bill in the neat examination you will get the rhizome you can get the question from the com so yes this type of question is very important and i want to i want to see how many of you are giving the correct answer so all of you please answer in the chat section guys please answer in the chat section quick okay next question which of the following options about tapetum is correct which of the following options about tapetum is correct quickly which of the following options about the tapetum is correct quick all of you i'm going to explain each and every question here right so it is going to help you out later on whenever you will practice this paper again now because we'll share the pdf in the telegram group so you will uh, get an idea that what other kind of questions can come from this part so quickly answer this question which of the following options about the tape term is correct oh i can see the mixed response some some people are saying three some people are saying two no 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 the correct answer here is yes it nourishes the developing pollen grain so you know that tapetum tapetum is the part of what tapetum we study it in the anther isn't it we study it in the anther when we check the cross section remember microsporangium remember this microsporangium so tapetum is there tapetum is there it is having more than one nucleus generally it is binucleated it is polyploid right bachche so it is going to nourish the developing pollen grains it will po uh, provide nutrition to that developing microspores okay so this is something very important and along with that uh, tapetum it also releases the enzyme callase just note down okay it also releases the enzyme callase okay so these are some important points and along with that along with callase if you remember tapetum it also forms sporopollenin so can you tell me in the chat section what exactly is the sporopollenin can you tell me in the chat section what is the meaning of sporopollenin yeah i will share the pdf of this session as well junaid <coughs> sporopollenin quickly in the chat section guys answer what exactly is the sporopollenin all of you just answer it to me in the chat section very good very good hari govind excellent next okay next question the device that prevents both autogamy and gitonogamy in some flowering plants the device that prevents both autogamy and gitonogamy in some flowering plants so to answer this question you should know what exactly is the autogamy and what exactly is the gitonogamy you should know this so answer it yes everyone answer it the device that prevents both autogamy and gitonogamy in some flowering plants quick all of you all of you guys subscribe our channel as well and share the link right share the link with your friends let them know that we are practicing the most predicted neat 2023 paper quick yes so the correct answer here is you are right dioecious condition but if you have attended my last session now so in that last session i gave you one trick that instead of bmw keep it bmh okay instead of bmw keep it bmh so b stands for bisexual m stands from for monoecious remember this thing it stands for hermaphrodite this is our trick okay this is our trick it is bmh so bisexual means monoecious means hermaphrodite these three words are having the same meaning but here we are talking about the autogamy and the gitonogamy but che autogamy is directly the self pollination okay it is the self pollination and here one flower is bisexual the anther of that flower is going to fall on the stigma of the same flower right but when you talk about the gitonogamy in the gitonogamy what is the condition let's say this is a plant this plant is having the mon this plant is having the dioecious flowers overall the plant is monoecious see look at it what is going to happen in the gitonogamy actually in the gitonogamy this plant this plant is monoecious means the plant is bisexual but when you talk about the flowers here let's say this is the male flower this is the female flower this is the male flower this is the female flower so what is going to happen here in this case the anther from this flower they will fall on the stigma of this flower so ultimately the plant is same genetic composition is same right only the 
प्लांट इज सेम ओनली द फ्लावर इज डिफरेंट राइट सो गिटोनोगेम इज नॉट इन गिटोनोगेमी यू नीड अ पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट बट ओवरऑल गिटोनोगेमी इज ऑल्सो द सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन ओके ओके सो द डिवाइस दैट प्रिवेंट्स दीज ऑटो दीज टू थिंग्स ऑटोगेमी एंड गिटोनोगेमी इट इज द डाइशियस कंडीशन दैट इज यूनिसेक्शुअल फ्लावर सो एनी डाउट एनी डाउट हियर यूनिसेक्शुअल प्लांट्स इट इज द की ओके वेरी गुड बच्चे जॉन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अमंग द फॉलोइंग विच फ्रूट वुड बी नॉट सेलेक्ट टू इंड्यूस पार्थिनो कापी बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्लांट ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर्स टेल मी द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन अमंग द फॉलोइंग विच फ्रूट वुड बी नॉट सेलेक्ट टू इंड्यूस पार्थिनो कापी बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्लांट ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर सो वॉट शुड बी द आंसर हियर What should be the answer, yeah, guys? Be quick. I am going to explain each and every answer to you, right, bache? So this session is going to be very effective for all of you because if you see, if you practice one question, if you know the logic behind, you are able to answer another four question, right? Another four question. So quickly answer this to me, quickly, all of you. And number of likes should increase. Our target is thousand likes, minimum thousand likes. Exactly, it is pomegranate. right it can never be without seeds what is what exactly is the meaning of parthenocarpy parthenocarpy means formation of fruit without fertilization what is it it is formation of fruit without fertilization so if without fertilization food is going to form so of course that fruit will be that fruit will be seedless isn't it the fruit is going to be seedless so here yes we know about the seedless banana about the grapes and the orange but here pomegranate it cannot right it cannot be seedless okay next choose the incorrect statement regarding the lack of pirun a very important question lack of pirun very 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 important question and today we have a session na a session at 6 in which we are going to practice top 5 botany concepts so in that concepts we will be discussing the lac operan as well so you have to attend that session also okay you have to attend that session also so answer this question choose the incorrect statement regarding lac operan check the responses yes <coughs> quickly answer it what should be the correct answer you have to tell the incorrect statement guys this is the key while attempting the questions in the final neat exam read the question carefully and highlight the, uh, highlight these type of words whether they are asking correct question or incorrect or false statement or not correct you need to highlight that here they are asking the incorrect statement so when you talk about the lac operan right lac operan so do they have the three structural genes yes they do have remember lac z y and a they have three structural genes indeed so it consists of regulatory gene i yes and that regulatory gene i is going to form what it is going to form the repressor remember this it is going to form the repressor i gene is having its own promoter yes operator is the site of attachment of rna polymerase no this statement is incorrect no when it comes to the operator right the product of regulatory gene is going to bind with this operator okay always remember this the product of regulatory gene is going to bind with this operator okay and when it comes to the rna polymerase it binds with promoter none it binds with what it binds with promoter okay so here the incorrect statement is fourth okay okay so how many of you marked it correctly How many of you marked it correctly? Quickly tell me in the chat section, all of you. Guys, I want to see the energy in the chat section. Quick, I want to see that energy in the chat section. Quick, 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 all of you. Four seventy-two students are watching this session, but yeah, chat in chat, I am not able to see any energy here. Guys, be quick. Very good, Priyo. Five out of five. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Just go for it. Okay, so here we have the next question. In tailing of H N R N A, nearly how many adenylate residues are added at three dash end in the template independent manner? In tailing of H N R N A, how many adenylate residues are added at three dash end in the template independent manner? Yes, bache. What is the correct answer here? What is the correct answer here? This question is from the genetics. Four. 
Quick, quick, quick. All of you just answer the question. Answer the question, guys. Answer this question. Exactly. Here the correct answer is second. See, here we are talking about the HNRNA. What is the meaning of HNRNA? HN means heterogeneous nuclear RNA. Right. It is also known as immature RNA. Remember this. It is also known as immature RNA. Right. This is going to happen in the case of the eukaryotes. In the case of eukaryotes, within the nucleus, the transcription will occur. And here, the mRNA which is going to form, this mRNA is immature. It is heterogeneous nuclear mRNA, right? So, if we want to send this mRNA to the cytoplasm, we need to do some changes. And that changes comes under RNA processing, okay? That changes, they comes under RNA processing. So, what is going to happen in the RNA processing? You know that the first thing is capping and tailing. So, 5 dash to the 5 dash end, uh, to the 5 dash end, what is, what will be added here? What will be added here to the 5 dash end? Capping will be there, na? 7 methyl guanosine triphosphate will be added to this 5 dash end. And when it comes to the 3 dash end, adenyl adenylated residues will be added and they will be added in template independent manner with the help of enzyme polyadenylate polymerase. Guys, note down the name of the enzyme as well. Polyadenylate polymerase. Okay. Polyadenylate polymerase. So, this enzyme will be added to the 3 dash end in a template independent manner. So, this is the capping and tailing and you know that RNA splicing will also be done. So, here as per this question, what is the correct answer? Second one, 200 to 300 adenyl groups will be added at the 3 dash end. So, up to this part all clear? Up to this part all clear? Yes, all of you? Quickly, all of you? Done? Chali, next question, in point mutation, the reading frame of genetic code, it remains unaltered from that point onwards in case of, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Guys, the number should increase. And if you are new to our channel, do subscribe our channel because we literally need your support. Right, we literally need your support. We want this channel to grow so that we can, you know, free of cost, we can guide you. We want to teach the NEET 2024 aspirants. We want to teach the NEET 2025 aspirants. But for that, you need to support us. So do subscribe our channel, guys. Do subscribe our channels. Go for it. So here the word is the point mutation, right, bache? So reading frame will not be changed when we are going to add the three bases. Because you know that three bases are going to. Three bases means one codon, isn't it? Three bases means one codon and that is going to form one amino acid, isn't it? Three bases means one codon and that is going to form one amino acid. Are you getting my point? Are you getting my point? So yes, if three bases will be added, then the reading frame will not change because three bases means they are going to code for one amino acid. Okay? Okay? Next question. The X-ray diffraction data of the famous double helical model for the structure of DNA was produced by. This is my favorite question. This is literally my favorite question, bache. Answer it to me. Quickly answer it to me. The X-ray diffraction data of the famous, of the famous double helical model. It was, right, it was produced by. Quick, all of you, just answer this question. To me. Answer this question. Tommy, ma'am, will you guarantee me if I listen to all your sessions? See, bache, if you will attend my sessions, obviously, you are going to study the biology. Obviously, you are going to cover the most important topics. So, definitely, definitely, you will get good marks, na? If you are able to apply all that information in your final NEET exam, definitely, you guys, you guys are going to score good marks. Yes, you all are right. The correct answer here is Morris Wilkin and Rosalind Franklin. Their X-ray diffraction data helped the James Watson and Francis Crick to, you know, explain the structure of DNA. Right. So from here, you guys can expect one more question. They can ask you that with the help of which uh, technique we can study the structure of DNA. The answer here is X-ray diffraction and it is also known as X-ray crystallography. Okay, it is also known as X-ray crystallography. 
सो इफ एक्स रे डिफ्रेक्शन इज रिटर्न और इवन एक्स रे क्रिस्टेलोग्राफी इज रिटर्न इट इज वन एंड द सेम थिंग ओके वन एंड द सेम थिंग ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइज लेट्स इंक्रीज द स्पीड नाउ दैट इन रिलेशन लॉग एस इज इक्वल्स टू लॉग सी प्लस जी लॉग ए लार्ज द एरिया एक्सप्लोर्ड वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन येस दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द इकोलॉजी क्विकली टेल मी दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द इको इको श्योर मूर्ति आल टीच इकोलॉजी एज वेल राइट नाउ आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम इकोलॉजी इन रिलेशन लॉग एस इज इक्वल्स टू लॉग सी प्लस जी लॉग ए लार्ज द एक्सप्लोर्ड एरिया वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन हेयर Yes. See, again, the correct answer is second. That more is the steepness the of the slope of the line. See, what is happening here? You know that this equation is explaining species area relationship, isn't it? This equation is explaining what? It is explaining species area relationship, and we study that in the patterns of bio uh, biodiversity distribution. In the patterns of biodiversity distribution, we talk about the latitudinal gradient. Along with that, we talk about the species area relationship. So, what we discuss ki as we increase the area that we need to explore, when we increase that area, initially the species richness will increase. Okay, the number of species will increase, but only up to a certain limit. okay only up to a certain limit just for an example let's take one example if you are move, let's say if you have this area a to b 10 km you have increased your area to c you have increased your area to d so initially yes there will be an increase in the species richness but only up to a certain limit after this d if you move to e species richness will not increase that much but if you are going to consider the entire continent right right if you are increasing the area too much then obviously what is going to happen definitely then the uh, species richness will be there na so how do we explain this how do we explain this look at this just look at this equation what is this this is hyperbola rectangular hyperbola isn't it rectangular hyperbola isn't it very good bachche amarnath alexander von humboldt he gave that right right so obviously when we put it on the log log scale we get a straight line okay so we if we will increase the area the slope is going to be steeper this line it is going to be like this the slope is going to be steeper so this is one of the most important right this is one of the most important questions more one of the most important topics of the ecology so you guys can mark it ki yes you cannot you are not allowed to leave this particular question from the ecology this is literally very 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 important okay it is very important done okay next question choose the incorrect one regarding wheat plant and this question is literally very easy and in the neat exam yes you get such easy questions as well so answer it to me choose the incorrect one regarding wheat plant choose the incorrect one regarding wheat plant all of you answer it to me yes i want to see the responses in the chat section guys be quick be quick choose the incorrect one incorrect one bachche wheat is not a dicot it's monocot right i told you na it's a very easy question Wheat is not a dicot. Wheat is a monocot. It belongs to family Poaceae. Yes, right. Its genus is Triticum. Yes. Its division is Angiospermae. Yes, right. Next question. During primary succession in water, the pioneer species are replaced with time by. Here we are talking about the succession, right? Succession which will start on the barren land. isn't it when the new life will start so here we are talking about the succession in water so you have to tell the pioneer species the one which are you know going to establish their first on that particular land it will be replaced by it will be replaced by quickly all of you answer it to me speed up guys speed up speed up speed up answer it to me during primary succession in water the pioneer species are replaced with time by yes Yes, 
So here the correct answer is rooted submerged plants. The another important question from the ecology. You can see this particular diagram, particular picture from the NCRT. You can see initially the phytoplankton, right? But then what is going to happen after phytoplankton? What is going to happen after phytoplankton? Submerged plant stage is there, isn't it? These are rooted submerged plant, then free floating plant stage will also uh, came bache. Reed swamp stage will be there, marsh meadow stage will be there, scrub stage and finally the forest. So this is important, this is important, okay, okay, okay. So I will, although I will share the PDF with you all, but still take a screenshot of that. Rajni can't at least attend the session, at least read the NCRT. You will definitely score good marks, bache. Next question, which one of the following is wrongly matched? Which one of the following is wrongly matched? Quick, which one of the following is wrongly matched? Rajnikath, let me tell you one thing very clearly. If you are going to spam, then definitely you are not going to score the 360 marks. Spamming is prohibited. Quickly answer it to me. Which one of the following is wrongly matched? Yes. Obviously here it is third opposite phyllotexy. Okay. Hard and stony endocarp. It is in droop. Yes. But this question can be asked individually as well. So focus on the options as well. Edible part is thalamus in the case of apple. Yes. That is why apple is a false fruit. Okay. That is why apple is a false fruit because here ovary is not forming the fruit instead of that thalamus is forming the fruit okay and then events precursor to seed habit remember in last class I gave you one trick I think you all remember that he seesaw do you remember that trick he seesaw yes he seesaw guys do you remember he seesaw Heterosporous Selaginella salvinia. Heterosporous Selaginella salvinia. Remember? So in the Selaginella, yes. Because of the, these different type of spores and even you will see the sporophyte will be retained on the gametophyte. Such things are also there. So yes, it is the event precursor to the seed habit. But when it comes to the Alastonia, Alastonia doesn't have opposite philotexy. Instead of, uh, instead of that, it will have world philotexy. Right, it will have world philotexy. There will be one point from where all the leaves will form. Okay, is that clear? Okay, next question. In roots, the innermost boundary of the cortex is impermeable, imper, uh, per, okay, impervious to water because of. Yes, impervious to water because of. Guys, all of you answer the question. I want to see the likes as well. And if you are new to our channel, do support this channel. That is An Academy in Eating English. Subscribe our channel as well. Subscribe our channel as well. So guys, please answer this question. We need to increase the speed as well. We are talking about the roots. The innermost boundary of the cortex. It is impervious to water because of. Because of a very repeated question it is. Yes, 110% it is the Casparian strips. These Casparian strips are what? They are water impermeable because of the depositions. Right? They are water impermeable because of the depositions. Okay, Subrin is there. Okay, remember that? Remember, so here the correct answer is third. Now the next question, choose the incorrect match. All of you, quick, choose the incorrect match. Guys, go for it. Choose the incorrect match. Clarenchyma, lignified cell walls. Colenchyma, thickening at the corners. Parenchyma, small intercellular space. Bast fibers, living cell. So, which one is the incorrect here? Just go for it. See, your Captain Shreyas is also there in the chat section. Your Captain Shreyas is even there in the chat section. Ask the questions from him as well. So answer it. Choose the incorrect match. You have to answer the incorrect match. Sclerenchyma, lignified cell walls. Yes. Sclerenchyma is also a dead tissue. When it comes to the colenchyma, thickenings are at the corners. Yes. The diagram is given in NCRT and that is important. Then parenchyma. Parenchyma is living. It is having the small intercellular spaces. But when you talk about these bast fibers, they are not the living cells. Bache. The word is fibers here. And if you remember fibers, fibers are what? They are dead. Remember xylem tracheids. Fibers, fibers, fibers are what? 
they are also dead they are also dead these are basically bas fibers are basically the phloem fibers right they are basically the phloem fibers so they are not living they are dead okay next question in the floral formula of family solanaceae what is this a5 represent so a very good question it is a very good question it is and it is a question that you people neglect most of the time you do not pay attention to the floral formulas you do not pay attention to the families am i right am i right ha huh? so this question is literally very important it's a very good question and yes you guys can get such questions in your paper as well we are talking about the family solanaceae potato family potato family yes bachche so a5 is going to represent what A five is going to represent what? Yes, A five. Polyandrous condition A. Remember, calyx, corolla, andrisium, gynisium. So A A is representing what? Andrisium. and if it is a5 so it is telling us that five five stamens are there and when the word is see five stamens are there and there is no bracket so it is telling us free basically free anthers are there they are not at all fused they are free free if it will be like this if brackets are there then we will say it is a fused condition then the word will be gamo we have to use the word gamo poly is for free a5 means five anthers are there and they are free so you can see this particular floral diagram as well okay you can see this particular floral diagram as well here you can see the mother axis bachche okay just look at this floral diagram the calyx they are also fused corolla fused right see five right so you can see that calyx these sepals are five they are fused even corolla five they are fused plus andrisium is also andrisium is also attached to the it is also fused with this with these petals okay so epipetalous condition is there epipetalous condition is there done bachche done bachche so it is important next question which one of the following taxonomic category is represented by solanum in the scientific name solanum tuberosum again easy what this solanum is representing here in this solanum tuberosum all of you just answer in the chat section Yes. Answer this. What is this solanum here? Very easy. It is the genus. It is the genus. Next question. Diatoms, which are good indicators of water pollution. They are what? We are talking about the diatoms here. Diatoms are what, bache? Yes. What are diatoms? what are die atoms all of you just answer the question in the chat section but that energy should be there in the chat section i want to see how how much you people are excited for your neat examination neat aspirants yes that fire emo should be there in the chat section isn't it isn't it go for it go for it quickly what is it you are right it is the photosynthetic protista right when you talk about the kingdom protista we know that there is a trick here right it is c d e s p what is the trick here it is c d e s p chrysophyte then then dinoflagellates euglenoid slime mold protozoa so when you talk about these chrysophytes uh, they are having the diatoms and the desmids and diatoms they are the good pollution indicators if their growth is too much if hyper growth of diatom is there it is indicating the pollution is there so yes they are photosynthetic protista next question prions they are different uh, different from viroids as the former has prions they are different from viroids as the former has tell me prions prions very good bharti furkana all of you very good don't worry we'll plan a session soon right i'll ask some biology based question from your captain shreyas okay chaliye answer this question prions they are differ from uh, viroids as the former has proteinaceous in nature so p for prion p for protein these are abnormally folded proteins bachche right abnormally folded proteins responsible for causing many disease and when you talk about the viroids they are just the infectious rna what is it it is just the infectious rna clear clear 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मेंबर्स लेस सेल ऑर्गेनल कॉमन टू बोथ प्रो कैरियोट एंड यू कैरियोट हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द यूनिवर्सल ऑर्गेनल यस बच्चे हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द यूनिवर्सल ऑर्गेनल क्विक हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द यूनिवर्सल ऑर्गेनल यस मेंबर लेस सेल ऑर्गेनल कॉमन टू बोथ प्रो कैरियोट एंड यू कैरियोट डेफिनेटली इट इज द राइवोजोम आर प्रोटीन फैक्ट्री इट इज कॉमन टू बोथ ओके इट इज कॉमन टू बोथ सेवेंटी एस राइवोजोम आर देयर इन द प्रो कैरियोट एज वेल एंड इन द ऑर्गेनल्स ऑफ यू कैरियोट एंड विच ऑर्गेनल्स योर माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एंड प्लास्टिक इज इंट इट योर माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया and plastid clear next question which of the following is synthesized during s phase of the cell cycle which of the following is synthesized during s phase of the cell cycle right we have done it in our first class in our first class i told you about the cell division i told you about the cell cycle questions are definitely going to come from that part so quickly answer all of you what will be synthesized during s phase what will be synthesized during s phase s phase deoxyribonucleic acid that is your dna there is the doubling of dna 2c will become 4c right 2c will become 4c along with that there will be the duplication of centriole in your s phase it's a neat 2022 question even the histone proteins will also form there okay even the histone proteins will also form there done so synapses and desynapses it will takes place during bachcha we have already discussed that in our session isn't it isn't it guys the target for like is 1000 plus so what you people are waiting for what do you guys are waiting for quick do like the video do subscribe our channel all of you and answer this question synapses and desynapses it takes place during synapses zygotene and desynapses definitely desynapses it will be there in yes it will be there in see remember na l z p d d leptotene zygotene packetine diplotene dikinase so when you talk about the zygotene the synapses will be there in the packetine crossing over and in the diplotene there is the dissolution of synaptonemal complex matlab d synapses will be there so obviously the answer here is fourth right the answer here is fourth the next question the feature not related to the family solanaceae the feature which is not related to the family solanaceae the feature which is not related to the family solanaceae not related to solanaceae bachche remember this incomplete flower with perianth this is not the feature of solanaceae okay this is not the feature of solanaceae do you remember perianth when sepals and petals are fused okay sepals and petals they are fused they form the tepals so group of tepal is what your perianth and we used to see in the case of family lily ac isn't it we used to see in the case of family lily ac okay so here this is not related to the family solanaceae i already told you about the solanaceae so incomplete flower with perianth not the feature of solanaceae okay next question hypogynous flower but this part is very important from the morphology you can put a title over there most important okay it is literally most important from the chapter morphology yes you can get question on the basis of these hypogynous perigynous epigynous flowers done so answer this question all of you speed up speed up speed up right we need to finish at asap guys we are running out of time all of you just answer the questions answer the questions what should be the correct answer here here we are talking about the hypogynous right we are talking about the hypogynous flowers they are seen in yes uh oh they are seen in p hypogynous flower the flower is hypogynous here the ovary is what ovary is superior isn't it the ovary is what it is superior hypogynous flower so you can see this it is from the ncrt i have added it by myself because i want you guys to remember all other examples as well so just have a look bachche have a look so in hypogynous flowers you can see gynecium it occupies the highest position 
ओके इट इज द गाइनीशियम दैट ऑक्यूपाइज द हाइएस्ट पोजिशन राइट बच्चे बिलो ओवरी ऑल अदर फ्लोरल पार्ट आर एसोसिएटेड राइट बच्चे सो द एग्जाम्पल इज मस्टर्ड चाइना रोज एंड द ब्रिंजल मस्टर्ड चाइना रोज एंड द ब्रिंजल एंड अदर देन दैट यू नो दैट वी हैव द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वॉट सी इफ गाइनीशियम इज सिटुएटेड इन द सेंटर अदर पार्ट आर लोकेटेड ऑन द रिम वेन द वर्ड इज रिम ऑफ द थैलमस राइट सो इट इज पेरी गाइनस सो पी फॉर पेरी then peach and rose plum right peach rose plum peri from peri you can remember this p peach plum from r rose right these are the examples then comes the epigynous flower epigynous flower having inferior ovary right it is it is the most advanced flower because female part is getting maximum protection and in female part in ovaries the seeds are going to form so here you guys can see the example right bachche so you are having the guava the cucumber the ray florets of the sunflower so this part is literally important even diagrams are important even diagrams are important here okay चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द प्लॉइडी लेवल ऑफ एग्रेटर्स ऑफ एम्ब्रियो सैक विच कंटेन्स थ्री सेल इज द प्लॉइडी लेवल द प्लॉइडी लेवल ऑफ एग्रेटर्स ऑफ एम्ब्रियो सैक विच कंटेन थ्री सेल इज गाइस वी नीड टू स्पीड अप okay the ploidy level of agapetus of embryo sac which contain three cells the word is three cells so okay so here the are here the answer is haploid we are talking about the egg apparatus having two synergids and one gamete so the ploidy level is what it is haploid the next question active transport does not involve yes all of you active transport does not involve here we are talking about the active transport it does not involve yes be quick active transport it does not involve a for active a for atp a for against right a for active a for atp a for against against the concentration gradient so you know it very well so what should be the correct answer here the movement down the concentration gradient it does not involve in the active transport here in the active transport the movement is against the concentration gradient clear it is against the concentration gradient so from a you have to remember a for atp a for against okay a for atp a for against and yes we need the membrane proteins we need the carrier protein so yes there will be the concept of saturation as well specificity is also required okay next question root nodules in some plants like soya bean they export the fixed nitrogen along with the transpiration stream in the form of root nodules in the in some plants like soya bean clearly example is there soya bean right export fixed nitrogen along with transpiration stream in the form of yes all of you in the form of guys be quick be quick we need to practice the physics as well so speed up all of you so here the correct answer is ureids these are the degraded urea isn't it right ureids so ureids will be transported with the hell in the xylem in the xylem so this question is important this question is important okay this question is literally important ureids okay now next question which of the following processes take place in anaerobic bacteria which of the following processes they take place in anaerobic bacteria all of you quick which of the following processes they take place in anaerobic bacteria what will be there in anaerobic bacteria now we have to increase our speed guys we need to solve the physics and the chemistry as well so speed up yes here the correct answer is glycolysis it is common it is common to both right it is common to both the prokaryotes and the uh, sorry uh, aerobic and the anaerobic bacteria right when it comes to the krab cycle link reaction and ets they all are present in the aerobic bacteria then next question which hormone promotes bolting which hormone promotes bolting which hormone it promotes bolting hormones plant growth regulators again important which hormone promotes bolting yes it is it is gibberellin remember bolting gibberellin is, is just like a growth hormone in the case of plants bachche remember bolting like you know some plants they do not have the large internodes 
right rosette stage is there like suppose this is one node this is another nodes at these no uh, nodes so many leaves will be there so it gives a rosette like appearance so when we use the gibbril in it is going to increase the length of the internodes okay okay next question bachche all of the following produce isogametes except all of the following produce isogamete except it was your homework in the last class i told you that this is this is going to be your homework quick exactly the correct answer here is volvox in the case of volvox see all of the following they produce o isogametes all of them are having the same gametes but when you talk about the volvox o gamous condition will be there right o gamous condition will be there so the correct answer here is fourth that is volvox the next question guys color blindness and hemophilia they are color blindness and hemophilia they are speed up color blindness and hemophilia they are yes they are guys likes ka target it is 1000 plus 1000 plus all of you do subscribe our channel as well so what is the correct answer color blindness and hemophilia very important both of them are x linked but recessive traits remember x linked but recessive trait you can see this right color blindness can occur to both the male as well the female as well but when you talk about the hemophilia the bleeders disease males are highly affected with this females are just the carriers okay females are just the carriers females are not affected with hemophilia because that combination is lethal that combination is lethal that female embryo will not form but females are the carriers there okay so you can see this inheritance as well we'll i'll provide you the pdf you can see here females are the carriers right bachche normal man is there you can see the progeny okay the next question genetically different type of pollen grains land on stigma of ovary in genetically different genetically they are not same very good junaid very good excellent quickly answer it genetically different the word is genetically different type of pollen grains it land on the stigma of ovary n yes genetically different means we are talking about the cross pollination so first of all you need to understand the question all of you you need to understand the question so here the xenogamy is indicating the cross pollination okay xenogamy is indicating the cross pollination so two different plants of same species right cross pollination will be there the next question the number of chromosomes are different in male and female individuals in the number of chromosomes are different in male and female individuals in yes a very good question it is all of you it's a very good question the number of chromosomes are different in male and female individuals in male and female individuals in yes the correct answer here is the grasshopper drosophila humans and birds they all are having the male and female are having the same chromosome but when you talk about the grasses right males xo isn't it males xo so number of chromosomes are less they are not same that is why the next question in lac operon when repressor protein binds to operator then what is going to happen we have already discussed such type of question isn't it repressor is going to bind to the operator repressor is going to bind to the operator what is going to happen all of you all of you quickly do like the video and share the video as well right call your friends tell them that they should join the session also okay this that, then you know it will be a healthy competition you people can discuss ki okay i know this concept better i know that concept better you can help each other out so do share this video ask your friends to join the session so in lac operon when repressor protein binds to operator then what is going to happen yes what is going to happen exactly rna polymerase cannot bind to the promoter see if the product of regulatory gene the repressor if it is bonded to the operator na then there will be no space for rna polymerase to get bind to the promoter okay so this is what you need to remember because rna polymerase it always bind to the promoter the next question uh first of all see the image A regulatory gene forming the repressor that will bind with the operator so when this repressor if this repressor will remain bind to this operator the transcription will not start okay so we need to join this repressor with the activator inducer that is lactose itself the site will be free rna polymerase will come it will bind to the promoter it will initiate the transcription 
okay that's the point it's a very important question so now the next question is the entire the entire collection of plants or seeds having all the diverse alleles for all the genes of a given crop is called the entire collection right the entire question collection we have entire collection of all the seeds of uh, seeds all the diverse alleles very good it is going to be germplasm very easy uh oh uh oh my bad but it's okay so which of the following is a commercial blood cholesterol lowering agent you know that it is statin it is statin so statin is obtained from statin is obtained from yes but so statin is obtained from can you answer it in the chat section all of you can you answer it in the chat section the statin it is obtained from guys it is obtained from very good anika it is manescus purpureus right it is manescus purpureus your cyclosporin it is obtained from trichoderma polysporum streptokinase it is obtained from streptococcus so streptokinase clot buster cyclosporin a immunosuppressive agent a very important question from microbes and human welfare next question population interaction in which both species are benefited both are having the benefit obviously plus plus relationship mutualism plus plus relationship mutualism lichen is the best example here right lichen is the best example here next question the pyramid which is always upright no matter what this pyramid is always upright yes no matter what this pyramid is always upright quickly tell me very good the pyramid is always upright it is the pyramid of energy because you know the 10% law isn't it isn't it from one trophic level whenever energy will pass to the another trophic level only 10% of energy will pass to the next trophic level only 10% of energy will pass so pyramid of energy is always upright the next question in an ecosystem the rate of production of organic matter by the producer which is available to herbivores see in such type of questions you need to read the questions carefully they are saying the rate of production of what the rate of production of organic matter that is your biomass but that biomass is available for herbivores you remember the food chain right ki we have the plant here right now let's say you have the herbivore here any herbivore okay the primary consumer basically the primary consumer basically so what is available to that primary consumer obviously it is the npp net primary productivity because bachche whatever that plant is going to form that is the gpp the total organic matter formed by the plant by the photosynthesis that is gross primary productivity gpp now from that gpp plant is going to use some biomass for its own energy for its respiration so gpp minus r is going to be the npp so this npp is available for the next trophic level that is for the herbivores so that is why here the correct answer is one now the next question which of the following is most important cause of animals and plants to become extinct again the question is from biodiversity and conservation okay which is most important cause of animals and plants to become extinct anyone answer it guys be quick answer it here i have one trick for you and the trick here is hoac what is the trick here the trick here is hoac so h stands for habitat loss and fragmentation this h stands for what it stands for habitat loss and fragmentation right o stands for over exploitation alien species invasion co extinction and when you talk about the most important cause obviously it is the habitat loss and fragmentation a very repeated question it is next question which of the following is in c2 conservation strategy which of the following is in c2 conservation strategy yes which of the following is in c2 conservation strategy in c2 matlab on site right on site right in that same habitat we need to conserve that particular species so here the correct answer is wildlife sanctuaries botanical garden wildlife safari parks cryo preservation they all are ex situ so here only wildlife sanctuary is in situ so yes you guys can get confused here so please note it down when it is the wildlife safari it is ex situ when it is the wildlife sanctuary it is in situ clear the next question which of the following is not a stop codon the word is not a stop codon 
not a stop codon. When it comes to stop codon, the trick is U U U AG AGA. That's the trick. U U U AG AGA. These three are the stop codons. So here A U G, which is a start codon, it codes for methionine. Okay. So here the third is the correct answer, right? The next question: Casparian strips on endodermis are seen in a very important question. Casparian strips on endodermis they are seen in all of you. Casparian strips on endodermis they are seen in where these Casparian strips are present. They are present in the monocot and in the monocot root. In the monocot root, they are not in dicot stem. They are not in monocot stem. They are not in monocot uh, leaf. They are present in the monocot root. Next question: All of the following do not have nucleus at maturity except. All of the following do not have nucleus at maturity s except. Do not have nucleus means enucleated, right? Enucleated. So what should be the correct answer here, bache? What should be the correct answer here? So sieve tube elements at maturity, they are dead. Vessels are dead. Sclerenchyma dead. So we are left with companion cells, a very advanced feature in the case of angiosperms, isn't it? In the angiosperms. Okay. Next question: How many generations of mitoses are required for producing thirty-two cells? How many generation of mitoses are required for producing thirty-two cells? Quickly. How many generations of mitoses they are required for producing 32 cells? All of you answer it. The formula here is 2n. So, what should be the correct answer? What should be the correct answer? What should be the correct answer? Exactly the answer here is 4. The formula is 2n. 2, 5. So, you can get your answer here. That is going to be... 32, isn't it? That is going to be 32. The next question, vascular bundles are conjoint and open in. Right, the vascular bundles are conjoint and open in. The vascular bundles, they are conjoint and open in. Yes. Bache, vascular bundles, conjoint. See, xylem, phloem. When you talk about the open, there is a trick open for secondary growth. You can remember it like this. Right? Whenever we say the vascular bundle is open, just remember it is open for secondary growth. And for secondary growth, we know that we need the cambium. Okay. So, such type of vascular bundle should be there. And secondary growth is there in the case of dicots and majorly in the dicot stem. So, answer here is third. So, you can see that it is the closed vascular bundle without cambium. It is the open vascular bundle with the cambium. Okay? With the cambium. The next question Okay, it's all easy. See, proboscis gland is an excretory organ for. Now, we have to increase the speed, bache. We need to solve the physics as well in 15 minutes. We need to finish these 45 questions. Are you ready for that? Do you have that energy and josh? Yes. In next 15 minutes, we have to finish these 45 questions. At least try to finish these 45 questions in next 15 minutes. So, are you people ready? Are you people ready? Firstly, tell me in the chat section. And if you are new to our channel, just subscribe our channel. Quick. Are you guys ready for that? In next 15 minutes, we have to finish these 45 questions. I want to see the yes in the chat section with that energy. Sure, sure. Are you sure? These fire emojis, I really like them. Sure. Ah, energy is less. Your energy is less. I want to see that in the chat section that yes, ma'am, in next 15 minutes, we will finish 45 questions. That is a target for us. Okay, done. So, proboscis gland is an excretory organ for balenoglossus. So, balenoglossus, it belongs to hemichordata. It belongs to hemichordata. You can see the proboscis there. Okay, the next question. Cells present in all of the following connective tissue except tissue secrete fibers except it is as such line from NCRT. You guys are going to get questions from NCRT only. So, tell me quickly in the chat section, guys. Cells present in all of the following connective tissues, they secrete fibers except they secrete fibers except blood. Okay, so blood is the connective tissue which is without fibers and this question you people will definitely get in your NEET 2023 exam. Okay, the next question, type of cell junctions that help to stop the substances from leaking across a tissue, from leaking across a tissue guys, 
from leaking across a tissue. The type of cell junction that helped cell uh, that helped to stop substances from leaking. So obviously, if we want something to stop leaking, we are going to tight that. Na, like, let's say there is a lid. We will closely, uh, we will close it tightly, na. So the answer here will be the tight junction. So you can see here the tight junctions, the desmosomes. Okay, the gap junctions are there. So answer correct answer here is tight junctions. With the help of gap junctions, things can go here and there. But here it is the tight junction. Next question: Choose the mismatch. Choose the mismatch. Choose the mismatch. Guys, be quick. Choose the mismatch. Nucleoside, uridin, nucleotide, adenylic acid, nitrogenous base, cytosine, DNA, ribose sugar. Very easy it is. In DNA, we do not have the ribose sugar. We have the deoxyribose. When it comes to the nitrogenous base, yes, cytosine is. Nucleotide having nitrogenous base plus sugar plus phosphate. So yes, it is adenylic acid. We can also call it as adenosine monophosphate. Okay. We can also call it as adenosine monophosphate, right? But nucleoside is uridine, that is nitrogenous base plus sugar. Done? So, correct answer here is fourth. Next, which layer forms the gastric gland in stomach? Which layer forms the gastric gland in stomach, all of you? Which layer forms the gastric gland in, uh, in stomach? Gastric gland, here we are talking about what? We are talking about the histology. We are talking about the histology, isn't it? Isn't it? So the innermost layer. But here we have a trick. Write down. Outer to inner. Outer to inner. The trick is SM. SM. We used to, uh, now though we don't used to send SMS. We go for the WhatsApp or Insta or other apps are also there. But SMS, you know, your bank OTP, your delivery details. So the trick is, so we have SMS now. So instead of SMS, remember SMSM. So the outermost layer is going to be serosa. Then comes muscularis. Then comes submucosa. Right. Then comes mucosa. So this is the mucosa in which glands will be there. Okay. Okay. So only exception that you uh, need to remember is Brunner's gland. Brunner's gland. It is there in submucosa of duodenum. Okay, this is the trick that you people need to remember. It is there in submucosa of duodenum. That's all. Okay, the next question select the mismatch among the following. Select the mismatch among the following. So, this is for the partial pressure, guys. This is from the partial pressure. You have to select the mismatch here. Mismatch here, guys. Be quick. Answer it. In next 10 minutes, we have to complete all the questions. Just go for it. Select the mismatch among the following. Mismatch is the word. Mismatch is the word. Do you really think? See, partial pressure of oxygen in alveoli, it is going to be high. Yes, it is 104 mmHg. Carbon dioxide, partial pressure of carbon dioxide in deoxygenated blood. Yes, it is 45 mmHg in oxygenated blood. Huh, in oxygenated blood, it should be. 40 mm but when it comes to the tissue it is not 40 so you can see this table this table is very important okay very important so co2 in the case of deoxygenated blood it is 45 in oxygenated it is 40 and in tissue it is going to be 45 again it is going to be 45 the next question a person with only nta antibody in his plasma can donate blood to the people with blood group Right, blood group, very important. Even for the genetics, it is very important. Right, so a person, a person with only NTA antibodies, NTA antibodies, yes, NTA antibodies. Do you remember? We have the RBC. On the surface of RBC, we used to have antigens. And on the surface of RBCs, we used to have antigens. And these antigens, these antigens will decide the blood group. Let's say if there is the antigen A, that person will have A blood group. If antigen B is there, B blood group. If both the antigens are there, A B blood group. If no antigen is there, O blood group, right? Now, when you talk about the plasma, if the blood group is A in plasma, the antibody against B blood group will be there. If the blood group is, if the blood group is B, then in the plasma, antibody against a blood group will be there. So, obviously, here we are saying NTA means the blood group is going to be B. So, that person can donate the 
ब्लड ग्रुप टू अ पर्सन हैविंग बी ब्लड ग्रुप प्लस ए बी वाई ए बी बच्चे बिकॉज ए बी इज द यूनिवर्सल रिसिपियंट राइट वाई ए बी बिकॉज ए बी इज द यूनिवर्सल रिसिपियंट इन ए बी इन प्लाज्मा नो एंटीबॉडी इज प्रेजेंट राइट नो एंटीबॉडी इज प्रेजेंट क्लियर नो एंटीबॉडी इज देयर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन एक्टिव ए टी पी एज एंजाइम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन एक्टिव ए टी पी एज एंजाइम इट विल हाइड्रोलाइज ए टी पी एक्टिव ए टी पी एज गाइज एक्टिव ए टी पी एज इन नेक्स्ट टेन मिनट द लाइक शुड बी मोर देन थाउजेंड दैट इज योर टारगेट ए टी पी एज सो यू नो दैट इट इज द ग्लोबुलर हेड इन heavy myosin this is the myosin na light myosin light myosin the heavy myosin this is a cross arm here you have the head head is having the actin binding site and it is the atp binding site so head is the atp is head is the atp so this question is very important right the diagram is even very important the diagram here is even very important the next question bachche which among the following hormones they interact with the membrane bound receptors this part is from the uh, mechanism of hormone action from mechanism of hormone action definitely one question will come definitely one question will come guys be quick which among the following hormones interact with the membrane bound receptor see whenever you talk about the membrane bound receptor generally your proteinaceous hormones they bind with it or you can just remember it simply ki whenever we talk about the steroid hormones na steroid hormones can cross the plasma membrane so their receptors are intracellular okay they have the intracellular receptor particularly you can say that nuclear receptor why steroid so sex hormones androgens steroidal in nature even the hormones from your adrenal cortex like your cortisol and all uh, even your idothyronine their receptors are present within the cell intracellular receptor so out of all the options here the epinephrine the the hormone which is made up of amino acid right its receptors are present on the cell surface its receptors are present on the cell surface the next question choose the option which correctly states the hormone produced in women only during pregnancy so here the keyword is only during pregnancy okay only during pregnancy but in i think yes we have to finish it in next 5 minutes we will try to finish uh, 90 questions so cho so give it a try and the like should be more than 1000 the like should be more than 1000 but after neat exam we will start the sessions for 2024 but as of now the answer this question the hormones which will produced only during pregnancy so only during pregnancy hcg human chorionic gonadotropin hpl human placental lactogen and the relaxin these three these three hormones will produced only during pregnancy the next question who discovered the who disproved disapproved the embryological support for the evolution proposed by ernst haeckel remember ernst haeckel biogenetic law recapitulation ko something do you remember ontogeny repeats phylogeny remember this haeckel's law ontogeny repeats phylogeny so it was disapproved by the karl ernst von beer so as per von beer the general characters during the embryonic stages the general characters will form first and the special characters will form later the special characters will form later it's a pyq and in neat exam yes you will get questions from previous year questions okay the next question the bond present between the ribose sugar and nitrogenous base within a nucleotide is a the bond present in between the ribose sugar and the nitrogenous base within a nucleotide is a the word is nucleotide here you have to tell the bond in between sugar and uh, base guys nucleotide 3 it is made up of nitrogenous base sugar and phosphate so when you talk about the nitrogenous base and sugar the bond is going to be n glycosidic bond and when you talk about the sugar and phosphate the bond is going to be phosphoester when two nucleotide will join together when there is the polynucleotide chain then it will be phosphodiester so as of now as per this question the correct answer is the glycosidic bond it is n glycosidic bond because nitrogen is also involved in the bond formation clear next question which of the following is not a function of association areas present in forebrain this line is again as such from ncrt bachche it is again from ncrt which is not a function of association area present in forebrain present in forebrain 
not the function of they are asking not the function of guys it is the expression of emotional reaction it is not the function of association area see this is what i have added for all of you you can have a look you can see here the function as well see association area are responsible for complex functions like intersensory association memory and communication okay memory and communication so it is not related to the expression of emotional reactions and here you can also see the hypothalamus right the hypothalamus it will regulate the temperature the urge for eating and drinking right bache right bache and see cerebral hemisphere group of associated deep structure amygdala hippocampus they form the limbic system and they are responsible for controlling along with hypothalamus the sexual behavior expression of emotional reactions okay so here the correct answer is not the expression of emotional reaction next question where do certain microorganisms normally occur in human body where will you find the microorganism in human body where are you going to find the microorganism in human body all of you be quick and the target is likes ka target is 1000 plus it's still 949 oh 951 yes what should be the correct answer very easy it is the cecum that blind sac isn't it blind sac this one this part look at the cecum and see here the wormy form appendix so cecum colon right and then the rectum is there okay so in the cecum we will find the symbiotic microorganism the next question guys which of the following feature is not in, in the uh, not present in the phylum arthropoda yesterday we revised this na yesterday we revised it so which of the following feature is not present in the phylum arthropoda guys not in the phylum arthropoda not in the phylum arthropoda of course the correct answer here is parapodia parapodia is present in annelida right it is a locomotory organ we discuss it in the case of nearest rest all the points compound and simplized jointed appendages chitinous exoskeleton they are the features of phylum arthropoda isn't it the next question which which of the following bone falls under the category of sesamoid bone sesamoid bone you know they are deeply present deeply embedded sesamoid bone right sesamoid bone here the example is your knee cap that is patella right so this is your homework you will tell me in the comment section the meaning of sesamoid bone although i told you and the other example of sesamoid bone right and the other example of sesamoid bone you have to tell so the next question dash in some bones is a site of hemopoiesis fill the blanks with correct options dash in some bones is a site of hemopoiesis so what is the meaning of hemopoiesis poiesis formation hemo right blood cell formation so blood cell formation will be there in the bone marrow it will be there in the bone marrow so the next question the tergum sternum and pleurite of the body of cockroach they are joined by the tergum sternum and pleurite of the body of the cockroach are joined by the tergum the sternum and the pleurite of the body of the cockroach yes there is a very thin flexible membrane if you people remember so yes here the correct answer is arthrodial membrane and it is even known as the articular membrane it is very thin elastic and because of that there is a flexibility okay in the cockroach body what are you going to do you, you are going to solve biology questions do you want to come do you want to solve biology acha they know it they know it there is a person inside you know him very well can you tell him can you tell me who is he who is he sir okay ha that i know there is only one female in this team so obviously he is a guy he is a sir but you have to tell me the name you have to tell me the name ah ha ha ah just wait na oh seriously na he is not wazim sir na na he is not wasim sir na one guess one guess 
Of course, it's me. <laughs> What's up, guys? How are you? How's the Josh? All all going well? They'll ask me what is the meaning well, of Josh then. Huh? It means energy. It means energy. The Josh <laughs> has to be high. The energy has to be high, guys. There are only few days left, right? So you have to be like super duper involved in the chats. Correct? That's how we feel energetic all the time. Wonderful, guys. So how many questions they did on their own? Are they are they are they involved yeah, yeah, in the chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are involved in the chat. They are able to answer the questions and uh, uh, rest. You can ask them. Asha, one more question. I want to guess the okay. options. I Guys, I have studied biology till my tenth standard. It's just one thing I remember. Robert Hooke was the one who discovered cell. <laughs> Seriously? Ah, I swear. Only Robert. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> okay, I'll ask one question. Asha. Uh, but you will not take help from them. Okay. Uh, That's the key. If they want to help me in the through the chat, so. So guys, do you want to help him? Do you want to help him for the biology question seriously? Of course. Seriously, you should say no. Guys, I can see everyone has not subscribed to the channel. Yar, this is this is not done. No, they have subscribed. See, Hana. Asha, I want to guess one option. Okay. Guess. Okay. So here we have a question. Majority of carbon dioxide in blood is transported in the form of. I think that you can answer. I cannot answer. I you swear, I cannot. Teacher, you can answer this. Bio guys, help me out. This. Okay. Then biochemistry. Two options. Take the two options out. No, I I want to no. do the 50 50. <laughs> no 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 50 50. Okay. Okay. So means you want to use the lifeline. I want to use the lifeline. Okay. Yeah. So I want to use the lifeline. So now guess. Hmm? Now guess. Uh I'll go with A. <laughs> so guys, is he right or wrong? Just a minute. Wait, yes, wait, 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 wait! I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the options. I want to change the options. Wait, wait. No, that's the cheating. You are not going to get answer in the NEET exam. Obviously, the answer is fourth here in the form of bicarbonate. Guys, you carry on, okay? I should. By the way, after this, uh, your physics discussion will start, and after physics discussion, your uh, chemistry, me and HSP sir together will be solving it, right? Just, just, just one, one, more, one, ah, more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. See, negative marking, negative marking, minus one, minus one. Okay, okay wait. One, one, uh, one more. Ah, uh, done. Mark the incorrect option with respect. This is the equation. I love the equation. You you are not able. Mark the incorrect option with respect to. Okay. Guy guy. So what should be the correct answer? Asha, wait. I'll I'll see the options. I'll see the options. I have no idea. Like wait, 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 wait. Anything from your gut feeling. Anything. Anything. See here we have got E R B. Here we have got E R B. So it can be either option B or option C, right? Okay. If I. Want to eliminate the option? I can eliminate this one and this one. I have no idea what I'm doing, but okay. but wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'll go with, I'll go with option. अगर मैंने ये सही किया ना, I'll go with option C. Again, in the अरे यार, चलो You can eliminate the options see, like this as see, well. See, there is one trick. Never listen to your chemistry teacher for biology. <laughs> this is the trick here. Uh, so Never more, listen to your chemistry teacher leave. for one, the biology. One more and I'll leave. Arre, let me explain. See here, the, we are talking about the vital capacity, and vital capacity is equals to tidal volume plus I R V plus E R V. So that is why it is incorrect. Okay, that is why it is incorrect. Okay, chalo one more. One, one more last. and I'll leave. Okay. So inflammation of joints due to accumulation of uric acid. That's very common. I have no idea what it is, yeah. Uric acid problem. People used to have, na? No? Oh. Uh, Excess of uric acid. Correct. Then they used to have some pains. Okay, so. So according to you. I'm I'm seeing these terminologies <laughs> for the first time in my <laughs> give life. Give it a try. Give it a try. You can answer it. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. You have to. You should. I. It's not going to be A. It's going to be A. <laughs> it's going to be A. It's going to be A. Of course. Okay, carry it's on, going guys. to be carry A. On. Okay. It's like minus three for me. Ha. Okay, bye bye. Thanks. And do learn biology from Ambika Ma'am on an academy meet English. Okay. See? So the trick here is not never listen to your chemistry teacher for the for the biology. Isn't it? Just a minute. Let me put this. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, what he did? Hey na, never listen to your, never listen to your chemistry teacher for the biology. He's horrible. Okay, 
So see now, so many students are there. You have to be there with me till you know ninety questions. So now let's let's discuss that. You know that it is very easy. Inflammation of joints because uric acid is too much, so it is gouty arthritis. Okay, it is gouty arthritis. But if it is the rheumatoid arthritis. right if it is the rheumatoid arthritis then there is the inflammation in the synovial membrane and it is a it is an autoimmune disorder okay but if it is the rheumatoid arthritis then what is it it is the rheum uh, it is the autoimmune disorder there is the inflammation of synovial membrane okay okay so now go ahead guys the next question and important evidence in the favor of organic evolution is the occurrence of the evidence in favor of organic evolution is the occurrence of yes go for it all of you an important evidence in favor of organic evolution is the occurrence of you know the answer you know the answer yes what is the answer here of course it is the homologous and the vestigial organ see what homologous organs they indicate always remember this trick and that is hd ac that is hd ac what is the trick hd ac so h stands for homologous d stands for divergent a stands for analogous and c stands for convergent c stands for convergent are you getting my point convergent so this is the trick but as of now what is the basic explanation here when you talk about the homologous organ you know that ancestor is common right from that common ancestor on the basis of a uh, uh, different species will arise from a common ancestor because they they will get adapted to different different type of environment so the basic structure is going to be same but the function is going to be different so it indicates the evidence in favor of organic evolution and along with that kids when you talk about the vestigial organs they are not functional in our body but they indicate the ancestry they are functional in our ancestors they are functional in our related species so that is why that is why here the correct answer is d so guys let's increase the speed the next question here is mating of the uh, meeting of the related individuals having common ancestor up to 4 to 6 generation are called yes guys meeting of the related individuals having common ancestor up to 4 to 6 generation is called yes bachcha amarnath answer it guys quick all of you speed up and do subscribe our channel do subscribe our channel just go for it what should be the correct answer you are right it is the inbreeding but continuous inbreeding can result in inbreeding depression bachche where the fertility will be reduced right bachche the productivity will be decreased so in that case with the help of outcrossing we can overcome the inbreeding okay the next question the first movement of the fetus and the appearance of hair it's a repeated question it's a pyq definitely you guys will get question from this part in your final neat examination the first movement of the fetus and the appearance of hair on the head appearance of ha uh, hair on the head the fifth month right fifth month that is the correct answer so the next question here hiv is the member of group of virus is a very easy question a very easy question i think you all know the answer isn't it yes guys do subscribe the channel do like our uh, video it's very easy hiv it's a retrovirus why retrovirus because rna is the genetic material here right which viruses are the retroviruses the one having the rna as the genetic material okay so hiv is the example your corona virus covid 19 is the example done so the next question which of the following vector is commonly used in the transfer of gene of interest into the crop plants here we are talking about the plants the common vector we are discussing but in the case of plants so out of the following which one is that common vector all of you know the answer all of you know the answer it's a very simple question guys and the answer here is agrobacterium tumefacin which is also known as natural engineer it's a soil born bacteria guys it is having the ti that is tumor inducing plasmid it is having its ti plasmid tumor inducing plasmid it is having that tdna we need to remove that tdna and we need to put the gene of interest the next question here the phalus belongs to the class the phalus belongs to the class all of you all of you the phalus belongs to the class guys be quick and one day na we will even ask questions from hsp sir and shreyas sir it will be fun 
same to you aspirant so phyllis belongs to the class the word here is class phyllis your cat catty catty so class we are talking so class is going to be mammalia so don't get confused here the correct answer here is mammalia mammals it's a class not even a super class it's a class okay so super class is tetrapoda next question which of the given cell organelle is the important site of the glycosylation of the proteins if in proteins we will add the glucose glycoproteins hai na glycoproteins will be there so glycosylation and glycosidation it is going to take place in which organelle yes you all know the answer it is going to take place in which organelle you know the answer it is the golgi apparatus it is also known as the traffic police of cell guys right it is also known as the traffic police of cell its function is the sorting and packaging right it is going to pack the things it is going to sort it out it will distribute the things golgi apparatus the organelle having two different phases the cis phase and the trans phase okay the next question which of the given chromosomes appear l shaped during an a phase the word is l shaped very easy l shaped yes it is l shaped guys go for it l shaped so of course it is going to be sub metacentric chromosome and if it is the metacentric chromosome then there will be the v shape sub metacentric l shape acromere what type of shape it is kind of you know not exactly the l okay done the next question ah shapes are also there in the next question all of the following are the features of the ideal contraceptive except see uh when it comes to the contraceptive methods which prevents the pregnancy there are certain features okay so that are going to make them ideal so here they are asking the question all the following features are the ideal contraceptive except yes except exactly the contraceptive should be reversible if it is irreversible then we can take the example of the permanent it is a permanent contraceptive method you know the surgery is the way remember vasectomy and tubectomy vasectomy and tubectomy that is the answer here okay that is the answer here done so select the odd one with respect to the downstream processing select the odd one out with respect to the downstream processing downstream processing odd one out odd one out separation yes preservatives yes marketing no purification yes right purification yes but marketing is not the part of downstream processing in downstream processing basically we want to obtain our desired recombinant protein okay downstream processing so any doubt any doubt guys any doubt sure how's the josh how's the energy only few questions are left done okay okay so here we go the next question is the first restriction endonuclease isolated was the first restriction endonuclease isolated was and do let me know your score in the chat section first the first restriction endonuclease it's hind2 guys be very specific about it it's hind2 which is the first restriction endonuclease isolated it is not hind3 it is hind2 which is which used to produce blunt ends right it is hind2 which used to produce blunt ends the next question choose the mismatch among the following choose the mismatch among the following mismatch mismatch antenal glands are there in prawn yes meant for excretion malpighian tubules cockroach yes meant for excretion nephridia earthworm yes but when it comes to the pila they do not have the flame cell pila is a mollusca flame cells are present in the platyhelminths flame cells are present in the platyhelminths so the correct answer here is not pila okay this is the incorrect one okay the next question mole functioning of kidney may lead to the condition called uremia so what is this uremia yes what is the uremia read all the options carefully all of you read all the options carefully mole functioning of kidneys uremia in which yes urea is accumulated in the blood uremia is accumulated in the blood clear next question 
all of the following hormones interact with the membrane bound receptor but say this type of questions are literally very important so you just need to remember the intracellular receptors when it comes to the hormones so the steroidal hormones right like your sex hormones even the idothyronins their receptors are present within the cell in the nucleus right rest all are having the membrane bound receptor so you just need to focus there so if i look at the all the options uh epinephrine is amino acid derived insulin is a protein hormone adh is also a protein hormone so cortisol is the steroidal hormone so when it comes to the cortisol their receptors are present within the nucleus right so nuclear receptors are there this hormone is capable of crossing the plasma membrane and it will reach within the cell okay next question uricose glands and cockroach are associated with the word is uricose the word is uricose guys the word is uricose yes it is excretion so uricose gland is present in the case of cockroach and it is meant for excretion so from cockroach only one question will come in your final exam right rarely two otherwise one question will definitely come from that cockroach part okay so we are left with only eight question then your physics practice will start your captain shares is going to come right even we will ask some questions from captain shares isn't it we should ask hana we should ask isn't it we should ask few questions from captain shares as well see wasim sir was not able to answer any of the question we'll see the knowledge of shares sir as well okay theek hai i'll call him no worry i'll call him first of all you people answer this question the protein produced by some strains of bacillus thuringiensis genesis right can kill all of the following remember bt toxin here we are talking about the bt toxin bt toxin so so definitely it is not able to kill ants but yes flies army worms beetles can be destroyed with that bt toxin okay with the help of bt toxin done so at which stage of oogenesis does theca layer organize itself theca you know na theca layers organize itself into inner theca and outer theca you remember the oocyte will be covered with these layers right so here we are talking about the theca layers so inner and outer theca will be there in inner and outer theca will be there in quickly all of you just answer the question answer the question all of you be quick be quick yes all of you answer the question the correct answer here is the tertiary follicle in the tertiary follicle you can see here we have that oocyte it is covered with the layers bachche right it is having properly that uh, ovarian cells are going to form the layers proper layers will be there the theca external and interna okay theca externa and interna done bachche done and here it is the antrum the fluid filled cavity it is fully loaded with the estrogen okay it is fully loaded with the estrogen so this is the correct answer right right so the next question how many types of histone form core part of the nucleosomes how many type of histones they are going to form the core part of the nucleosome remember dna will coil over the histone proteins so how many histones are there how many histones are there all of you answer the question we'll call shreya sir we'll ask few questions from him okay we will ask few questions from him done jaldi quick yes so remember that h2 a h2 b h3 h4 these four two two copies of these four histone protein will form the will form that core of nucleosome right right so how many types they are asking so four types are there h2a h2b h3 h4 h2a h2b h3 h4 clear the next question which of the following had the smallest brain capacity right which of the following had the smallest brain capacity right so see you all answer the question i'll ask shreya sir we'll ask few questions from him as well okay so as of now you answer it as of now you answer it 
Which of the following are the smallest brain capacity? Smallest brain capacity, all of you. Do you want Shreya sir to answer the biology questions? Tell me in the chat section. Firstly, tell me in the chat section only, then I'll call him. Do you want him to answer the biology questions? Hannah, you have to spam. You have to call his name. Then only I'll call him. Not now. Yes. Ha, here the correct answer is Homo habilis. You are right. Tool maker. Tool maker. Homo habilis. You want Shreya sir? You want Shreya sir? Seriously, do you want Shreya sir? Your captain shares. Do you want him? Okay. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Guys, uh, you, do, you know, looking at all these options, even I am confused. I was just remembering who has the largest brain capacity. Please, you know that. Yeah, it's very simple. Guys, who has the largest brain capacity? Very simple question. I am asking that question to you. No, no, I am not. <laughs> you have to answer. Seriously, you know that. Yeah. I know that biology You're question. Kidding. Hey, come on. Bio students know this. You're kidding. Achha, they're saying captain. Oh, oh. Ca achha, captain is having the largest cranial capacity. Very good, huh? Very yeah, good. Yeah, very good. Very good. Plus, plus, plus four plus. marks. Plus, plus, plus four marks. Yes. But I feel these days, see, I was having the largest brain capacity few years back. But these kids, no? <laughs> They have even legendary brain capacity. They are smarter than us. No, they are Neanderthalenses. I don't know what this is. Okay, I don't <laughs> understand any of these things. Well, see, 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 <laughs> we all are self-obsessed. We are having the largest cranial capacity. Adam, yeah. Shreya sir is saying, I am the captain. I am having the largest cranial capacity. But Ambika ma'am is very smart, I am telling you. If kids are, see, I am here, kids are this. Ambika ma'am is next level. Are you even I am a kid. Oh, no wonder. You're in that generation. <laughs> <laughs> you are now a kid. Okay. Chalo. Okay, next question. Today you have to answer the questions, okay? Uh, Shri, uh, uh, no, no, no. I will, I will just watch you teach. I'll learn biology, okay? No, I'm no, also no, learning no, biology. Same, guys. sir. He, he answered three questions. He was not able to even give one answer correctly. So, I'll, I'll give you one option. Okay. I'll eliminate two options. And these students are going to help you out. You can Perfect. ask them. Perfect. If and I will, I'll guess. Okay. And I have some techniques they, of guessing. If they can help in uh, next five okay. questions, ask them. Then I'll ask questions okay. from you. Okay. Ask them first. Done. Guys, help me. Okay. Everybody has to spam in the chat box. Help me. Okay. So that I can guess Guys, very quickly. Are you going to help him? Are you going to help him? Tell me in the chat section. Then only I'll ask questions from him. Right? Perfect. He's your captain. You should help him. Okay. Okay. Done. Great. So here we I'm have the next the question. I'm Sir. Trust me, it's a very easy question. You can answer it. They are going to help you out. Vidal test is used for the diagnosis of. I think it is the easiest question ever. It is the easiest question ever. You can come here. Vidal test? This looks very scary. I don't know, guys. They know the answer. I'm pretty sure <laughs> see, them can answer the question. See, I'll tell you which all diseases I have got from here. Only malaria I have been tested for. See, they, they are. It's not malaria for sure. It's not malaria. Okay. Pneumonia I didn't have, but pneumonia I don't think so. But one of these two, I don't know. Okay, now okay, what are these right. kids you are saying? Eliminate these two. Very good. Okay, good one start. of these two. Oh, it is four, is it? Exactly, it's the correct answer. It is oh, the typhoid. Okay. Typhoid, a very repeated question, isn't it? Very good. You scored plus four marks. Man, you this is compare, crazy. You can compare with the Vaseem sir. He was not able to answer any of the questions. The way I learn biology is I do practicals. <laughs> 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 so, which part of the poppy plant is used to obtain the drug smack? Common. Boys generally, they have the general... Poppy it plant. is a general knowledge question. Give it a try. They'll, they'll help you. Okay, I'm not looking at the screen. I'll okay. just try to answer okay. this. Which That's part it. of poppy plant is, is used, used to, to obtain, obtain the drug smack? smack? Poppy plant, papaver. Poppy, papaver. poppy looks like something ha, very... Ha, ha. Say, uh, Flowered, this thing. Down and down and Maybe flower. Uh, okay. Maybe flower. I don't Which? know. Maybe See, flower. Roots or leaves, definitely no. Okay, very good, yeah. I say, matlab, nothing in the ground. It sounds very, I say, so, nice you, name. Have you na? checked my PPT? No, I don't check anybody's PPT. Seriously? Yeah. Then how can you eliminate them? See, it's such a nice name, no guys? Poppy, it's very colorful name. So, that's how I guessed. Okay, it can't be in the okay, root so or it will not be in the leaves. One or two. One or two. I you said flowers, help. I don't no, know. No, no, you can take help. What the kids are saying? Two. 
Oh, that kids yes, are saying too. Yes, it is the latex, oh. that watery, watery kind of milky, milky kind of fluid. Guys, I'm thinking I'll make a session on how to guess options. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. You are right. That's it. Guys, that's a promise from our side. Yeah, yeah. Done. That's a promise from our side. Yeah. He will make a session before your neat exam that how can you guess the answers. Seriously. Yeah, legend. Only for legendary paper. See, studious paper. Guys, we want likes and subscribes as well. See, Shreya sir is going to do that for you. Yeah. Right, we want more subscriber right now. True. Hey, come on, guys. What What are all these 735 people doing? Are you not liking the session yet? Okay, next yes. question, ma'am. Okay, okay. Yeah, next question. You're really good with the, this all that elimination, yeah. No, yeah. Seriously, you can I make a session. You sure? I think it is the aura of Ambika, ma'am. I think the moment Ambika, ma'am, is on the screen, uh, even if a student does not know anything, the student will start answering. That's what I think it is. Oh. Next question. Among the following edible fishes. Which one is a marine fish having rich source of omega three fatty acid? Okay, I have had okay. all these fishes. Oh, I I don't know all these names, these okay. technical names. Uh, I know bangda and uh, surmai and pomfret and all guys, that. They can help you. They yeah, guys, see, you. I know pomfret, bangda and all that. I don't know what all these things are. I know fish contains omega three. Huh? Th but I don't know about they, this. They'll Mangur, you. They'll Mergela, help you. The, mackerel, the, the, the correct answer is mackerel. Wow. Because see, they are asking marine fishes. Marine oh. is the word here. Marine is the key word here. Okay. It should be edible. Right. Secondly, marine, not the fresh water, but the marine fish. Okay. So ma'am, but I eat every fish, ma'am. I think uh, all the fishes are edible. No. <laughs> no, 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 not all. <laughs> not all the fishes. I are can edible. eat shark also. Wow. He's the captain. Now he can do anything. He can do anything. Last time I ordered shark. It's wow. okay. Anyway. The cutting of DNA at specific location became possible with the discovery of selectable marker, ligases, restriction enzymes, or props. Very easy, huh? Give it a try. Just give it a try. <sighs> the word DNA. is specific location. Specific location because because of discovery of selectable marker ligases restriction. Either one or three. <laughs> Either one or three. <laughs> You sure. are literally amazing. Really? You are literally amazing. I don't know. What are students saying? Three? Really? Oh my god. This is scary. Guys, I am not kidding. I, I didn't know any of this. The answer marked here is incorrect, but the correct answer is third. Oh, the answer marked is incorrect. Okay. The answer marked is incorrect. You are right. The answer here is third. The oh. cutting of DNA at specific location, it became possible with the discovery of, you know, that restriction enzymes, particularly restriction endonuclease. The answer marked here is incorrect, but yes, correct answer is third. You're okay. right, yeah. You're good. Only okay. last question is last there. Last question. Let's let's try this here. This is very interesting. Which, Which part, part of the tobacco plant is infected by Melodigyne incognita? Nishia, it is basically a nematode. It used to decrease the yield of the tobacco plant. So you have to tell, right? Uh, huh, which so part is there? Tobacco means you will eat the huh? leaf only. Uh, but, but, but see, that uh, that pathogen is going to infect that tobacco plant mm -hmm. so that the yield will be reduced. I think stem. No, yield will be reduced. No, that, crop, <laughs> haan, that crop will not be able to grow then. Obviously, oh, so the according crop to you, won't be able to grow. grow that means roots. Achha. You're smart. Very nice way very of teaching. Teachers are usually, yeah, no. physics She's leading to the answers, yeah. But very, still, very well. But still, that's very good. Yeah. Guys, isn't it? You okay. appreciate him, na? Hannah? Crazy, yeah. This is nice. Nice. I, I am loving biology, you know. Nine. Biology is good. This even is physics interesting. Is good. Yeah, this is very interesting. Now, 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 now you can ask Vaseem, sir. He was yeah. not able to give answer of three <laughs> questions. Three <laughs> questions. We can make fun of him. Definitely. After Definitely. the class. Ah, okay, can... meanwhile, I'll start loading my slides. Yes, you yeah. can. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the biology questions. I'll put one another session where, you know, we'll be talking about the, we'll be discussing the assertion and reason. So, as of now, Shreya sir is going to take his class. Okay. Obviously, physics and chemistry both are very, very, very important and especially physics because you medical students feel, uh, you face problem, you, they face generally problems in the physics uh, exams, right, right. But, but you have to make it very easy for them definitely. and definitely you are making it. We are making, making it. it. Is here, guys. But but I am not going to answer physics question. Let me tell you, I am not even going to guess. We are going to do that. Also. No, 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 no. We are not going to spare Ambika, ma'am. <laughs> No, we, we should make fun of Vaseem sir, na? we should not do it. Okay, first we'll team up against Vaseem sir. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me just exit. Ah, we need thumbs up, yeah, we need thumbs up. Just a minute, then. Okay. Yes. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, this is downloaded. Huh. 
okay now note so guys i'm loading it just one second <laughs> Vaseem sir was not able to answer the questions of biology. Chapto, what did you do, bro? <laughs> Yo, seriously, bro. seriously, he was not able to answer the questions of biology. See, see, the point is, I've studied biology till my tenth standard, so you cannot expect any answers from me. Excuse me. These are all excuses. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You, you were a PCB student, is that? No, no, I no. was a PCM student. I was also a pure PCM student. Still, he was able to. Yes, he was able to guess. Options. You know, you know why I was a PCM student? There was one chapter basically in class ninth biology. Diversity. Diversity. <laughs> living organisms my god oh, i used to hate that at that my time. god that was the reason of me taking the pcm anyways how is it going guys all good actually, how is it going quickly no, no, yaar quickly actually, the chat box has to run fast quickly actually you didn't have the good teacher like me na so that is why you used to hate diversity har jagah apni tareef you should attend my <laughs> hey, classes what are these neat students doing yeah in the morning there were some 400 500 students now it's 720 Great. Good Guys, going. Guys, wake up your friends. Call them up. Tell them. <laughs> power, Vaseem sir. Power. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> power, ma. Really. See, see, power of Vaseem sir. He was not able to answer biology questions. Okay. Let me come up with the chemistry questions. Then I'll see who <laughs> is going to answer. Not, I will not come to your session. Huh? So now, guys, it's time for physics. Okay. Do kill it properly. Yes. Did you Did you like the biology questions? Yes. Say no, please. <laughs> <laughs> So it's going to be captain now. Okay, captain will take care of your physics, and right after captain, we'll start with the chemistry discussion. Okay, perfect. All set. I want the Josh to be high, guys. The chats have to run fast. Yes, kill it. I want the fire symbols everywhere. And I want the likes as well. Of course, of course, yar. Wonderful. So, captain, you can take your yo. Thank you, Vazim sir. Thank you, Ambika ma'am, for the wonderful All the session. All the best, bye bye. Vazim sir will be coming after physics, guys. All right. So let's begin with the class. I am pretty sure you all are refreshed after the amazing, uh, you know, performance by all the other master teachers apart from biology. Crazy guys, keep it up. Thank you for liking. And in case you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right away, right now, because there is lot and lot. to study and lot of things that are going to come up in the days to come so make sure you do not miss that just one second let me remove the sound okay so let's begin with the class and uh, here's the first question coming up on your screen and uh, what does it say it's a question on projectile motion kinematics the projectile is fired with an angle theta another projectile is fired for the same range in the ratio of the time of flight is let me tell you today's session it says mock test but it is a mock test of all the high weightage most expected most predicted questions there is a good chance that these type of questions come in the exam and you score lots and lots of marks so stay tuned till the end of the class so let's start solving this question coming up on your screen <clears throat> okay so like i can see that another projectile is fired for the same range this word same range is very important when is the range same the range is same when the angles when the angles are complementary that means theta and 90 minus theta right everybody 90 minus theta and theta that means the range will be same now what is the formula for time of flight it is 2u sin theta divided by g therefore the time is directly proportional to sin of theta therefore the ratio of the time periods t1 by t2 t1 by t2 remember g2 and u are constants so time is directly proportional to sin theta so t1 by t2 what will it be proportional to sin theta 1 by sin theta 2 sin theta 1 i can write it as sin theta sin theta 2 i can write it as sin 90 minus theta what is sin of 90 minus theta what is sin of 90 minus theta everybody knows this trigonometric formula it is nothing but cos theta what is sin theta by cos theta it is nothing but tan theta hence the answer hence the answer is nothing but tan theta which is option d d for doctor d for aims delhi very good i can see so many of you answering this question correctly very good jala sania very good priyo priyanka sampat doc very good very good jay very good excellent very good nidhi excellent moving on to the next question keep marking yourself give plus 4 marks to all the students who have answered this correctly okay the ratio of maximum to minimum wavelength in 
बालमर सीरीज इज वेरी टिपिकल क्वेश्चन सो मेनी टाइम्स दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैव बीन रिपीटेड इन द नीट एग्जामिनेशन सो एक्सपेक्ट दिस पैटर्न एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एटोमिक एटोमिक स्ट्रक्चर इन योर फिजिक्स एग्जामिनेशन सो इफ आई ड्रॉ ऑल द एनर्जी लेवल्स इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इफ दिस इज वन दिस इज टू दिस इज थ्री दिस इज इन्फिनिटी सो लाइम इन बालमर पैशन सो बालमर दैट मीन्स एन इज इक्वल टू टू द फर्स्ट लाइन विल बी दिस वन this will be the first line and the last line will be this one so these are the two lines because here the energy gap is small the wavelength will be large remember energy energy is nothing but hc by lambda so if energy is more lambda is less if lambda is more energy is less so this transition from 3 to 2 because energy is less that means it will correspond to maximum wavelength this is having a large energy gap so this will be the smallest wavelength so now the question says lambda max by lambda min now we all know 1 by lambda max 1 by lambda max is nothing but r into 1 by use your redberg's formula r into 1 by nothing but you will have 2 square over here and over here 3 square that's it similarly 1 by lambda min will be r redberg's constant 1 by you will have 2 square over here and 1 by infinity square over here so when you divide both of them when you divide both of them let's see what do we get so 1 by lambda max divided by 1 by lambda min r and r will cancel r and r will cancel what will i have on the top on the top i will have 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9 and what will i have over here i'll have 1 by 4 minus infinity is a very large number 1 by infinity is a very small number so zero okay so lambda min will go on the top lambda max will come over here so lambda minimum divided by lambda maximum will be nothing but here if you take lcm it will be 9 minus 4 which is 5 divided by 9 fours are 36 here i will just have 1 by 4 so if you simplify this further 36 will come here 4 will get multiplied by uh But, uh, yeah so 5 and 4 will get multiplied with each other you will have 36 simplifying this further 4 goes with 36 9 times it will become 5 by 9 but the question said maximum by minimum this is minimum by maximum so maximum by minimum will be 9 by 5 so where is 9 by 5 answer is option a many students write it as 5 by 9 but be careful it is maximum to minimum maximum to minimum so it is not 5 by 9 it is 9 by 5 everybody got it everybody got it don't make this silly mistake this is a common silly mistake ratio is asked max to minimum or min to max and you find out the exact opposite one is to two is asked you find two is to one two is to three is asked you find three is to two so common silly mistake okay so avoid this negative marks moving on to the next question very very common question expect this pattern expect questions on resistances guys in the examination a wire of resistance r is stretched n times the resistance will become n times decrease n times increase n square times decrease n square times let's try to do this keep smashing the like button i want those 1.3k likes to go to at least 1.5k before i you know do next couple of questions come on my warriors let's do the next one now in this particular question what you need to understand is that if you have a wire okay if you have a wire and if you stretch it and if you stretch it so understand the volume remains the same the volume the volume is going to remain the same and what is volume volume is area of cross section into the length of the wire area of the cross section into the length of the wire now we all know what is the formula for resistance it is resistivity into length divided by area many students think if length increases n times resistance also increases n times and they mark option a but that is wrong many students forget that even area will change because when you increase the length area becomes small to conserve the volume so what you need to understand is this formula actually becomes rho l instead of area observe over here observe over here what will you get area is area is nothing but volume divided by length so put volume divided by length over here so just put volume divided by length over here length goes on the top this will become rho by v into l square so basically resistance is proportional to the square of the length so that also tells you one thing clearly if length increases n times the length square will increase 
n square times. So resistance will also increase n square number of times. n square number of times. Yes, this is very, very common, co important, high weightage, most expected predicted kind of question. Increases n square times. Did you understand? Resistance is proportional to the square of the length. So if you increase the length two times, length square will become 2 square times, that means 4 times. So, if you increase the length 3 times, the resistance will increase 9 times. That is what it means. Moving on to the next question. A charged particle moving perpendicular to the magnetic field loses half of its energy due to some impact, collision, whatever. Then, what is the new radius of curvature? So, first of all, remember, what happens when you take a charged particle moving in a perpendicular magnetic field? Do you remember this? So, if you have a magnetic field something like this and you throw a charged particle over here, then it goes in a uniform circular motion. I hope you remember this. It performs a uniform circular motion. Everybody, what is the radius of such a uniform circular motion? It is nothing but mass into velocity divided by the charge into magnetic field. Yes or no? What is mass into velocity? See, what I am going to do over here, the kinetic energy is lost. Here, there is no energy term. So, I will get the value of energy by modifying this formula. How? Observe. Mass into velocity is momentum. So, this is momentum by QB. Everybody with me? Does momentum relate with kinetic energy somehow? Do you know the formula for relationship between momentum and kinetic energy? If you remember it, quickly put it up in the chat box. What was it? Mom kinetic is P square by 2M. P is root 2MK. You would have seen that many times before, even in modern physics, momentum is root of 2mk. This is the standard formula. You should know this. P is root 2mk or k is p square by 2m. One and the same thing. Everybody remembers this? If you don't, then please write it down in your short notes. Momentum is root of 2 times mass times energy, kinetic energy. So, divided by qb. Very good. Now, you can see 2 is constant, m is constant, q is constant, b is constant. So, can I not say radius is proportional to root of the kinetic energy? Root of the kinetic energy, yes or no, my dear students? So, now can I not say the new radius divided by the old radius, divided by the old radius is nothing but the new kinetic energy by that old kinetic energy is root. So, the new radius, I do not know. What is the old radius? The old radius was... Uh, I think capital R over here, okay, is equal to new kinetic energy, half the energy is lost. So, the new by old value will be nothing but half, everybody with me. So, what will this become? What will this become? The new radius will become, take R on the top, take R on the top, root of 1 is 1, root of 2, just leave it as it is. So, I think this is the answer. This is the answer. Where is it? Option B. Very good, very good. B for bro. Very nice, very good, Sampath Krishna, awesome, Srimati, very good, Abdul, very good, thank you, Eid Mubarak to every student out here, very good, Poonam, very good, amazing, guys, moving on to the next question coming up on your screen, in YDAC setup, with unequal slits, the ratio of maximum to minimum intensity is 64 is to 1, then the ratio of amplitudes is how much, ratio of amplitudes is how much, let's see how many of you can do this now. Okay. Now, remember, whenever two waves interfere, okay, their intensities don't add directly. Okay, their intensities don't add directly. There is a formula for that. But when they have constructive interference, the intensity of the resultant is maximum. And when it is destructive interference, they cancel each other partially or fully, then the intensity of the resultant is very low. Correct? Okay. Now, the formula for the maximum intensity is given by root of i1 plus root of i2 whole square. Similarly, the formula for minimum intensity of the resultant is root of intensity of any one of the, uh, you know, uh, sources minus root of i2 and whole square. Now, as per the given information, the max to minimum of the intensities is given. This by this is given. So, if I divide root of i max or sorry, I max by I minimum, it is clearly mentioned as 64 by 1. So, I will put this value and I will put this value over here. So, what am I going to get? Root of I1 plus root of I2 upon root of I1 minus root of I2 whole square is 64 by 1. Take roots on both sides, it will become root I1 
प्लस रूट आई टू अपॉन रूट आई वन माइनस रूट आई टू इज इक्वल टू रूट सिक्सटी फोर इज एट दैट्स इट रूट वन इज वन टेक दीज पीपल ओवर देयर सो वॉट विल हैपन नेक्स्ट ऑब्जर्व रूट आई वन प्लस रूट आई टू ओके रूट आई टू इज इक्वल टू एट टाइम्स एट टाइम्स रूट आई वन माइनस एट टाइम्स रूट आई टू यस और नो ओके रूट आई आई वन एंड रूट आई वन इज ओवर ह्योर सो आई शिफ्ट दिस गाय ओवर देयर एंड दिस पीपल ओवर ह्योर सो दिस विल बिकम आई एट एंड वन विल बिकम नाइन सो नाइन टाइम्स रूट आई टू विल बी एट माइनस वन इज सेवन सो सेवन टाइम्स रूट आई वन एवरीबडी विद मी फॉलो दिस क्लोजली नाउ वॉट आई विल डू रूट ऑफ आई वन बाय रूट ऑफ आई टू root of i1 by root of i2 root i2 bring it down put that 7 over there so this will become 9 by 7 this will become 9 by 7 now comes the last part we all know one important formula if you have forgotten let me remind that guys intensity is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude intensity is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude so i1 by i2 ratio will be a1 by a2's square A1 by A2 is square. Yes or no? Intensity is proportional to the square of amplitude. Understood? So this is equal to 9 by 7. Root and square will cancel. Root and square will cancel. So A1 by A2 will be just 9 by 7. So many concepts. 9 by 7, which is option D. Very good. Many of you are saying option B that is wrong. It is not 8 is to 1. it is not 8 is to 1 the question was what is the ratio of the amplitudes of the waves which are interfering not of the resultant many students made a mistake over here so now you learn from this problem don't repeat the mistake cool everybody so two important concepts first concept intensity of the resultant formula that you are learning over here second important concept what is it it is basically intensity is proportional to the square of the amplitude okay moving on to the next question uh what is it wow we have pandu guys claps for pandu strike the like button for pandu pandu is come pandu has come in the question and he is jumping also for you from where the trolley of mass capital m on a smooth floor the relative speed is v then what is the recoil speed of the trolley very very good question let's try to solve this conservation of momentum i think whenever you have such kind of problems try to draw the diagrams before and after so before what will happen is that you will have this trolley okay like this let's say of mass m here is your pandu beautiful pandu amazing pandu he is standing like this of mass m and both of them are at rest now what happens is the trolley will recoil back because pandu has jumped so the trolley goes here with speed u the pandu has jumped like this look at the way he looks like a mad person okay he has jumped like this he is going with speed w over here now in the question this speed v is the relative speed relative speed now you guys think and tell me what is the relation between u v and w what is the relation between u v and w come on my dear students what is the relation between u v and w think about it carefully trolley is going here pandu is going here trolley goes here pandu goes here what will be the relative speed what will be the relative speed will it be plus or minus will it be plus or minus come on think about it yes think about it logically yes it will be plus u plus w is equal to v if i go with 2 meters per second here another person goes with 3 meters per second the relative speed will be added so when you go away or when you come towards then it is plus when you go away or come towards each other like this basically opposite directions is plus opposite directions is plus same direction same direction the relative speed you will see it will be minus opposite directions add same direction minus remember this rule okay so now the last step will be conserving momentum because if i take pandu plus the trolley as my system then there is no external force it is completely smooth it is clearly mentioned so conserve momentum conserve momentum 
So if I conserve momentum, what will happen? Initially, the momentum of the system was zero, yes or no? Because the system was at rest. What will be the final momentum? Momentum of this guy plus momentum of this guy. But Pandu's momentum will be m into what is it? W. The trolley's momentum will be negative because it is left side and momentum is a vector quantity. So capital M into u. So now shift it. So capital M into u is equal to small m w. Now we all know I don't want w. W will be nothing but v minus u. W will be nothing but what? V minus u. That's all I have done from here. So uh, expanding it mv minus small mu is equal to capital mu bring these two terms over here so mu plus small mu is equal to mv take u common so it will become small m plus capital m is equal to small m and therefore u will be equal to oh sorry small mv so u is equal to small m into v divided by small m plus capital m that is the answer let's have a look yes that is the answer option a small mv upon m plus m no, it is not 3, it is option A. Some of you made that mistake. Champa is asking, how is Pandu? Oh my God, Champa is missing Pandu already. Thank you for the hearts, Pandu says. The Pandu is telling me via telepathy. Okay, uh, he has a, a microphone and I have an earphone over here. And Pandu is telling me via telepathy that yes, everything is fine. Pandu is waiting for Champa. Okay, but after the class, not during the class. Okay, so moving on to the next question coming up on your screen. What does it say? Current of 5 amperes in a coil of inductance 40 milli Henry is to be reversed in 4 millisecond. What is the induced EMF? These kind of questions will definitely come in the exam, guys. And you will remember me. Like, sir, you had done this. Sir, a very similar problem came in the need exam. And you know, I didn't even think so much. I knew, okay, this is how it has to be done. And I saved a lot of time. 100% you are going to come back and tell me this. Okay, so why not option A? Uh, it is option A only, bacha. it is option A only. Okay, so it was option A only. Let's try to do this. So for an inductor, okay, if you have some current, there is some EMF which is developed in it and that EMF is given by magnitude wise L times change in the current upon the time which you take to change it. So I have to find out the magnitude of the EMF. The inductance is 40 milli Henry. Milli means 10 to the power minus 3. Now, time interval which is given, how much is it? 4 milliseconds. So, 4 into 10 to the power minus 3. Now, the change in the current. Remember, this change is always final minus initial. Final current and initial current. Final current will be 5. Initial current will be minus 5. This is the catch. Now, many people write it as 0 and they mark the answer as 0 and you will get negative marks. Be careful. The sign will change. The sign will change. So, if the current was going here, now it is going here. So, 5 minus minus 5 because the direction of the current has been reversed. So, from positive to negative or negative to positive. Got it? So, now what will be 5 minus of minus 5? It will be 10, right? So, this I can write it as 10 to the power, see this guys, what and all will get cancelled, this will get cancelled, this will get cancelled, this 4 will get cancelled, this 4 will get cancelled. So, what is remaining? This 10 is remaining, yes or no? And 5 minus 5, minus of minus 5 will be again 10. So, what is 10 into 10? It is nothing but 100 volt. 100 volt, where is it? Option B, B for bro. Very good. No, it's not option A. It's not option A. Some of you made that silly mistake in calculation. That's why you wrote 10. I think you forgot this 0 or you forgot the 10 over here. One of that silly mistake you guys have done. So, these are all calculation mistakes. Oh my God. Champa is also giving kisses for Pandu. Very nice. Slowly. See, first it started with two hearts. Now it went to kisses. I don't know what's going to happen next now. Okay, moving on to the next one coming up on your screen. The maximum to minimum time period of a pendulum swinging in a lift which can accelerate up or down with the 2 meters per second square is all right let's see the maximum to minimum time period of a simple pendulum what is the time period formula time period formula is 2 pi root l by g but when it is inside a lift the value of g will change it will become plus a or minus a depending on whether it is going up or down so it can be plus or minus a so think about it the time period is directly proportional to root of g plus or minus a, yes or no? 
directly proportional to root of g plus or minus a yes or no so think about it the maximum time will be nothing but proportional to 1 by max time will be when the denominator is small so that means root of g minus a similarly the minimum time will be directly proportional to 1 by root of g plus a so now if i write maximum time by minimum time the ratio i can replace proportionality with equality so what will i get i will get maximum ke liye i will have root of g minus a below and for minimum g plus a on the top that's it it's inversely related so solve this further this will be nothing but 10 plus 2 this will be nothing but 10 minus 2 so this will be nothing but 12 by 8 so 12 and 8 divisible by 4 so this will be 3 times this will be 2 times so basically it is root 3 is to root 2 root 3 is to root 2 which is option c for what c for what c for what yes i hope guys this question will come c for what yes c for capital excellent guys very good if you guys have got this answer excellent yes it's not d many students said d some of you even said b in between no 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 it is not b it is c very good nidhi very good deepthi very good manju mohana excellent lakshmi very good excellent excellent moving on next question coming up on your screen this is on stopping potential light sources frequency which chapter which chapter obviously modern physics yes your atoms photons photons photoelectric effect yes this is a question on photoelectric effect and we all know that in photoelectric equation the energy of the photon is the work function plus e times vs this is the governing equation which i will use so look at the first situation the light is having a frequency of 4f light is having a frequency of 4f so h into 4f is equal to the threshold frequency is f so h f that's it plus e times v1 that is the first stopping potential exactly now in the second case in the second case the light frequency is 3f so h into 3f the material or the metal is the same so h into f plus nothing but e into v2 from this equation you know what i will get from the first equation shift this guy over there 4 hf minus hf what will it be 3 right 4 minus 1 is going to be 3 so this will be 3 times of hf is equal to e times v1 yes or no next situation for this equation take this hf over there 3 hf minus hf will be nothing but 2 hf is equal to e times of v2 yes or no now what is the last step my dear students was the last step divide both of them because the question is what is the ratio of the stopping potential ratio of the stopping potential so if you divide this so 3 hf divided by 2 hf is equal to ev1 divided by ev2 ee by hh cancel ff also cancel so v1 by v2 will be 3 by 2 will be 3 by 2 very nice a for afmc a for aims excellent -y. very good guys keep up the josh excellent -y. proud of all of you and i'm so happy that you have smashed the like button and taken it to 1.5 we are not going to stop at 1.5 guys i think by the end of the session this should be more than 2000 likes show your support we are a small channel but our josh is as good as some of the biggest channels in the country trust me on that because we are very committed towards making you doctors we are not going to give up we are make and we are also going to make sure that you don't give up i know we guys are very motivated but many students might feel like you know giving up or not doing or might just find it very very boring or difficult or may, maybe demotivated for some reason but here we are for all of you stay in the chats stay subscribed and whatever you feel like comment you know so that we also can support you and other students also help you out sometimes just saying things might relieve your stress right so moving on to the next one the temperature at which the speed of sound in oxygen at 127 degrees celsius is same as that in hydrogen this is a question on speed of sound that chapter longitudinal waves 
longitudinal waves right so let's try this out the formula is the velocity of the sound is root of gamma r t divided by m both oxygen and hydrogen are diatomic both oxygen and hydrogen are diatomic that means the value of gamma will be same for both gamma will be same for both very good r is also same for both okay m and t will be different so i can say v is directly proportional to root of t oops yeah velocity is directly proportional to root of t divided by m and this velocity is also given to be same the speed is given to be same that means that means t by m for oxygen is t by m for hydrogen yes or no that's it now let's see what will this become the temperature of oxygen 127 degree celsius means how much guys add 273 to it add 273 to it what will it become 400 kelvin 400 kelvin this is nothing but 400 kelvin add 273 to it divided by molecular weight 32 this over here t i do not know uh, molecular weight uh, is nothing but 2 right that's it so what will this become what will this become t is equal to this 2 and 32 cancel 16 times 16 goes with 425 times so t will become 25 kelvin but in degree celsius what will it be in degree celsius what will it be this is 25 kelvin remember always the temperatures are in kelvin so what is the answer My, minus 248 yeah just subtract negative 273 to convert it into celsius so that will give you minus 248 degree celsius is that clear yep minus 248 don't add subtract because you are already in kelvin yeah i hope this is clear i hope this is clear lot of students make that mistake over here they add 273 to this how many of you did that mistake how many of you did that mistake be careful this is what happens in the exam you have to subtract because you're going two degrees celsius okay everyone understood oh clear oh if you have made the mistake just raise your hand i want to know how many of your students added 273 in the end so till this point everything was correct see how bad you will feel in the exam or after the exam once you get to know oh my god i just subtracted not added it will be bad right so moving on next question coming up on your screen at what angle must the road be banked for the optimum speed equals the maximum speed at which the same car can turn on the horizontal road of radius this much and coefficient of friction this much now there are two situations in the problem there are two situations in the problem how many of you realize this one is the banked road second is the horizontal road and in the banked road also they have given for optimum speed what is the formula for optimum speed on a banked road it is nothing but root of r g tan theta for a horizontal road what is the maximum speed of the car the maximum speed of the car on a horizontal road is root of mu r g everybody remembers this it was root of mu r g yes obviously sandhya i'll be sharing the pdf on the telegram channel make sure you join the telegram channel link is there in the description even my telegram channel is also there shreya sir for je need ems that right okay now it is clearly mentioned in the question what is mentioned that both these speeds are equal both these speeds are equal that means this is equal to this that means these two are equal so root of rg tan theta is equal to root of mu rg root root goes so rg tan theta is equal to mu rg r r g g so mu is equal to tan theta i can say or tan theta is mu mu is nothing but 0.75 so 0.75 is basically tan of theta 0.75 is 3 fourth 0.75 is 3 4 so tan theta will be 3 by 4 yes or no now which angles tan is 3 by 4 try to recollect it is basically 37 degrees 4 by 3 is for 53 degrees so hence it is option b exactly dharni said b for sure very good that is the level of confidence i need exactly movie roles very good no it's not c abhishek that happens mistakes so see where you went wrong 
वेरी गुड श्रीमती वेरी गुड निधि वेरी गुड अनुराधा और धारणी अनिका यस वेरी गुड विशाल एक्सलेंट है प्रियंका वेरी गुड कीप इट अप कीप इट अप एंसर इज थर्टी सेवन डिग्रीज प्राउड टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू एंसरिंग ओवर हियर मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कमिंग अप ऑन योर स्क्रीन नाउ बॉल ऑफ मास हिट्स द वॉल को इफिशियंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन इज गिवन एंड स्पीड इज वी इट रीबाउंड बैक वॉट इज द इम्पल्स वट इज द इम्पल्स एक्सपीरियंस बाय द बॉल लेट्स ड्रॉ द डायग्राम विदाउट डायग्राम इफ यू डू यू माइट मेक अ मिस्टेक सो देर इज दिस बॉल मास एम ओके एंड इट इज गोइंग विथ सर्टन स्पीड वी एंड देर इज अ वॉल ओवर हियर ओके देर इज अ वॉल ओवर हियर इट रीबाउंड बैक वेन इट रीबाउंड बैक वॉट विल बी द न्यू स्पीड थिंक अबाउट इट को इफिशियंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन इज पॉइंट फाइव सो ई इज नथिंग बट स्पीड ऑफ सपरेशन अपॉन स्पीड ऑफ अप्रोच so basically e is nothing but half or 0.5 separation i do not know approach is v so basically the separation speed will be v by 2 so it will come with exactly half the velocity so this velocity will not be v it will be v by 2 everybody with me it will be v by 2 now the next part guys of the problem question is not to find that speed the question is find the impulse what is the meaning of impulse impulse is nothing but the change in momentum final momentum minus initial momentum change in the momentum is called impulse so if i take final momentum as final momentum as m into v by 2 mass into v by 2 minus initial momentum will be mv but with a negative sign why this negative sign is there why this negative sign is there guys because the directions are opposite if this direction is positive that direction is negative so that is the catch so this will become mv by 2 plus mv so that means it will become 3 by 2 times of mv 3 by 2 times of mv very good guys yes very good srinathi it is a change in momentum yes okay 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 very good very good see yes Ah, uh, Prem Kumar, definitely I'll be doing a separate formula revision session. Formula revision session, definitely it's coming. It's the most uh, wanted, most sort of session, and I know many of you have seen my previous formula sessions also before, but this time it's going to be even more killer and even more crazier. Just before your NEET examination, okay? So it's coming up next week, not this coming week, but the week after that, okay? So two bodies of mass, three kg and five kg, separated by one meter, moving with speeds four and two. Due to mutual gravity, the acceleration of their center of mass is how much? Let's see how many of you can do this. So one mass is basically three kg, another mass is basically five kg. They are separated by some distance, and because of their mutual gravitational force, they start accelerating towards each other. The question is, what will happen to the center of mass? To the center of mass acceleration. acceleration of the center of mass is asked now let me tell you if you take this as a system if you take this as a system think and clearly tell me what is the net external force what is the net external force come on my dear students champa don't leave pandu will feel sad okay okay come on guys think about it kyosh kara ke she can just rewind back a little bit and come back bachcha okay you will understand it don't worry okay now concentrate on this okay so what is the net external force think carefully and answer these forces are internal forces these forces are internal forces correct yes or no nothing is there from outside it is clearly mentioned mutual gravity so this will be zero and we all know newton's law net external force only is mass into center of mass acceleration so therefore if this is true this also means acceleration of the center of mass will be zero only when lhs is zero rhs will be zero so hence the answer is zero hence answer is zero option d option d very good d for doctor many of you are wondering sir what is the use of all this what are they called What is the use of three kg, five kg, one meter, two meters per second, four meters per second? What are these pieces pieces of information in our language, in our lingo called? Come on, my dear students. Yeah, they are waste fellows. Who are they? Waste fellows. And these waste fellows will always come and trouble you in the NEET exam. Yes or no? These are waste fellows. Trip traps. Yes, they are just meant to confuse you. Yeah, they are waste fellows. Moving on to the next question, coming up on your screen. Carnot engine. Oh my God! 
yeah read the question guys carnot engine efficiency is 40% at hot reservoir temperature t when the efficiency increases to 50% what is a new hot temperature new hot temperature let's try to do this come on okay so first of all the formula for efficiency is 1 minus t cold by the t hot temperature now let's go for the first case in the first case when the efficiency is 40 percent 40 percent means basically 0.4 is efficiency is 1 minus i don't care about the cold temperature but the hot temperature is t so therefore tc by t is 1 minus 0.4 which is basically 0.6 okay i can just leave it over there so tc by t is basically 0.6 that's the first situation now the second situation the efficiency is 50 percent so that means it is 0.5 is equal to 1 minus t cold by that new hot temperature so take it on the other side so tc by x is equal to 1 minus 0.5 so that is basically equal to 0.5 again so that is tc by x now what is the next step that i'm going to do obviously divide this with this obviously divide this and this so see what will happen so tc by t divided by tc by x tc by t by tc by x will be 0 0.6 by 0 0.5 will be 0 0.6 by 0 0.5 yes or no now tc tc will cancel x goes on the top t comes below is equal to 0 0.6 by 0 0.5 i can write it as 6 by 5 so what will be the last step x will be equal to take that t on the top 6 into t divided by 5 i think that is what you needed 6 into t divided by 5 which is option c for capto option c for captain strayers obviously the answer is c a very good priyanka nidhi anuradha tanisha very good excellent a ragvi sanya very good excellent a ah uh, no Srimati, it's not a okay so very good mansi very good krishna very good poonam very good very good keep it up moving on to the next question coming up on your screen the magnetic this is direct question magnetic susceptibility for paramagnetic and diamagnetic material are respectively so for paramagnetic material for paramagnetic material remember that the relative permeability is slightly more than one but the susceptibility is more than zero but this is very very small this is very very small for paramagnetic so small and positive i can see small positive small positive over here obviously option b and c are eliminated obviously option b and c are eliminated yes or no okay next step what will be my next step look at the next part diamagnetic material for that the relative permeability is less than one that means the susceptibility is less than zero but this is small negative number it's not so large like minus 100 or something it is minus 0.1 minus 0.2 and all so small negative very small negative it is over here this is small positive obviously it is wrong hence the answer should be d hence the answer is d for doctor very good excellent a proud of you come on guys show that josh keep it up keep it up you guys are doing fabulous you guys are doing great keep it up moving on to the next one the phase difference between two shms crossing each other at half the amplitude is okay let's draw the diagram without diagram i don't think we should proceed this is your line along which the shms are going okay this is let's say your mean position this is let's say your extreme position this is also another extreme position now what is given in the question is that the shm1 if it is going here the shm2 is going this way and this distance is basically a by 2 so x is basically a by 2 is what the question says they are crossing so there will be a phase difference okay let's try to think if i say x is equal to a sine omega t plus phi as the general equation i know the value of x is basically a by 2 is equal to a sine omega t plus phi i'm just using shm's equation and let's see what happens and this x is a by 2 when at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 so i think i should not even put omega t over here i should just put 0 over here okay understood why because the value of time is 0 initially i see them crossing each other so this will become uh, a and a will cancel so this will become half is equal to sine of phi now tell me my dear students whose sine is half 
whose sign is half? You're like, sir, obviously it is 30 degree. Okay, very good. Is that the only angle whose sign is half? Think of some another angle, some obtuse angle whose sign is half. Some obtuse angle whose sign is half. 30 degrees is also one answer, but there is one more angle. Why two angles are needed? You'll understand it in a bit. Yes, that is 150 degrees. Sign 150 degrees is the answer. Uh, sorry, sign 150 is also half. Yep, everyone with me? Sign 180 minus theta is sin theta. Sign 180 minus theta. So 180 minus 30 is 150. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Now, one of this is corresponding to SHM1. This angle is corresponding to SHM2. This is phase of SHM1. This is phase of SHM2. That's why I'm getting two values. It is possible that X is A by 2, but once you are going here, once you are coming here. So, these are the two phases. But the question is, what is the phase difference? What is the phase difference is the question. So, where did it go? Yeah. So, the phase difference delta phi will be the difference of 150 and 30. That is going to be 120 degrees. That is the answer. 120. Exactly. So, a lot of people write the answer as option D. I think this 0 should have gone on the top. It's not 1500. It is 150 degree. But anyways, it's not the right answer. It is C for captain again. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Oh, very, very common questions on telescope or simple microscope. Very, very common. Magnifying power of telescope for normal vision is 9 times. Okay. The length of the tube is 20. What is the focal length of the lens? So, for a telescope, guys, come on, think about it. So, for a telescope, if the length of the tube is L, that means it's the distance between the two lenses, that length is focal length of objective plus focal length of eyepiece. That is basically 20 is equal to F0 plus Fe. But I don't know F0 also, I don't know Fe also. So, for that, another piece of information is given and that is the magnifying power the magnifying power. We all know FO by FE is magnifying power. In this case, it is 9. So, FO is 9 times of FE. So, why not substitute that over here? Instead of FO, just put it as 9 times of FE and let's solve the problem further. So, 20 will be 9 FE plus FE. So, that will be nothing but 10 times of FE is 20. So, FE will be basically 2 centimeter yes or no? Fe will be 2 cm, if Fe is 2 cm, so what will be Fo? Fo will be 20 minus 2, which is nothing but 18 cm. That is the second answer. So, hence it is 18 and 2, which is option A, which is option A. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Keep it up. Are you guys enjoying the session? Are you guys learning a lot? Are you guys revising a lot? Yes. Leave the comments after the session is over. You are going to get the PDF also later on. Don't worry. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Wow. What is this? I think this is a question on rotational motion or rolling mechanics. The speed of the point A in the sphere rolling on a horizontal surface with speed V is. Come on, my dear students. What will the velocity of point A? Very standard. Even when the theory is taught, you would have done this. So, what is happening when the sphere rolls? Okay, there is angular velocity also and there is linear velocity also. So, this point will have your normal translation V and also tangential velocity. So, this is because of translational motion. This is the tangential uh, velocity because of rotation. So, that will be equal to omega r. But we know V is omega r. So, omega r is as good as saying V. So, one velocity here, one velocity over here. So, it will have a resultant velocity like this. So, that will be its resultant velocity, which will be root of v square plus v square, which will be uh, root of 2 times of v. So, hence, root 2 v will be the answer. Option C. Option C is correct. No, it's not option A. It is option C. So, uh, what is the velocity of this point? It is v. What is the velocity of this point? It is 0. In case you have forgotten, this is 0, this is v. In fact, this point will have velocity of 2v. 2v, remember the topmost point moves with double the velocity of the center. This will have 0 velocity. This will have root 2v. Even this point will have root 2v. 
Okay, in case you have forgotten, I am trying to remind you of that. Okay, let's move on to the next question. The work done by static friction on a body is very interesting. Very interesting. The work done by static friction on a body is. Lot of people, the moment they hear word static, they immediately mark the answer as zero. But that is wrong. No, that is not correct. Imagine there is a box and it is at rest and you are trying to pull it. You are trying to pull it and there is also friction acting like this. Since in this case displacement is zero, the work is also zero. The work is also zero. But take another case. Take this case. There is a box and you are moving the floor below. The floor is moving. Okay, the floor is moving or basically accelerating. Okay, the floor is moving or basically accelerating. So you are keeping a box and you are pulling the floor beneath it. So the floor will drag the box. The floor will drag or pull the box. Why will it drag? Because of the frictional force. So definitely do you agree that on the box there is friction acting like this. This is friction acting on that particular box and on the floor the friction will act like this action reaction. This is Fs on the floor, on the floor will act this way. Got it? Got it? Now when the box is moving like this, obviously there is displacement here. Obviously there is displacement here. Force and displacement in the same direction. The box is being dragged. Just like I am dragging this remote, it is being dragged. So displacement and force are also there. So the work done on the box will be positive. But work done on the floor, because force and displacement are opposite, it will be definitely negative. Hence the answer is, it can be zero, it can be positive, it can be negative. Any of the three, hence option D, D for doctor. Very nice. What a question, right? Killer question. How many of you loved this question? Killer question. Very good. Chalo, let's go ahead to the next one. Now, this is a very interesting question. Let me tell you that. Very interesting question. Imagine this, okay? There is a solid cube of edge A. It is molded into small, small cubes, eight of them. Okay, small, small cubes, eight of them. And they are put one over the other on a same horizontal plane on which a big cube was placed. Then the vertical shift in the center of mass. This is so simple, trust me. Okay, if you draw the diagram, else you will be confused. You will be like, sir, scary question. Okay, so imagine this is the floor and this was the cube. This was the cube. The side of the cube, let's assume it as A. Okay, it is A. The center of mass will be over here. This is where the center of mass will be. This height, obviously, this height, how much will it be, guys? This will be nothing but A by 2. I hope this is clear. This will be A by 2. Everybody with me? This will be A by 2. Exactly at the midpoint. Now, you make it into small, small cubes. You make it into small, small cubes. If you make it into small, small cubes, 8 of them, each cube will have a side of A by 2. One cube from here, one cube from here, one cube from here, one cube from here, one cube from behind, one from behind here, one from behind here, one from behind here. Each cube will have a size of A by 2, not A by 8. Agree? Are you able to visualize? Imagine a big cube and there will be small, small cubes. Each cube will have half the side length. So, this will be A by 2. This will be A by 2. Like that, you keep 8 cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, just imagine these are 8 cubes. I cannot draw it over here. These are 8 cubes. So, what will be the total height of this what will be the total height of this? Because each cube will have a side of A by 2. This will be 8 times of A by 2. This will be 8 times of A by 2, which is basically 4 times of A. 8 and 2 cancels. It will become 4. Understood? Everyone with me? Everyone with me? Okay. Now, this is 4A. Now, think about it. In this tall tower, uniform, solid, 
tall tower where will the center of mass of such a thing will be where will the center of mass of such a thing will be it will be exactly at the midpoint so somewhere over here let's say so what will be this height what will this height be think about it it will be 4a half half of 4a so it will be nothing but 2a everybody agrees with this this height will be nothing but 2a everybody agrees with this very good now center of mass was here now it has come over here the center of mass has come over here so my dear students what's the change of height what's the change of height think about it the change of height is nothing but 2a minus a by 2 which is 3 times a by 2 3 times a by 2 excellent so that is option a after looking at the solution it looks very easy but before it looks like one scary thing it is not everyone cool let's move ahead okay here comes the next question come on my dear students show the josh keep up the spirit remember in the examination hall you have to sit for three hours 20 minutes and even before the exam starts, you have to be there in the center in the classroom at least 15 to 20 minutes before. So totally it is more than three and a half hours. You have to be patient. You have to have that stamina. You have to have that concentration. And that is the whole purpose of the mock test that you guys stay fixed, focused on the screen. Okay, do not get distracted no matter what. Let's go to the next one. Surface of a body, emissivity, temperature, energy radiated per minute is how much let's have a look let's have a look come on so first of all which concept or which formula will be involved over here i think heat radiation stephen's formula the power the power radiated is given by e sigma a t raised to temperature raised to four here the power i can get but here the question is per minute so this will be e is nothing but half it is clearly mentioned it is 0 0.5 into sigma is 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 area is given to be 10 to the power minus 3 uh, temperature is uh, 727 which is nothing but 1000 kelvin 1000 kelvin so 1000 kelvin raised to 4 but this is per second this power will be per second so to convert it into per minute if each second this much energy is generated in one minute 60 times more energy will be generated so into 60 into 60 agree or disagree very good so just do the math and you will get the answer guys so 60 divided by 2 is 30 so this will become 5.67 5.67 into 30 into 10 to the power minus 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power 12 just do the math and see what is that that you get what is it that you get come on my dear students i think it will be one of these just check yes it is option b just check it if it is option b 5.67 just multiply yeah okay See if you guys get it. See if you guys got it. Yep. Option B is what you will be getting. 5.6 into 3 will be 1.7 something. So it will be most likely option B. Just check this out. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Coming up on your screen. Yes. Very good Nidhi Priyanka. Very good Siddhi. Excellent. Sakshi. Yep. Sanjay. Very good. Very good. Yes. Jangam. It is. The galvanometer has a resistance of 50 ohms. And the meter bridge shows full scale deflection for a current of 5 milliamperes the galvanometer to convert it into a voltmeter of 20 volts ranges first of all remind yourself to convert galvanometer into voltmeter do you connect a resistor in series or in parallel do you connect a resistor in series or in parallel yes you connect it in series yes you connect it in series so you will have the galvanometer you will have that galvanometer galvanometer has a resistance of 50 ohms 50 ohms that is your galvanometer and you connect a resistor unknown resistor in series and this is connected as a voltmeter in parallel so that you have a range of let's say in this case 20 volts now it is clearly mentioned in the question the maximum current which can flow inside the galvanometer 
is nothing but full scale deflection current is nothing but 5 milli amperes or basically 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 amperes and we all know that voltage difference is current into the net resistance. So, what is the voltage? It is 20. What is the current? It is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. What is the total resistance? It is 50 plus R. So, 5 and 20, it will become 4. And this 10 to the power minus 3, once it comes over here, it will become 10 to the power 3 is 50 plus R. Now, shift that 50 over there. So, R will be, this will become 4000. 4000 minus 50, so that is 3950. So that is that resistance and it is in series. Obviously, only series option should be considered, but it is not plus, it is minus. So it will become 3950. Just check it out if it is A for AIMS. Yes, DS, very good, Deepak, very good, Sandhya, very good, Dharni, awesome, Krishna, Rajan, very good, Priyanka, amazing. Keep it up, guys. I don't know how many questions you have answered correctly till now, but I hope you guys are keeping a track of those questions because you will feel really good about it. Okay, some of you might be watching it recorded. Very good. Even then, make sure you keep a track. Okay. Ideal gas obeys this equation. The temperature is T when the volume is V. Then the temperature when the volume is doubled. Okay. First of all, the relationship it is, is between volume and pressure. And the question asked is between temperature and volume. So, you know what I feel? I think I should convert this relation between volume and temperature. Volume and temperature. Yes, the PDF will be available, Varsha. Don't worry. After the session. Hello, Safiya. Nice to see you over here. Okay. So, what do I do? Remember, P square into V is a constant. I know PV is NRT. So, instead of pressure... Can I not write it as nRT divided by V instead of pressure? Can't I write it as nRT divided by V? Yes or no? Using ideal gas equation. So that is the first step. Now this will become n square, r square, t square. V and v square will cancel. Only v will be remaining is constant. Now n is constant, r is constant. So therefore, can I not say t square by v is a constant, a new constant? Is that true? Yes or no? Now, what is the next step? Now, use this information. If the temperature is T when the volume is V, then the, what is the temperature when the volume is doubled? So, temperature is T when the volume is V. What is the temperature? I do not know that. When the volume is doubled, that means 2V. V, V cancels. So, T square, bring that 2 on the top, is equal to T2 square. Take roots on both sides. So, T root 2 is equal to T2. I think that is the answer. Root 2 times. Root 2 times. That's option D. Doctor. Very good. No, it's not A. Many of you said A. Guys, you guys got negative marks, minus 1 marks. Mm -hmm. No, it is option D. You can see that right over here. You guys made a mistake. Maybe in the calculation. Maybe you forgot to cancel one V or you forgot that it is T square. Something or the other. Yes, Sakshi, it is option D. Yes, Sandhya, it is option D. No, Siddhi, it is not C. It is option D. Yes, mixture. Like you can see, it's mock test. I hope you can see the thumbnail or even the description or the title. Like I said, and we all have said, this is a most predicted questions mock test for all of you. High weightage. Very likely that these patterns of questions will come in the exam. And just few days before the exam, this is exactly what you need. You want that exact sure short questions so that you do not become, you know, confused or you waste time just searching for what question to do and what not to do. That job is ours. We are going to find the questions for you. Your job is to study from us. Okay, let's do this. Which of the following will not reduce the fringe width? Will not reduce fringe width. Very interesting. So, beta fringe width is lambda capital D by small d. If I reduce the distance from the screen to the slits, that means D is reducing. If D reduces, beta also reduces. So, this will reduce. So, this option is correct. This option is correct. Yes, everybody with me? Similarly, if I use blue light instead of red, red has large wavelength, blue has short wavelength. So, blue has short wavelength. 
रेड हैज बेसिकली लार्ज वेवलेंथ सो इफ वेवलेंथ रेड्यूसेस फ्रिंज विथ ऑल्सो रेड्यूसेस सो डेफिनेटली इफ वेवलेंथ रेड्यूसेस द फ्रिंज विथ ऑल्सो रेड्यूसेस सो ऑप्शन ए इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट नाउ वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू इमर्स द सेटअप इन द वॉटर वेन यू इमर्स दैट सेटअप इन द वॉटर देन वॉट हैपन्स द न्यू वेव लेंथ इज द ओल्ड वेव लेंथ डिवाइडेड बाय म्यू सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट अगेन द वेव लेंथ रेड्यूसेस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट बीटा अगेन रेड्यूसेस सो ऑप्शन बी इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एवरीबडी विद मी लुक एट दिस इंक्रीजिंग द स्लिट विथ दिस इज नॉट स्लिट विथ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल गेट कंफ्यूज ओवर हियर दिस इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द स्लिट्स डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द स्लिट्स नॉट द विथ ऑफ द स्लिट द विथ ऑफ द स्लिट only affects what let's see how many of you can answer this hello prince what can the width of the slit do to the interference setup will it change the fringe width will it change the positions of the fringes will it shift the fringes no right what does it do the the fringe uh, uh, sorry the slit's width affects the intensity the brightness it affects the brightness exactly exactly it affects the brightness yeah that uh, can also affect for diffraction but it only affects the brightness or the intensity so this will not will not reduce the fringe width exactly be careful so option c is the correct one very good very good very good so remember each of things just by memorizing the formula it's of no use you have to learn how to apply it and that is what you are learning The speed of a particle moving in a circle of radius two meters varies with time as t square. What is the acceleration at two seconds? Let's try to understand the question. So the particle is going in a circular motion. It has certain speed. It will have two kinds of acceleration, I believe. One acceleration will be the tangential acceleration. The second acceleration will be basically the centripetal acceleration. Two kinds of acceleration will be there. So to find tangential acceleration, just divide. the speed with time uh, sorry take the derivative of speed with respect to time so derivative of the speed with time is the tangential acceleration speed is nothing but t square so derivative of t square is 2t so therefore the tangential acceleration will be 2 and at 2 seconds so into 2 so that will be 4 meters per second square so that is your tangential acceleration do not mark 4 4 is there in the option but do not mark okay because it is only tangential now similarly try to find centripetal centripetal is v square by r v square by r what is the velocity velocity is t square whole square divided by radius divided by radius so it is t raised to 4 divided by r so time is 2 seconds again so 2 raised to 4 radius is 2 so this will become 2 cube which is basically 8 meters per second square even this is there in the option but do not mark this but do not mark this so what should be the correct answer understand it is the resultant of these two that is the resultant of these two so it is the root of 8 square plus 4 square it is root of 64 plus 16 which is basically root 80 meters per second square root 80 where is it option d understood Very good, Prema. Very good, Anika. Josh is high. Very nice. Option D. See how the examiner has played with your minds and given these options. Many students will either find this or either find this and mark option A or mark C. But that is not correct. That is not correct. You have to find the total acceleration. So be careful. Wow! Another important question coming up on your screen. Let's see. How many of you can do this simple current electricity question? Question is: What is the potential of point B, point C, and point D? Point B, point C, and point D. Very interesting question. Let's see, guys. Come on. First of all, this is grounded. This is ground. If this is ground, what does it mean? The potential over here is how much? Zero volt. There is a battery connected downwards, so this potential will be obviously six volts. This is zero, so this will be definitely. 12 volts so a point because this is a wire will also be 12 volts yes or no 6 if this is 6 obviously this will be also 6 volts so d will have a potential of 6 volts d will have a potential of 6 volts so can you see the options 6 volts is here 
एंड हियर सो ऑब्वियसली सी एंड डी आर एलिमिनेटेड ऑब्वियसली सी एंड डी आर एलिमिनेटेड यस और नो नाउ इफ ए इज ट्वेल्व वोल्ट बी विल डेफिनेटली बी लेस देन ट्वेल्व वोल्ट स्लोली द वोल्टेज विल ड्रॉप टक 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 करके राइट द वोल्टेज विल ड्रॉप यस और नो सो इट कांट बी ट्वेल्व वोल्ट इट कांट बी ट्वेल्व वोल्ट सो देर इज ओनली वन ऑप्शन लाइक दैट इट हैज टू बी ऑप्शन ए इट हैज टू बी ऑप्शन ए येस इट इज दैट्स हाउ यू एलिमिनेट ऑप्शन डिड आई सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नो डिड आई यूज माई ब्रेन येस डिड आई सेव टाइम येस this is what our uh, toppers do or this is how high scorers are uh, do in the examination they do not solve the question completely but if you had to solve the question completely then what will you do is first thing find the current in the circuit there will be some current in the circuit like this okay the current will flow so what will be that current it will be the voltage which will be 12 minus 6 by resistance 1 plus 2 plus 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 so this will be 6 by 6 which is 1 ampere now once you get the current is 1 ampere here at this point the voltage will be 12 minus ir i is 1 r is 1 so it will be 11 volts similarly at this point the voltage will be from 11 the voltage will further drop by ir what is i 1 what is r 2 so it will be 11 minus 2 which is 9 volts so it will be 11 9 and 6 yes it is correct 11 9 and 6 so the method also i have shown and shortcut also i have shown method involved voltage i know over here okay by simple logic this is a wires so all these points have same voltage the drop will be ir i i found out r is 1 so i r that's all everybody got it everybody got it definitely if you practice these kind of questions nayana you will sure shot get at least 120 marks if you have not studied much and if you have studied decent enough you will get 150 marks okay chalo let's move on to the next one coming up on your screen a planet is revolving around the sun has ratio of maximum to minimum speed 5 is to 2 then what is the ratio of the maximum to minimum angular momentum ratio of maximum to minimum angular momentum let's see how many of you can do this so whenever you have the sun i think this is based on kepler's laws and a planet is revolving around that sun the maximum distance and minimum distances are here so what is the ratio of maximum to minimum angular momentum yeah it's sometimes because of the options you guys get confused okay come on my dear students what is the correct answer for this come on come on think about it remember angular momentum is always constant this was there in kepler's kepler's second law of equal areas equal areas if you remember this right this was uh, there was a formula the rate of area being swept is l by 2m l is a constant m is a constant that is why da by dt is a constant this was a formula for aerial velocity so that's it l is a constant so it will not change hence the answer must be 1 is to 1 hence the answer will be 1 is to 1 correct it is a constant therefore L one is to L two will be one is to one. It will not change only. So a lot of you got confused over there and you thought, what is the use of this? This is a what is five is to two? What will you call this? What is this? Yeah, exactly. Very good. If I practice these questions only, no, Naya, now you have to practice more than this. Just practicing these questions will be no use. okay will be yeah you have to practice on your own always imagine if i tell you the way you can become doctor is by watching videos on youtube will you become doctor guys no right you have to hold the instruments you have to perform the operation right or else you will not become doctor if you just watch lectures no point you have to practice that is why you spend so much time 5 years 7 years 9 years practice become post graduate become doctorate okay you practice in so many places you do internships fellowships and then you become a very renowned doctor right that's how it is okay moving on to the next one coming up on your screen last few questions coming up guys last few questions and then chemistry will begin okay a thermodynamic system is taken through the cycle abcd as shown the heat rejected during the cycle is the heat rejected during the cycle is let's try to understand first of all this is a cyclic process 
and in a cyclic process this area matters the most because for a cyclic process delta u is zero and the heat and the work are the same which is the area which is enclosed the area which is enclosed so here this height 2p minus p is p the width is 3v minus v which is 2v so that is the heat but since it is anti-clockwise it will be negative why is this negative that is because it is anti-clockwise and the moment it is negative it means it is the rejected heat so the heat which is thrown out is 2pv where is 2pv option b so hence that should be the answer correct very nice cookie watch my lectures watch my sure uh, watch my crash course classes also after that okay practice very lallu pallu questions very easy peasy questions that's okay trust me if you are getting very less marks less than 50 marks in physics now i guarantee you at least 70 to 90 marks even in the last 15 days by just watching and solving lallu pallu questions okay chalo let's move on to the next one a soap bubble a soap bubble mary what did you not understand in this see bacha over here the area enclosed is the work done that is the standard result for cyclic process area inside the cyclic process is work and heat and work are the same because delta u is zero next thing because it is anti-clockwise hence it is negative hence it is negative so negative means heat is not absorbed heat is rejected how much heat is rejected? Minus 2 PV. That's all. That is the answer. So, there you go. 2 PV. Okay, everyone? Great. Uh, will the cutoff increase because of 20 lakh applicants or 18 lakh? I doubt, Bacha, because the cutoff, you know, is dependent on the intake seats, the number of seats available, and generally what matters the most is the people who are on the top or on the above average side. So, I don't think the cutoff will change much. All right, moving on to the next one. There is a bubble which is blown from R radius to 2R under isothermal condition. T is surface tension. What is the energy spent in blowing it? What is the energy spent in blowing it? Come on, my dear students. How are you going to solve this question? First of all, the change in energy, change in energy for blowing or when you change the area is given by surface tension, which is T into delta A u is t a delta u is t delta a delta is the change in the area t is the surface tension now what is the final area it is 4 pi the area of the bubble it is 4 pi r r is 2 r square so r is 2 r actually because the bubble has become double in radius minus 4 pi r square but this will not give you the correct answer because whenever you have a bubble there is a surface here and there is a second surface here so it has two surfaces it has two surfaces there is air here there is soap film here and there is air outside so there are two surfaces so that's why you need to multiply this with two you need to multiply the area also too because inside area outside area inside area outside area so if you do not multiply by two you'll get the wrong answer so this will become t into uh, basically four pi into 4 r square minus 4 pi into r square into 2 uh, this will become 16 minus 4 which is 12 so t into 12 pi r square into 2 12 to the 24 so 24 t pi r square that should be the answer where is 24 t pi r square it is option d excellent yashwan sagundalas nishant very good into 2 yes Srimati. that is the important thing very good Ra Ragna Rok giving what names yeah okay you are getting 140 plus how to increase it further Dharni number one okay avoid silly mistakes number two practice more mock tests if you are getting 140 that means your knowledge is decent so I think it's more about filling the gaps little bit here and there okay watch the uh, lectures that we are doing and if you want to increase the score even further only watch those specific content based videos where you are finding difficulty main thing is mock tests and covering up the mistakes moving on to the next one okay match the following guys match the following come on come on come on match the following 
let's see how many of you can do this okay now there are some more questions what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you that as the pdf okay almost i think i have done more like 35 35 plus questions the remaining five six questions okay which are there i'll be giving it to you as homework okay so let me also meanwhile just uh, message wazim sir okay that i'll be uh, yeah just one second cool cool come on come on come on let's see if you can do this radius of that orbit radius of the orbit radius of the orbit is directly proportional to n square by z it is inversely proportional to z it is inversely proportional to z right so basically it is inversely proportional to z that means a is going to go with r yes a is going with r perfect perfect just one second guys a is going to go with r then similarly velocity of the electron velocity is directly proportional to z by n right so where is it option b option b is going to go with p is directly proportional to z can you see that over here energy of an electron in the orbit energy is directly proportional to z square by n square you can see it is directly proportional to z square where is it option s so it is basically c is going with s everybody can see that lastly angular momentum of the electron in the bohr's orbit angular momentum formula is nh by 2 pi there is no z in it there is no z in it so if there is no z it is independent of z so d will go with q so that is that final answer everybody with me very good prerna very good shrimati excellent excellent very good moving on to the last few questions and then wazim sir and hsp sir are going to be here for the chemistry part you can see wazim sir's hand i think you can recognize wazim sir's hand very easily and yeah guess whose hand is this and guess whose hand was that four marks four marks for the correct answer or maybe 100 marks for the correct answer nobody knows are they from the same person or different persons Oops, <laughs> HSP sir, which is HSP sir, below or top? <laughs> oh my God, you guys haven't observed things carefully. HSP sir and Wazim sir, yes, there you go, very good. Chalo guys, so acceleration of a body starting from rest varies with time as uh, this function, the velocity of the body at t is equal to 2 seconds. So now think, acceleration is given, you have to find velocity. If you are finding acceleration from velocity you will do derivatives if acceleration is given you want to find ulta exact opposite you will use integration correct so we all know that formula dv is equal to a dt but put integration on both sides integral dv is equal to integral at yes or no so you have to find velocity from acceleration that's why you involve integration over here over here now put the limits it is clearly mentioned that it starts from rest that means initial velocity is 0. It starts from rest. That means initial velocity lower limit is 0. What is the new velocity? I do not know. I will put upper limit as unknown. The time initially will be 0. The final time will be 2 seconds yes or no. Very good. What is integration of dv? Integration of dx is just x. Integration of dv is just v. So this will be just v and put the upper limit then put the lower limit. So it will become v minus 0. Yes. Perfect. Now acceleration. What is the acceleration? It is given as 3t minus 4. So put 3t, sorry, 3t plus 4. So put 3t plus 4 dt here, lower limit 0, upper limit 2. Expand the integration. Whenever you have plus, separate the integrals. Constants come outside. So 3 integration t dt from 0 to 2 plus 4 integration dt from 0 to 2. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. 3 integration of t is t square by 2 t square by 2 yes or no so put t square by 2 over here and put 0 2 these are the limits plus 4 integration of dt what is integration of dt it is just time so just put t over here put 0 and put 2 okay so this will become 3 first put 2 seconds over here so this will become 2 square by 2 minus 0 plus 4 into put 2 first and then put 0 next so that is 2 minus 0 so this will become 3 into 2 square by 2 is just 2 so 3 into 2 minus 4 2 is 8 so this will become nothing but oh sorry plus over here so 3 to the 6 6 plus 8 that will become 14 where is 14 option c for capto understood excellent perfect 
very nice guys so many of you have answered very correctly and that too in very short amount of time now all the remaining questions i will give you as homework i will be providing you the solution the answer key everything okay in the pdf okay so all these questions i think hardly some four or five questions will be there i think you should practice it on your own promise me you'll practice it promise me you'll practice it okay where will you get the pdf in the telegram channel so the pdf will be in the telegram channel in the telegram channel okay very good i can see 1.9 likes i think you guys should easily hit that like button and take it up to more than 2000 and hopefully to 2500 it will give us lot of confidence it will give us lot of motivation guys trust me just like you guys see our lecture and get confidence now same way we get motivation by reading your chats by reading your comments so everybody has to make this as a daily habit even if you say hi every day now it's okay even if you say hello every day it's okay but put that comment in the chat box that's all we need so come on give a big big warm welcome to hsp sir and wazim sir coming up on the screen right away right now what's up what's up guys how are you all doing hey very good afternoon to each and everyone just give us give me give me certain seconds okay just give me just hold on guys i will just export this to pdf or else i will lose everything yeah so guys how was the physics and biology discussion let me know quickly in the chats everyone yeah mambika ma'am also there there hello hello what's up guys how was physics yes how was it and are you people excited oh, for the chemistry shows is very high that's really awesome that's really awesome two gods of chemistry wow <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow what a comment really awesome HSP sir, you look handsome. Oh, oh. sir is not going to sleep today. <laughs> sir is on ninth cloud. Fantastic, awesome comment. So, are you liking the session? Yes. Are you all? So, chat rate is very high. Really, everyone is full on Josh. It's done, right? Hmm. That's really awesome. That's see, see, see. Yes, so guys are you ready for the chemistry are you like are you guys ready for the chemistry or you need rest for five minutes huh that's a cat fight see oh, they have these seen cat fight. Huh, they have seen that you know these people they they are so bad here yeah. so my bad. dear student just whenever you are going to solve these chemistry questions just think about that you're giving your neat examination Take it like you are right now giving your neat examination. We'll give you that much time which is required actually in your neat examination. So sit with your pen and give marks to yourself. Whenever you're getting negative marks, give to yourself negative marks and you're getting positive point to each and every question. Put four marks. And if your question is getting wrong, give yourself minus one marks. Just take it out how much you are getting, what score you are going to get right now. Okay? Nice words. Yo, guys, let's 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 move. Hey, let's who move. Who is asking for a break? Oh no! <laughs> There'll be no break. There'll be no break at Not all. Even for five minutes. Uh, no, no, no. Do you want no. to? Do you want us have some tea or coffee? Do you want me to order some biryani and all for you? <laughs> I think they want to celebrate Eid today. Yeah. Uh -huh. See how I'm celebrating the Eid, guys. Yeah. By teaching you people. Yeah, exactly. This is the first time in the history of my career. <laughs> 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 okay, should okay. we start now? I think you Are you guys start. ready? Uh, All so, set. Uh, so, Give me some uh, thumbs ups, people, quickly. See, see, see. So, 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 let them know. Ki what's the strategy? So okay. Uh, see, he doesn't know anything about the biology but uh, they both are hmm. you know very good chemistry teachers but he doesn't know anything about the biology. Thank you, thank you guys. Right? And this man, oh my god. So he is going to surely he is going to put a video in which he'll tell you that. Yeah, I know exactly. Biology okay. is a very difficult subject, right? But My God. Physics, sir. Was That's why you get biology. 350 in bio, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, using my tricks now, you will get from zero to maybe 50 marks. Okay. Ambika, ma'am's lecture will take you from 150 to 180. 
See, okay. he's in my so my team. contribution is only done, done, months. done. I want these guys to leave now. <laughs> Let's start with the chemistry discussion. So, guys, are you all set? Are you all ready? Show me some josh in the charts first. Everyone, everyone, I would want all of you to give me the thumbs ups first of all. Then only we are going to start the session. Everyone, people. Everyone, everyone, and I can see everyone has not subscribed to the channel yet. So please and please do subscribe to the channel first, right? Do subscribe to the channel first because I want this neat English family to grow exponentially. Yes, so all set. I need some fire symbols and the thumbs ups in the charts. Thank you, Eid Mubarak to you all. <laughs> wow, that's really awesome. Perfect, guys. Wonderful, Perfect. wonderful. All right, so it's going to be me and HSP sir. We shall be discussing the chemistry section with you. Okay, so we shall be starting with the physical chemistry part first. Then the inorganic part, then the organic part, and HSP sir, can I solve first yeah. like few questions? Yeah, right. So HSP sir is going to be seated will, here I, only. I will sit over here. He'll be seated here only, right? Maybe. I will wait. I am waiting over here. Maybe right? if I commit some mistake while solving any question, <laughs> he will help me out. <laughs> Chalo guys, let's get going now. Okay, let's get started and be active in the charts. Be active in the charts. That's something which I want from all of you. Okay. Ah, let's make Ambika Ma'am to solve certain questions, right? She won't be able to solve a single question from chemistry. Tell her, okay, afterwards. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get going with the physical chemistry part. And before that, again, I'm telling you, if you have not liked the session yet, please do like the session. Share this with everyone. Let everyone get benefited out of these sessions. And at the same time, if you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe quickly. Moving on to the first question, which is on your screen. Moving on to the first question, which is on your screen, guys. Have a look. The first question is from the chapter solid state. Just read the question carefully and see what exactly are we supposed to calculate. Read the question carefully. Read the question carefully. Everyone. A compound is formed by two elements X and Y. As per the question is concerned, we have got a compound wherein we have got two elements. One is X and one is Y. Right? We have got a compound wherein we have got two elements, X and Y. The element Y forms cubic close packed arrangement. So element Y forms CCP, cubic close packed arrangement. And those of X, those of X occupies one third of tetrahedral voids. Occupies one third of tetrahedral voids. What is the formula of this particular compound? Isn't it a very simple question? Isn't it a very simple question? My dear students, the first thing which I want you guys to remember, whenever it's mentioned the question, CCP. CCP just means FCC. Nothing more than that. CCP means FCC. That's it. And you guys must be knowing, in case of FCC, effective number of particles Z. Z value is taken to be 4. Right? And whatever will be the value of Z, can I say same will be the number of octahedral voids? There'll be in total four octahedral voids. And how many tetrahedral voids will be there? Twice the number of octahedral voids. There'll be eight, there'll be eight tetrahedral voids in total. Right? Now, people, have a look. Have a look properly. Y is forming CCP. Y is forming FCC. For FCC, the value of Z is four. So directly I'm writing four over here. No change at all. X is occupying one third of tetrahedral voids. One third of. How many tetrahedral voids are there in total? Eight. So one third of eight are being occupied by X. Perfect. Just solve it a bit. This value is eight by three. This value is four. Right? Can you simplify it a bit? You should be able to. This is going to be four one. This is going to be four two. So the ratio is coming out to be two by three is to one. 2 by 3 is to 1. But over here, have a look on this. It's a fraction basically here. It's a fraction. It's a fraction. So multiply by 3 on both the sides so that the fraction gets eliminated. So 3, 3 got cancelled. The value here is 2. So it's x2, y3. This is the first question which is done and dusted. Is there any option like this? Have a look people, everyone. x3, y2. x, sorry, x2, y3. It's option A which is going to be the correct answer of this particular question. Everyone in the chats, how many of you got plus four in this one? Let me know quickly. Quickly with the thumbs ups or thumbs down. Thumbs ups means you did it correctly. Thumbs down means you did not attempt or it was incorrect.
quickly everyone everyone in the chats everyone in the chats guys everyone in the chats quickly yes wonderful good job moving on to one more question the question says the question is from the chapter thermodynamics right one mole of ideal gas is allowed to expand reversibly and adiabatically so as per the question you have got one mole of ideal gas and this ideal gas is undergoing reversible and adiabatic expansion it's undergoing a reversible and adiabatic expansion a reversible and adiabatic expansion the initial temperature of the ideal gas is given to us as per the question 27 degrees centigrade that means 300 kelvin okay the work done is 3 kilojoules the work done is 3 kilojoules now first thing first thing which you have to notice here we have got one mole of ideal gas the ideal gas is undergoing expansion whenever there is expansion work is done by the system and whenever work is done by the system w value as per sign convention we have to take negative so w value will be minus it is 3 kilojoules so it's going to be minus 3000 joules right what do we have to calculate we have to calculate the final temperature of the gas my dear students, there is one very simple concept which you will be analyzing here. You know, whenever an ideal gas undergoes adiabatic expansion, temperature of the gas decreases. We know that. Correct? Since you have taken one mole of ideal gas, it's undergoing adiabatic expansion. So, temperature of the gas will be decreasing with time. Initial temperature of the gas is 300 Kelvin. So, final temperature has to be less than 300 Kelvin. So, this option you will eliminate right here. Because final temperature will be less than that of 300. Correct? Because during adiabatic expansion, internal energy of the system decreases due to which the final temperature of the system decreases as well. Okay? Now, dear students, have a look. Have a look. We have to calculate T2. Since the gas is undergoing reversible adiabatic process, so Q value is equal to 0. Q value is equal to 0. If I use the first law of thermodynamics, if I use first law of thermodynamics, delta U Delta U is equal to Q plus W. Since Q is 0, so delta U has to be equal to W. Now, delta U for the ideal gas, you know it. It's NCV T2 minus T1. NCV T2 minus T1 is equal to W. Correct. What is the value of N? How many moles of gas we have? We have got one mole of gas. What is the CV value? CV value is given to us as 20. T2, final temperature of the system, we have to calculate. Initial temperature of the system is given to me as 300, is equal to W value, that's given to me as minus 3000 over here. Can I say I got one equation which just contains one unknown? So, can you calculate T2 from here? Absolutely, you can calculate T2 from here, from this particular equation. Is this super duper clear to you? So, I can see majority of the students are coming up with option C basically. And... Absolutely, it's option C, which is the correct answer of the question. Quickly, a thumbs up in the, in the chats so that I'll get to know that you got it properly. Quickly, a thumbs up in the chats, everyone. Quickly, a thumbs up in the chats, everyone. Everyone, people, quickly. Quickly, everyone. Is it super clear to everyone? Quickly, a thumbs up in the chats so that I can move on to one more. The chat is not supposed to stop. It should continuously move, right? So that I will also feel that you guys are super involved in the session. Otherwise, I don't want to get demotivated at all. Nor I want you to get demotivated. So I want the chats to run up continuously. Yo? Perfect, guys. So let's move on now to one more question. Let's move on now to one more question. <coughs> so, look at this particular question. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Wonderful. Look at this question now. If 5 moles of BaCl2 is mixed with 2 moles of Na3PO4, the maximum number of moles of barium phosphate formed is. As far as this particular question is concerned, we are making BaCl2 to react with what? To react with Na3PO4 to react with Na3PO4. So, what is the product which you'll be getting here? You will be getting Ba3 
PO4 hole twice and with this you'll be getting NaCl as well. Okay, this is the reaction first of all. Now dear students, if I write time t is equal to 0. Initially, how many moles of BaCl2 are we given with? We are given with 5 moles of BaCl2. So initially we have 5 moles of BaCl2. How many moles of Na3PO4 we have? We have got 2 moles of Na3PO4. So this will be 0, this will be 0 because the reaction has not started yet. Now my dear students, in this particular reaction, the amounts of all the reactants are given to us. So we'll be using the concept of limiting reagent. And the first step in the limiting reagent concept is to balance the reaction. Now balance this particular reaction. Balance this particular reaction. This is 3, this is 2, this is 1 and this is 6. I think the reaction is balanced, right? The reaction is balanced. Now after balancing this particular reaction, just identify the limiting reagent. How you guys are going to identify? Given moles divided by stoichiometry coefficient. So this is 5 divided by its stoichiometry coefficient is 3. This is 2 divided by its stoichiometry coefficient is 2. Right? Perfect. This 5 by 3 is greater than 1. This is equal to 1. So which value is coming out to be lesser? This value is coming out to be lesser. So the one which gets the lesser value, that has to be your limiting reagent. So it's Na3PO4 which is a limiting reagent. If Na3PO4 is the limiting reagent, that means it would have got completely consumed in the reaction. So at the end, when the reaction would have stopped, you'll be having zero moles of Na3PO4 in the container. Now, you know, entire product formation is decided by the limiting reagent. What we are supposed to calculate? We are supposed to calculate the moles of barium phosphate formed. At the end of the reaction, how many moles of barium phosphate got formed? What you'll be doing? Use the stoichiometry. It's two, it's one. So from the stoichiometry of the reaction, can I say, Two moles of limiting reagent. Two moles of limiting reagent gives gives one mole of product, which is Ba3 PO4 hole twice. Yes, two moles of limiting reagent gives one mole of product. Right? Isn't it simple now? The question is done. The question is done, right? Two moles of limiting reagent gives one mole of barium phosphate. Two moles of limiting reagent gives one mole of barium phosphate. How many moles of limiting reagent we had? We had also two moles. So from two moles, you'll be getting one mole. So one mole of barium phosphate would have got formed. Isn't it simple? Isn't it amazing? Right? And these sort of questions are frequently asked in your need examination. So have a look on them as well. By the way, tonight at 8 p.m., I'm going to take some top 10 concepts of chemistry. Right? By means of which you can easily score 50. Right? Today's 8 p.m. session means sure shot 50 marks in chemistry. So do attend that session as well. All right, let me move ahead. Let me move ahead. Let's have a look on one more question. Let's see what the question is. For the cell reaction, a cell reaction is given. A naught cell value is given. The standard Gibbs free energy delta G naught we have to calculate. Look at the reaction carefully, guys. This is iron tri positive. This is iron di positive. So iron is changing its oxidation state from plus 3 to plus 2. Plus 3 to plus 2. Decrease in the oxidation state. Decrease in the oxidation state is something which we call as a reduction. And reduction means gain of electrons. Right? Now you tell me, the initial oxidation state here is plus 3, final oxidation state is plus 2. So final minus initial comes out to be 1. Right? So it means, 1 mole of Fe tri positive gains 1 mole of electron. 1 mole of Fe tri positive gains 1 mole of electron, then gets converted into Fe di positive. So 2 moles. So, 2 moles of Fe tri positive. So, 2 moles of Fe tri positive will be gaining 2 moles of electrons. Then only you'll be getting 2 moles of Fe di positive. So, if I ask you, what about the n value? How many moles of electrons are being exchanged? 2 moles of electrons are being exchanged. Simple. 2 moles of electrons are being exchanged. Right? What do we have to calculate? We have to calculate delta G naught. And delta G naught, you must be knowing, it's minus n F E naught cell. It's minus NF E naught cell, correct? So, since we are supposed to calculate delta G naught, it's going to be minus N values 2, Faraday's constant is 96500, and E naught cell is given to us as per the question, which is 0.24, correct? The answer from here, you'll be getting in joules. But you're not supposed to get the answer in joules. You have to write the answer in kilojoules. So, you'll be dividing it with 1,000, then only you'll be getting the answer in kilojoules. Is that super clear to everyone? 
Is that super clear to everyone? Quickly, let me know in the chats. Let me know in the chats with the thumbs ups. Can you solve this type of question on your own from now onwards? Quickly. Yes. So people are coming up with option A. Absolutely, it's option A, which is the correct answer of the question. Yeah. All right, guys. Moving on to one more question then. Moving on to one more question. This is something which I taught you in the yesterday's session. And you should be easily answering this one. Let me know quickly. Quickly, I want the answers from everyone. If Z is the compressibility factor, Van der Waals equation at low pressure can be written as at low pressure, Van der Waals equation will be written as quickly. Quickly, guys, quickly, quickly. Yesterday only I've taught you. You know, when you talk about low pressure, when you talk about the low pressure, in the low pressure region, the value of Z, as I told you yesterday, it's less than 1. And how much exactly? The value of Z will be 1 minus A divided by VRT. This is the value of Z for a real gas at low pressure. But if they ask you at high pressure, if they ask you at high pressure, what is the value of Z for the gas under high pressure? At high pressure, the value of Z is greater than 1. And Z value is equal to 1 plus PB divided by RT. This is the value of Z at high pressure. So anything can be asked out, that, out of the two. Okay? Perfect? Right? Wonderful. So moving on to one more question. Just a second. Just a second. Look at the question carefully and do let me know its answer as well. Yes, Rakesh will be launching the JE channel as well. Just give us one day. Okay? No issues at all. At 600 Kelvin, the root mean square speed of gas X is equal to the most probable speed of gas Y at 90 Kelvin. The molar mass of gas Y is a simple question, basic question. At 600 Kelvin, at 600 Kelvin, the RMS speed of gas X, the RMS speed of gas X is equal to, is equal to the most probable speed of gas Y. Okay, perfect. Temperature of X is given. This is the temperature of X, which is 600 Kelvin. This is the temperature of Y. Correct. Similarly, this is the molar mass of X. What are we supposed to calculate? We are supposed to calculate the molar mass of Y. That's it. Okay. Now, simple user relation. How do you calculate the RMS speed? It's equal to under root of 3 R T divided by M. Root of 3 R T divided by M. This is the relation everyone knows. How do you calculate the most probable speed? Most probable speed is calculated by the result under root of 2 RT, but this is temperature of Y divided by molar mass of Y. So root root from both the sides gets cancelled out, RR gets cancelled out. So you get the final result 3 times the temperature of X divided by the molar mass of X is equal to 2 times the temperature of Y divided by molar mass of Y. Okay, now look at this particular equation. I think every single thing is given. I think every single thing is given. Temperature of X is given. Molar mass of X is given. Temperature of Y is given. You are just supposed to calculate the molar mass of Y. So let me know in the chats, chats, what do you get after solving this equation? Quickly, everyone. I can see majority is coming up with option D. Majority is coming up with option D. So let's exactly see the correct answer. It is actually option D only. Yeah? Again, one simple question, which I'm damn sure you can easily solve when it comes in your examination. Okay. Let me see how many of you will do this question properly. Again, it's a simple question. One mole of carbon, one mole of carbon weighs 12 grams. The number of atoms in it is equal to. Tell me quickly. Tell me quickly. Tell me quickly. The number of atoms in it will be. Quickly, guys, in the charts. Quickly in the charts. Yes, you can do it. It's a simple question, right? So how many grams of carbon are we given with? We are given with 12 grams of carbon. 
वी आर गिव विथ ट्वेल्व ग्राम्स ऑफ कार्बन कैन यू टेल मी हाउ मेनी मोल्स ऑफ कार्बन वी हैव गिवन मास ऑफ कार्बन इन ग्राम्स डिवाइडेड बाई मोल्डर मास ऑफ कार्बन सो बेसिकली वी हैव गॉट ओनली वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन ट्वेल्व ग्राम्स ऑफ कार्बन मीन्स वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन नाउ टेल मी हाउ मेनी आइटम्स ऑफ कार्बन विल बी देर मल्टीप्लाई द मोल्स बाई दर गैट रोज नंबर वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन कंटेन्स वॉट वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन कंटेन्स सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इंटू टेन रेज पार ट्वेंटी थ्री आइटम्स right done understood perfect again one easy question easy kill question you can call it perfectly done let me move on to one more question then let me move on to one more question i'm sure every one of you would have studied equivalent concept once the question is the volume of 0.02 molar aqueous hbr required to neutralize 10 ml of 0.01 molar aqueous baoh whole twice so as per the question is concerned you are making hbr you are making hbr to react with to react with baoh whole twice you are making hbr to react with baoh whole twice right now as per the question is concerned the molarity of this hbr aqueous solution that is 0.02 okay you need to calculate its volume right and at the same time the molarity of baoh whole twice is given to me as 0.01 its volume which i'm representing by v2 that's given to me as 10 ml that's given to me as 10 ml now dear students just do one thing tell me the n factor of hbr n factor of hbr will be one monoprotic acid what will be the n factor of baoh whole twice it will be two it's going to donate some two oh negatives simple again now you must be knowing normality is nothing that is molarity multiplied by n factor this is something everyone would have studied since you know the molarity of hbr solution you know its n factor as well so multiply these two things and get the normality so n1 will be 0.02 into 1 that will be 0.02 only so normality of hbr aqueous is 0.02 if i ask you What is the normality of BaOH whole twice solution? Its molarity multiplied by n factor. So 0.01 into 2 comes out to be 0.02 only. Perfect. Now, dear students, you guys, since you are making the acid to react with the base, so it is the case of neutralization. So you can simply do one thing. You can use the milli equivalent concept. You can say milli equivalents of one reacted has to be equal to milli equivalents of two reacted. Correct. Milli equivalence of one is simply going to be normality of one multiplied by volume of one in ml. Milli equivalence of two is going to be normality of two multiplied by volume of two in ml. The question is done and dusted. N one value you already have. N two value you already have. V two value you already have. So from this particular equation, you can easily calculate V one, which you were supposed to calculate. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Say yes or no in the chats. Everyone, everyone, say yes or no in the chats. Is it super clear to everyone? Say yes or no in the chats quickly. All right, I'm moving on to one more question then. Let's have a look what this question is all about. Again, a simple question only. We are given with a heat engine which carries one mole of ideal gas. One mole of ideal gas, so n value is one, and this ideal gas is monoatomic. If the ideal gas is monoatomic, its CP value has to be three by two R. Its CP value has to be five by two R. Correct. So, look at this particular process. The system returns to its initial state after going through a lot of steps. So, it's a cyclic process basically. We are given with the cyclic process. It's a complete cyclic process. and you know change in the value of a state function for any cyclic process is equal to 0 change in the value of a state function for any cyclic process that is equal to 0 okay what are we supposed to calculate select the correct options we have to calculate q ab and q ca q ab and q ca so let's calculate q ca what is meant by the term q ca during the process c to a Calculate the amount of heat absorbed or released. 
we have to calculate the amount of heat absorbed or released during the process C to A. If you look at the process C A carefully, if you look at the process C A carefully, the C A process is carried out at constant pressure. Throughout the C A process, pressure is not changing. So this process C to A is isobaric in nature, right? So Q C A, I can write directly as Q P. Q C A means the amount of heat absorbed or released during the process C to A. Or you can say it is the amount of heat absorbed or released during the constant pressure. And Q P for the ideal gas, that's equal to N C P T2 minus T1. Done understood, right? So Q P value or which you call as Q C A, it's going to be equal to N value is 1, C P value is 5 divided by 2 R and T2 minus T1. This is the final temperature. This is the initial temperature. So it's going to be 300 minus 450. The value comes out to be what? The value comes out to be <coughs> from C to A, right? From C to A. Here temperature is 300. Here temperature is 450. C to A. Final temperature minus initial temperature. So it's going to be 300 minus 450. Perfect. You can calculate QCA value from here. Number one. Number two, QCA we have calculated. Now QAB we have to calculate. QAB. Look at the process A to B. Look at the process A to B. During the process AB, what is remaining constant? Volume is remaining constant. Right? During the process A to B, volume is remaining constant. So QAB is nothing. It is just QV. And QV, you know, that's equal to NCV T2 minus T1. As simple as that. N value. N value as per the question is given to us as 1. CV value, that's 3 by 2 R. T2 minus T1. T2 is 600. T1 is 300. So 600 minus 300 comes out to be 300 only. Just solve it. Get the answer for QAB as well. I'm sure this sort of question easily you can solve from now onwards. Okay. So you have to look at the processes basically. You have to see which one is isobaric, which one is isochoric. For isobaric, you'll be using the term QP, which is basically NCP delta T. For isochoric, you have to use the term QV, which is basically delta U, that is NCV delta T. I'm sure it's clear to everyone. Okay. Okay, perfect. So one more question on your screen. Give it a try. What do you think? Give it a try. Sodium metal crystallizes in a body-centered cubic lattice. So as per the question is concerned, sodium is forming BCC. Sodium is forming BCC. With the unit cell edge length, A is equal to 4 angstroms. A is equal to 4 angstroms. Edge length of the unit cell is given. What are we supposed to calculate? We are supposed to calculate the radius of the unit cell. I mean, radius of the constituent particle, radius of sodium. You know, in case of BCC, R is equal to root 3 A divided by 4. Correct? The value of root 3, approximately you can take 1.7. A value is 4 divided by 4. Solve it. Get the answer. 1.73 is the closest, so 1.73 has to be the answer. Isn't it simple? Isn't it simple and basic, guys? Yes? Perfect. So it's going to be option B, which has to be the correct answer of the question. <clears throat> All right, one more on your screen. One more on your screen. Give it a try. What do you think? Give it a try, quickly. Give it a try quickly. Everyone, a very simple and basic question. Okay, let me show you the question. The question is a first order reaction which is 30% completed in 30 minutes has the half-life of, okay? So how do I solve it? As per the question is concerned, you have got a first order reaction like this, A gives B. It is a first order reaction. Let's assume its rate constant is K. It's a first order reaction whose rate constant is K, right? Let's assume initially at time T is equal to zero, the initial concentration of reactant is A naught. So this has to be zero, okay? Now, as per the question is concerned, after 30 minutes, after 30 minutes, 30% reaction is completed. 
That means 30% of reactant got converted into product. What does that mean? That means after 30 minutes, 70% of reactant will be still left in the container. So, what is the concentration of reactant after 30 minutes? It's going to be 0 0.7 A0. So, this is the concentration of reactant left after 30 minutes. This is the concentration of reactant left after 30 minutes, right? So, dear students, you got a condition over here. You got one simple condition. At time t is equal to 30 minutes, AT value is 0 0.7 A0. AT value is 0 0.7 A0. Now, what I'll be doing, I will be using the integrated rate equation for the first order kinetics, right? I'll say K is equal to 2.303 divided by T. It's going to be log of a naught divided by AT. This is the integrated rate equation for the first order kinetics. Correct? So, K value you can calculate from here. It will be 2.303 divided by T value is 30 minutes. It's going to be log of A naught divided by 0 0.7 A naught. So, A naught A naught got cancelled. A naught A naught got cancelled, right? A naught A naught got cancelled. So, from this particular equation, you can get the value of K. But was I supposed to get the value of K? No. I was supposed to get the half life. Right? And for the first order reactions, you know, T half is nothing. It is 0 0.693 divided by K. Once you get K from here, put that value of K here, and you'll be getting the half-life of the reaction. As simple as that. Okay? Sir, need some tricks. Tricks I'll be giving you in tonight's 8 p.m. session. Right? I've scheduled a session, Top 10 Concepts of Chemistry. In that session, I'll try to give you a lot of tricks. Okay? Perfectly done. Let's move on to one more question then. Let me move on to one more question then. This is the simplest among all, as I can see. An aqueous solution freezes at, an aqueous solution freezes at this temperature. Right? Kf is given, Kb is given. What is the elevation in boiling point? What is the elevation in boiling point? Look at the question carefully. As per the question is concerned, the freezing point of the solution is given. If freezing point of the solution is given, that means delta Tf value is given. Freezing point of the solution is given. I mean delta Tf, which is depression in freezing point. How do I write the depression in freezing point? It's going to be freezing point of solvent minus the freezing point of solution. Depression in freezing point is going to be freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution. And as per the question, as per the question, freezing point of solvent Solvent, I'm assuming as water because it's mentioned as aqueous. And freezing point of water is 0, minus. Freezing point of solution is minus 0 0.186 degree. So depression in freezing point, you got to know as 0 0.186 degree. This is the depression in freezing point. If you got to know about the depression in freezing point, if you got to know about the depression in freezing point, you know, delta Tf. Delta Tf is basically equal to Kf multiplied by molality. Kf multiplied by M is equal to 0 0.186. So, Kf already you know. So, M is equal to 0 0.186 divided by Kf, divided by Kf and Kf is 1.86. So, from here, you got the molality of the solution. You got the molality of the solution. But am I supposed to calculate molality? No, I was not supposed to calculate molality. I was supposed to calculate the elevation in boiling point. And elevation in boiling point, which I represent with delta Tb, it's going to be equal to Kb multiplied by molality. And Kb value, Kb value, as per the question, is given to us as 0 0.512, right? Multiplied by molality, you got to know as 0 0.1. The value is going to be 0 point what? 0 point 0.0512 degree centigrade. This is the elevation in boiling point, which you were supposed to calculate. So what did I do exactly? Do you understand what did I do? I used the depression in freezing point, got the molality of the solution, right? Then I used the elevation in boiling point, got the, I mean, delta Tb value exactly. I'm sure this sort of a question, again, you can easily solve when it comes, okay? Perfect. <laughs> Let's move on to one more. Look at this question. A very basic question this is. The number of moles of electrons required to deposit one gram equivalent aluminium from a solution of aluminium chloride. So basically, you have taken aluminium chloride solution. You have taken AlCl3 solution. And in your AlCl3 solution, what do you find? You will find Al tri-positive ions, right? 
and you want aluminium to get deposited you want aluminium to get deposited yes for the aluminium to get deposited at the cathode al tri positive will be gaining some three electrons it will be converted into al solid and this al solid will be deposited at the cathode this aluminium solid will be deposited at cathode now the question says now the question says in order to deposit one gram equivalent of aluminium how many moles of electrons are utilized three moles of electrons are utilized right right so three moles of electrons are being gained by al tri positive to get one mole of aluminium solid that's all so what has to be the answer three moles of electrons are utilized to deposit one gram equivalent of aluminium this sort of a question again you should be able to solve okay perfect look at one more question one more question on your screen for the decolorization for the decolorization of one mole of KMnO4 the moles of H2 to required is so simple and basic question as per the question is concerned, you are making KMnO4 to react with H2O2. You are making KMnO4 to react with H2O2. Yes. In which medium? In acidic medium. In acidic medium. Right. Decolorization of KMnO4 is happening basically. Now, you know, this MnO4, it is a strong oxidizing agent. <clears throat> So if this is the oxidizing agent, this oxidizing agent, that means this has to be the reducing agent, right? KMnO4 is reacting with H2O2. And you must be knowing, KMnO4 converts H2O2 into O2, right? KMnO4 converts H2O2 into O2. In which medium? In acidic medium, correct? So first of all, in acidic medium, if I ask you, what is the N factor of KMnO4? N factor of KMnO4 in acidic medium is 5, right? Because it gets converted into Mn di positive. What is the N factor of H2O2? Here, N factor of H2O2 will be 2. Because H2O2 is getting converted into O2. If you want to check, you can check it out too. Since H2O2 is getting converted into O2, the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 1. Here it is 0. So, minus 1 to 0. Change in the oxidation state is 1. 1 is the change for 1 atom, but I have 2. So, its N factor here is 2. Its N factor here is 2. Perfect. Now, dear students, how many moles of KMnO4 we have? We have got 1 mole of KMnO4. We need to calculate the moles of H2O2. Again, you'll be using the equivalent concept. You can say, gram equivalence of KMnO4 reacted, gram equivalence of KMnO4 reacted should be equal to what? It should be equal to gram equivalence of H2O2. And gram equivalence of KMnO4 means number of moles of KMnO4 multiplied by N factor of KMnO4. Number of moles of H2O2 multiplied by N factor of H2O2. Correct? N1 value is 1. N factor 1 is 5. N2 value, we need to calculate, N factor 2 is 2. So the value of N2 after solving this equation comes out to be 5 by 2. So you got to know basically, 5 by 2 moles of H2O2 are enough to decolorize 1 mole of KMnO4 in which medium? In acidic medium. Right? Perfect? Very simple basic question again this was. Yeah? Let's have a look on one more question then. And after that, I'll be giving, I mean, I'll be calling up HSP sir again, right, for the other questions. The question says 50 ml of 0.1 molar NH3. It's a good question. It's a good question. Have a look. As far as this particular question is concerned, you are making NH3, you are making NH3 to react with HCl. And it leads to the formation of NH4Cl. Leads to the formation of NH4Cl. Okay. Now, dear students, Initially, at time t is equal to 0, what is the molarity of NH3 that's given to me? 0 0.1. What about its volume? 50 ml. So, molarity multiplied by volume in ml, it gives me the millimoles, right? So, 50 multiplied by 0 0.1 means 5. So, initially, you have got 5 millimoles of NH3. How many millimoles of HCl do we have initially? 0 0.1 multiplied by 10. The value comes out to be 1. So, we have got 1 millimole of HCl at time t is equal to 0. This has to be 0. Right? Since the reaction has not started yet. Now, dear students, look at the question carefully. If I ask you which one among the two is the limiting reagent, you will say HCl is the limiting reagent. If HCl is the limiting reagent, there will be zero millimoles of HCl left in the container at the end. Right? Now, how many millimoles of NH3 will be left in the container? Four millimoles of NH3 will be left in the container at the end. And one millimole of NH4 would have got formed at the end. 
when the reaction would have stopped in the container, you'll find 4 millimoles of NH3 and 1 millimole of NH4Cl. Now look at the question carefully. Finally, when the reaction has stopped, we are left with 4 millimoles of NH3 and 1 millimole of salt. Okay. This NH3 is a base. It's a base. It's a weak base. And this NH4Cl, it is the salt of, it is a salt of what? It is a salt of same weak base with the strong acid HCl, right? So in the container, finally, we have got weak base and the salt of same weak base with a strong acid. So basically, we are getting a buffer. We are getting a buffer. Which buffer is it? It is, it is a basic buffer. And how do you calculate pOH for a basic buffer? It's going to be P of Kb plus log of concentration of salt divided by concentration of base you can write here. Okay. Now, as per the question, what is PKB value given? That's 4.75. 4.75 plus. It's going to be log of. Log of. Concentration of salt. Concentration of salt is going to be millimoles divided by total volume. Millimoles of salt divided by total volume. That's 60 ml. So, it's 1 by 60. Whole divided by. Concentration of base. Millimoles of base left divided by total volume. So, 4 divided by 60. So, it's 60. 60 cancel. It's 1 by 4. Right? Log of 1 by 4 means log of 1 minus log of 4. Log of 1 is 0. Log of 4 is 0 0.6. So finally, the answer comes out to be 4.75 minus 0 0.6. The value will be 4.15. 4.15 is the POH. It is the POH value which we got. But dear students, do we need to calculate POH? No. We are supposed to calculate pH. You must be knowing at 25 degrees centigrade, pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So from here you can calculate pH, which is 14 minus 4.15. The answer will be approximately 9.85. So 9.85 is the resulting pH of the solution. Is that clear to everyone? Let me know quickly. Let me know quickly, guys. Is this question clear to everyone? So this was your physical chemistry section. Now let me just call up HSP, sir. He'll be discussing He'll be discussing inorganic with you. Let me just call up HSP, sir. Yeah? HSP, sir, is coming. So, dear students, is everything clear till here? Quickly, let me know. Quickly, let me know in the chats. All set, all clear till here? Yes? Now, HSP, sir, is going to start with the inorganic chemistry. With the inorganic chemistry. Okay? And he is not going to take a lot of time. He'll be really quick. He'll be really quick. Okay, perfect. Wonderful, guys. Right, so HSP sir is going to take over now. And guys, at 8 p.m. tonight, I'll be discussing top 10 concepts of chemistry with you. So be there on time. Sir. Hey, very good afternoon. Mm -hmm, no problem, no problem. Let me fix it. Okay, very good afternoon, all my dear students. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. So, we are going to start with inorganic chemistry. My dear students, Definitely, I'm going, to, I'm going to give you tips and tricks. Just show me the josh. How is the josh? First, I want to see your josh, my dear students. Definitely, I'm going to give you tips and tricks. How to do the question? My dear students, let me tell you one thing very clearly. If you are going to solve inorganic chemistry, if I talk about inorganic chemistry, if you don't know 100%, then also you're going to get full marks. How many of you want that? Just let me know in the chat section. If you don't know 100%, without knowing 100%, how to get 100% marks? Suppose in your inorganic chemistry, if I talk about inorganic chemistry, if you know only 80% student is having only student is with only 75% knowledge, 
how to convert this 75 percent into 100 percent just let me know do let me know in the chat section if you are having only 75 percent knowledge if I talk about knowledge if the knowledge is just 75 percent and you want to get 100 percent marks if I talk about inorganic chemistry how many of you want this just to let me know in the chat section if you want this write down me and show your thumbs up write down me along with the thumbs up if you want inorganic chemistry inorganic chemistry if i talk about inorganic chemistry if you are having only just 75 percent knowledge and you want to get 100 percent marks my dear friends definitely i am going to let you know i'm going to tell you those hacks those tips i'm going to give you those tricks because for most of the students inorganic chemistry is really they can't cram it they can't correlate it but definitely i will make you fabulous fantastic students performance you are going to get just to let me know in the chat section how many write down me and show me the thumbs up i will change the game definitely i will change the game my dear students yeah ready 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 now see this is your question this is your first question let me rub it this is your first question so what's the question the correct order of increasing first ionization enthalpy for these elements so see these elements belongs to different groups and different period of periodic table but we know very fantastic thing that if i talk about this barium this barium belongs to which group just do let me know in the chat section barium that means if i talk about beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium this is our barium just focus on barium because ba this barium is over here if i talk about barium as we know that on moving down the group electron goes far away from the nucleus suppose this is a nucleus and if I am going away electron is far away from the nucleus means Z effective Z effective you know Z effective that is effective nuclear charge keeps on decreasing the hold of this positive charge on the outermost electron getting reduced the force of attraction is getting reduced that means it is very easy to eliminate out that electron you know that they are talking about ionization enthalpy so ionization energy is the minimum amount of energy required to remove one electron from the outermost orbit of an isolated gaseous atom in its ground state so on going down the group this is going to have least ionization energy this is going to least ionization energy and if you go from left to right ionization energy will increase ionization energy will increase so in only one option there is barium barium is only one option are you getting my point barium is there only in one option are you getting my point then it is the calcium so this you can see this can't be answered this can't be answered this can't be answered so what's the answer i want to see in the chat section if you are getting this point hey bro hey this is the correct answer those who got the correct answer for this question just do let me know in the chat section with the thumbs up yes you got this question absolutely correct yes my dear students i'm waiting for answer and let's start with the end of the question the difference between electron gain enthalpies will be maximum between first of all let me tell you my dear students we are talking about negative electron gain enthalpy negative electron gain enthalpy why i'm talking about negative electron gain enthalpy because if somebody is forming a bond just like if i talk about chlorine this chlorine gaseous atom 287 if it is forming a bond it is accepting one electron and this is forming cl negative 
there is a bond formation in between this chlorine and this electron that means this reaction is going to be exothermic reaction this is exothermic reaction so i would like to say it is the amount of energy released when an extra electron is taken up by an isolated gaseous atom in its ground state so halogens will have maximum electron gain enthalpy fluorine can't have maximum electron gain enthalpy my dear students let me tell you fluorine's electron gain enthalpy value is minus 333 kilojoule per mole and if i talk about chlorines that is minus 349 kilojoule per mole agreed why this so fluorine size is very very small the size of fluorine is very very small fluorine size is very very small so to due to inter electronic repulsion due to inter electronic repulsion fluorine can't take an extra electron if i give you the trick just like if i say fluorine is ant just suppose fluorine is like ant and chlorine is like elephant if i say fluorine is like ant and chlorine is like elephant you just see to it you just see to it this is only ant and this is ant elephant is extra suppose this elephant had breakfast but fluorine is hungry from last two days if i say this fluorine is hungry from last two days and chlorine this elephant had this have had breakfast in the morning but who is going to eat more suppose there is one pizza there is one pizza full on pizza big large pizza large pizza who will eat more this ant will eat more or the elephant will eat more just do let me know in the chat section who is going to eat more the ant or the elephant i will let you know the answer very quickly but just do let me know in the chat section who is going to eat more pizza the ant or the elephant because the size of this ant is very very small and the size of elephant is elephant is so oh, huge so big who will eat more elephant is going to eat more because of the size so this can't be the answer this can't be the answer this can't be the answer and see neon and argon so these two can be the answer because chlorine has maximum negative electron gain in therapy on moving down the group on moving down the group on moving down the group electron affinity increases but zero group element chlorine has got maximum electron gain in therapy and zero group zero group element they have got zero electron gain in therapy because their octet is complete they don't want to gain electrons so what's your answer most of the students are saying d so britannia 50 50 out of these two let's see what's the correct answer some are saying d some are saying c let me check it out hey this is the correct answer because on moving down the group plus let me tell you helium neon argon krypton xenon radon on going down the group will you say electron gain enthalpy will decrease because the known metallic character is getting decreased if you got full marks for this question give thumbs up for yourself my dear students it's all your paper so next question the number of anti bonding electron present in o2 my dear friend really this is going to be the best question see how to do it if i talk about o2 if i talk about o2 according to molecular orbital theory oxygen plus oxygen that means 8 plus 8 i am having 16 electrons so i will write sigma 1s2 sigma anti bonding 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma anti bonding 2s2 sigma 2pz pi 2px is equal to pi 2py pi anti bonding 2px is equal to pi anti bonding 2py 
sigma anti bonding 2pz this is from molecular orbital theory and if i put electrons over here just find it out 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 to 10 and uh, to 12 to 14 and 1 1 can you see 1 1 15 and 16 how many electrons are present in anti bonding just count it anti bonding 2 4 2, 6, 2, 8. Oh, they are bonding. They are bonding. They are bonding. Anti bonding 2 to 4, 5, and 6. So, what's your answer? Just do let me know in the chat section. What's your answer, my dear students? What's your answer? Just see to it. Just see to it. 2 to 4, 5, and 6. So, the correct answer is first. Oh, yeah. You can say to it. And just to let me know, is your answer correct or not? Is your answer correct or not? Yes, absolutely. You got full marks. Oh, which of the following orbital combination does not form pi bond? C to it does not form pi bond. What's written over there? Does not form pi bond. What's written over there? Does not focus over here. Just read it out properly. Does not form pi bond. So let me check it out. Which is not going to form pi bond? sidewise overlapping px px if i say px px sidewise overlapping so suppose this is x axis this is x axis if i say px px sidewise overlapping this is going to form pi bond if i talk about x square y square so x square y square will look like this this is x axis this is y axis and if i draw the orbitals p x square p y square this is p x square y square and if i put p by p by if i write p by p y i will this is x axis and if i am writing on the y axis this can't form because there is zero probability of finding electron this can't form your pi bond so this is going to be the correct answer agreed yes i can see in the chat section that most of the students they are writing this is the correct answer do let me know in the chat section wow that's fantastic how many of you got the correct answer do let me know in the chat section by showing the thumbs up my dear students do like and subscribe our channel give us the motivation as i'm teaching if i'm teaching up to the mark my dear student just show the josh how is the josh just do let me know in the chat section if your answer is absolutely correct just show the thumbs up just show the thumbs up my dear students Another question. Oh, huge question. Just read it out properly. I will give you time just to read it out. Huge question. Assertion and reasoning nowadays, last year in the NEET examination, they, they have given attention towards assertion and reasoning. My dear friends, really this is going to be the fantastic question. The spin-only magnetic moment. Oh, first to let me know in the chat section how many you find difficulty in solving this type of question then i will give you the magic i'm going to give you the magical tricks my dear students me the hsp i'm going to give you awesome tips and tricks for such type of huge question but do let me know in the chat section oh most of the students they are giving the answer write down me write down me and show the thumbs up write down me and show the thumbs up then definitely i will give you the tips and tricks for such type of tough questions just write down me and show the thumbs up do let me know in the chat section if you are interested in my tricks tips or not just do let me know in the chat section yeah mary is writing she is going to take too much time in for solving such type of question. Do let me know in the chat section if you want my tip and tricks. See, my dear friends, first of all, focus on iron. Here is iron. Iron's atomic number is how much? Iron is 26. So, first of all, do one thing. First of all, do one thing. Write down 26, reverse it. 2, 6, just reverse it. Just reverse it. 6 and 2. Now write down 3D6, 4S2. Can you do this much? 
just do let me know in the chat section can you do this much what i have written atomic number 26 this was the atomic number and i have reversed it 62 so 3d6 4s2 now see my dear friends what's the oxidation state x oxidation state is x cyanide minus 6 is equal to minus 3 so x is equal to minus 3 plus 6 that will come out to be plus 3 so plus 3 that means if i write for ferric fe3 plus how i will remove the electrons two electron will go from here from 4s two electrons will get eliminated out and one from here so i will get 3d5 is it okay how i will write 3d5 i will write 3d5 like this one two three four five but this way i am writing without ligand without ligand or i can say weak field ligand weak field ligand either weak field ligand is there it will be like this or without ligand it is going to be like this but we are having cyanide cyanide is strong field ligand my dear friend cyanide is strong field ligand and strong strong you know strong will force the electron it will say oh just go inside i want to occupy my position just go inside so see to it it will cyanide will enforce these electrons to come toward this side and under the influence of cyanide they will shift how they will shift let me tell you six electrons or five five so two will come over here one two three four and five so these two positions are vacant right so there is one unpaired electron till now is it okay till now is it okay there is one unpaired electron this complex is having one unpaired electron now you have to apply formula for bore magneton under root n into n plus 2 what again i am going to give you one i am again going to give you one trick see my dear friends what is that trick trick is without applying formula you can do this question how many of you want how many of you want to get the answer without applying formula without applying formula for Bohr magneton answer on the spot how many of you need that answer on this spot just do let me know in the chat section see if unpaired electrons are one if one pair one unpaired electron if we are having one unpaired electron then the Bohr magneton value will come one plus something in points one plus something in points one plus something in points if two then we'll get two plus something in points three then we'll get three plus something in points points four then we will get four plus something in points 5 then we will get 5 plus something in points are you getting my magic are you able to understand so I was having only one unpaired electron I was having only one unpaired electron that means one plus something one plus something one plus something that means one plus something one plus something 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 one plus something have you got the trick so 1.74 this is absolutely correct if i am having five unpaired electron if i am provided with five unpaired electron that means five plus something five plus five point nine two if i am having four unpaired electron that means four plus something four point nine zero have you got the trick have you got the trick in both complexes and now see 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 to it see to it let me tell you see to it I have told you each and everything if you are able to understand my dear students now if I say this H2 I have told you cyanide was strong field ligand strong field ligand and this H2O is weak field ligand H2O is weak field ligand weak field ligand weak field ligand so this is having plus 3 oxidation state 5 unpaired electrons 5 unpaired electrons 5 unpaired electrons now my dear students 
can you please help me 5 unpaired electron means what is the Bohr magneton Bohr magneton value will be 5 plus something 5 plus something and that something is going to be how much 5.92 5.92 this is so what's the answer what's the answer what's the answer how many of you are able to understand my trick just do let me know in the chat section if you are able to understand what I have told you and remember that one more thing I have written that water is weak field ligand but remember that with cobalt 3 plus if we are having cobalt 3 plus this water will act as strong field ligand with cobalt so my dear students just do let me know in the chat section if you are able to understand if you want it again if you want this trick again write down in the chat section you are not able to understand and you just let me know in the chat section i want to see if you are able to understand if you got this concept do let me know in the chat section with the thumbs up and if you want it again if you want it again then write down we want to understand it again just to i don't want to waste your time i don't want to waste your time but yes i want to go along with you so that you can understand each and everything my dear students so this is your answer definitely both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation because it is not indicating that key water is being weak field ligand and cyanide is being strong field ligand if i talk about synox remember that synox 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 sin cyanide ox cyanide ox this is the trick for it cyanide ox this is the order for strong field ligand strong field ligand strong field ligand I think you are able to understand that carbon ligands are strong field ligand and halogens are big 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 field ligand. So next another question. Oh great. So this is also going to be this is again this is again but how to find out which ligand is weak field ligand and okay. But how to find out? Let me tell you. Don't wait. Don't worry. Let me tell you the ligand field. Don't worry, my dear students. See, I So, I am writing whether they are strong field ligand or weak field ligand. They all are weak field ligand. Weak field ligands. Now, I am writing strong field ligands. See over here. This one is strong field ligand. These all are strong field ligands. Let me tell you, my dear students, these all are strong field ligands. These all are definitely strong field ligands. And all they are weak field ligand. They all are weak field ligand. But my dear students, do let me tell you, if I talk about these two, these two, just see to it. If I talk about oxalate and water, oxalate and water are being weak field ligand with all the elements but if I talk about cobalt 3 plus cobalt 3 plus with cobalt 3 plus they will act as these two will act as strong field ligand remember my point just make a note of it that cobalt 3 plus with cobalt 3 plus oxalate and water will act as strong field ligand otherwise they all are weak field ligand if is it clear to all of you if it is clear to all of you that this oxalate and water they are weak field ligand but if it comes to cobalt 3 plus they both of them they will act as strong field ligand is it clear if it is clear to all of you 
let's move out there was cyanide there was cyanide this is strong field ligand and there was water that is weak field ligand let's move to another question let's move to another question see this is your question this is your question are you ready for this question everyone just to let me know in the chat section if you are ready for this question are you ready for this question are you ready for this question see what the question the number of entities or the species from which the following have square pyramidal structure just to find out shape what we have to do we have to move sequence wise first find out steric number how will you find out steric number how will you find out steric number number of sigma bonds plus number of localized lone pairs this will give you steric number my dear students once the steric number is clear to all of you you can find out electronic geometry you can find out electronic geometry when i will teach shamji when i am i'm going to teach you this coordination chemistry definitely i will let you know the tricks right now we are going to deal with questions no we are not having that much of time that's why right now i'm going to give you a trick i have tricks for each and everything whatever the series is given i have got tricks i will give you those tricks later on but right now we are having short of time so right now i'm dealing directly steric number if no lone pair is there then the electronic geometry whatever is the electronic geometry shape will be like that only now see my dear students if i talk about pf5 pf5 phosphorus belongs to fifth period so it is having five electrons one two three four five now five fluorine one fluorine another fluorine another fluorine another fluorine another fluorine five sigma bond no lone pair so its steric number is five five means sp3 d trigonal its shape is going to be trigonal trigonal bipyramidal is it clear to all of you is it clear to all of you now if i talk about brf4 negative if5 brf5 so they are asking for a square pyramidal so brf4 negative if5 let me take one example if5 brf5 whatever they are going to give you we will get the same thing let me tell you how to get it you got the fundamental thing you got the basic thing now let me tell you if i say i'm talking about if5 you can see very clearly i i belongs to seventh group 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i f 5 one fluorine two fluorine three fluorine four fluorine fifth fluorine we have got five sigma bond one two three four five one lone pair five plus one is how much six six means sp3 d2 three plus two one sp3 d2 means electronic geometry is going to come electronic geometry will come yes my dear students electronic geometry will be electronic geometry will be octahedral if i want to say, say octahedral octahedral look like this octahedral look like this i f 1f 2f 3f 4f fifth f what there is one lone pair so it is a square pyramidal can you see this is a square pyramidal so they are asking for the square pyramidal my dear students square pyramidal this is going to be square pyramidal and this is also going to be square pyramidal because they are halogens so what you are going to get this one this one if you talk about xcof4 let me tell you about xcof4 x c is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 how many fluorine four fluorine 1 2 3 4 4 and one oxygen see to it how many sigma bonds my dear student just to let me know one sigma bond two sigma bond three sigma bond four sigma bond five sigma bond five plus one five plus one is coming out six like this six where is six 
it was 6 and the same geometry it is going to help. So, you are going to get answer. You got the answer just to let me know. I have told you each and everything just to let me know what's the answer. In the chat section just to let me know what's the answer. So, the answer is B absolutely correct. <laughs> such a huge question, such a big question I have told you. If you like my explanation my dear students just to show thumbs up if you like my explanation my dear student I need your support I need your thumbs up if I am going to give you each and everything up to the marks my dear student just show the thumbs up yes 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 my dear students yeah I can understand if you want to become the best doctor, you have to, yes, you have to go with these type of questions. They require some time. And my dear friend, the successful doctors, the successful doctors, doctors of Ames Delhi, sometimes they have to spend eight hours on the best operation when they are going to do surgery eight hours for the eight hours continuously they have to devote their time because that's why doctors are known as God next to God my dear friends do remember my dear friends do remember always very good doctors they have to do operation for some time they they have to go for eight hours nine hours so don't blame that five hours continuously my dear friends you are going to be the god so another question number of ambidentate you see ambidentate means ambidentate means scn i can write scn I can write CNS. So, how many complex? This is the complex. EN is like simple EN, it will remain like NH2, CH2, CH2, NH2. But this SCN, thiocyanate and isothiocyanate, if I talk about this thiocyanate and cyanate, thiocyanate. and isothiocyanate. So, what's the answer? My dear student, just do let me know in the chat section what's the answer. How many SCN are there? Four. Four SCN are there. So, definitely your answer going to be four. Just do let me know in the chat section. Yes, if you got the correct answer, my dear students, just move ahead. Yes, ion having highest hydration enthalpy. You know, my dear student, water. This water always loves the smaller cations water always water always loves the smaller cation water always loves the smaller cation who is the smallest one just to let me know in the chat section so it's like this beryllium it's like this beryllium beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium radium is uh, radioactive so on moving down the group size increases size increases size increases and size increases so who is the smallest smallest chotu one chotu my dear uh, chotu ketan kutti chetan my dear kutti chetan you remember that movie my dear kutti chetan chota small one smaller my dear kutti chetan do you remember that movie the very long back I have seen this movie my dear Kuti Chetan man means smaller cation who is the smallest cation just let me know who is being the smallest this Balaam is going to be the smallest cation smallest to smallest 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 so what is saying yeah my dear I love you so much I will surround you from all the sides because you are the smallest and I will make you large. I will make you large. Yes, it is very, very small. What in the water it will become large. Water will support. Water will give full support. The smallest cation and smallest cation will become large, my dear friends. 
Yes, so the answer is going to be beryllium. Yes, you see what I said. What I said, beryllium is the smallest cation and water will make it large. Are you? <laughs> Are you in support of me? Yes, yes, yes. Now see. Oh, my dear friend, such a big question. Oh, what to do? what to do i can't understand but remember that i will make you understand this question see i have got trick trick i have got trick for this question just do let me know in the chat section how many of you want to know that trick if you want to know that trick you have to give your full support you have to show your thumbs up in the chat section comment section then i'm going to show you the trick for this question this question is really going to be a very hard question but i will make you super awesome duper easy just do let me know just try to understand nickel bhaiya nickel 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 you see nickel just focus on nickel just focus on nickel and nickel is for mons mons now nice monday whenever i used to go to the school whenever i go used to go to the school on sundays i get bored but i was always waiting for the monday nice monday what's the trick for it nice monday nice nice Monday, nice Monday. Monday is very nice, my dear friends. After Sunday, it comes Monday. Nice Monday. You got it? You like my trick? Just do let me know in the chat section. Nice Monday. So, nickel for months, for D for months, for D it will come to the second one. Nickel months, nickel months, nickel months. Nickel is forming a bond with months. Nickel creates for months process. You got it? Just do let me know in the chat section. Nickel months. That means nickel months. The answer is nickel months. D and second. D, 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 second. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> you got it. You got it, my dear friends. You killed it. You killed it. Nickel months. Nice Monday. I'm saying what I'm talking about. Nice monday nice monday nice monday do remember nickel 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 is for monday nimon 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 nickel mon nickel mon nimon another question the density of oh dangerous question dangerous question this is really dangerous question danger dangerous question remember that Remember that. Let me tell you, my dear friend, this question is from S block and it is really super awesome. What to say? Dangerous question. As we know that, my dear friends, as we go down the group like lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium, we all know that very well as we know that on moving down the group, density generally increases. Density generally increases density on moving down the group on moving down the group on moving on moving down the group on moving down the group oh, 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 oh. no space is there my dear friend let me write down it further on moving down the group down the group density generally increases density generally increases density generally increases but do remember that sodium has got more density than potassium sodium's density is more than that of potassium do remember over here this is the exception my dear friends we have to note it point to be noted my lord that sodium has got more density than potassium sodium has got more density than potassium if you remember this point if you remember this point your question is going to rock your question is going to rock my dear friend just always remember that sodium's density is more than potassium you have to remember nak in hindi nose is known as nak in hindi in hindi nose is known as nak and nak that means nose should remain at the top this is the trick this is the trick nak 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 nose for nose nak word is used in hindi nose means nak and nak nose must remain on the top 
if you got it just do let me know in the chat section that you got it and your answer is going to be my dear students sodium potassium if i go down the group rubidium cesium cesium is there cesium is there this can't be the answer this can't be the answer cesium is there cesium is there and sodium potassium that sodium's density is more than potassium so i will go for d option i will go for d option my dear students just do let me know in the chat section that you are able to understand or you're not able to understand i will go for fourth option yeah hurray hurray yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i got it i got it i got it just do let me know in the chat section it is your answer Oh my god I'm really liking your love and support in the chat section I can see to it that you are enjoying it Oh in Tamil nak means tongue oh ho oh, oh ho oh. and the question the structure of beryllium chloride oh my god once again question from beryllium question from S block oh it's a killer question hi my god how to do, do this question my dear student just to lead, let me know in the chat section if anything is gaseous if anything is gaseous the molecules will remain far away far away far away far away if this is coming liquid the molecules will come closer by closer by closer by and solid the molecules are nearer to each other my dear students the question is asking in solid state and vapor state so in solid state they remain in chain form hey baba they remain in chain form and in vapor state they remain in diamond state diamond state my kids dear students so just search it out which option is in support of this just do let me know in the chat section you got it are you getting my point i'm just enjoying it if you feel enjoying your questions in the neat examination you will get full answer full marks you are going to rock you will get aims tally seat if you want to get aims tally seat don't get nervous in the examination have patience be cool go with the must tricks then you are going to get full marks in the examination so which option dimer 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 chain 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 dimer chain and dimer chain and dimer chain and dimer chain and i will go for the fourth option i'm going for the fourth option just do let me know in the chat section is this on the just show me the thumbs up if it is this your question my dear student just show me the thumbs up yay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i got it i got it is this your answer if this is your answer if you are getting this answer just do let me know in the chat section that this is the answer my dear students let me have few drops of water few drops of water my energy you must you keep hydrated yourself keep hydrated yourself my dear student keep hydrated yourself <sighs> <clears throat> so here is your another question oh my god this question is from p block in only chemistry is going to kill me my dear student this is from p block p block phosphorus p block phosphorus this hpo3 if i talk about hpo3 this hpo3 is known as a uh, monomeric unit monomeric monomeric unit and this is known as meta phosphoric acid meta phosphoric acid my dear students i'm doing exercise also while teaching you it's my exercise i'm doing exercise also so see to it everyone see to it p double bond o for oxy acid it is required this is the essential part for oxy acid and there is coordinate bond how many p double bond o are there how many p double bond o are there so answer is in monomeric unit in monomeric unit only p double bond o and this is the trimer this is the trimer polymer trimer so what's your answer in one monomeric unit i am having one p double bond o so in three in three i will go for three have you got the answer everyone just just, just do let me know the answer this yeah once again our answer is have oh my god janu what's the name janu kili wow great name and janvi kili which its name is janvi kili oh my dear students so let me tell you another question in which of the following octahedral 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 complexes species the magnitude of oh great do remember one thing let me tell you one thing very clearly stronger the ligand stronger the ligand
more the charge two points are required stronger the ligand more the charge on central metal atom my dear students two things are required and the whole coordination chemistry this question is from coordination chemistry two things are required very very important stronger the ligand i can say strong field ligand i am talking about a strong field ligand and more the charge on central metal atom more will be splitting more will be splitting even i will let you know when i teach when i am going to teach you coordination chemistry no need to remember the colors of coordination compound at least 10 to 12 coordinate complex compounds are given in your chemistry and directly they are going to ask question what color they will absorb and what color they are going to emit and people students they are always going to cram it my my dear students let me tell you very clearly i will give you that fundamental thing that no need to cram the colors you can find out color but my dear students this i am telling you just search it out more stronger the ligand more the charge on central metal atom more will be splitting more will be splitting more will be splitting so just see to it just see to it cobalt 2 plus oh you can't be the answer cobalt is 2 plus and what is on 2 plus and this is weak field ligand this can't be answer this can't are you getting my point this can't be answer everyone getting my point cobalt cyanide oh great <laughs> bro you are 3 plus you can be answer cobalt oxalate oh this is also okay all these are strong field ligand but how to do this question my dear students all these three are strong field ligand but i know very well one thing that cyanide is the strongest field ligand just now i have given you the trick i have given you the spectrochemical series we found that cyanide is the strongest the strongest field ligand so i will go for this let me find out this is the answer yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we got we got the answer we got the answer we got the answer we got the answer now which one of the following order is correct for bond dissociation my dear friends this is really awesome question one of the awesome, most fantastic question awesome question and i am going to i am going to give you a trick just to let me know in the chat section how many of you want to have trick for this this is the toughest question and for this type of question how many of you want to have a trick for it i am not going to give you a trick if you are not showing thumbs up if you show thumbs up i will give you the trick most important trick i will give you for this मृगुन ठाकरे जी वेलकम वेलकम तरुण कुमार फॉर तरुण कुमार कुमार माय डियर स्टूडेंट सायन फुरकाना टू सो द ट्रिक इज ट्रिक इज एंड दिस ट्रिक इज बेस्ड ऑन माय डियर स्टूडेंट दिस ट्रिक इज बेस्ड ऑन योर कैप्टो योर कैप्टो यू रिमेंबर योर कैप्टो कैप्टो सी इज फॉर कैप्टो capto br for bro bro capto bro capto bro fruits from india ya yeah, florida to india florida to india florida to india just try to find out your capto shreyas sir shreyas sir capto bro florida to india you got the trick i am going to give you the reason also i am going to give the reason also my dear students i will let you understand what the logic behind it but this is the trick you like my trick your capto your capto shreya sir capto bro florida to india capto bro florida to india fluorine is over here iodine is over here and at the first position this is capto your capto capto <laughs> my dear friend just do let me know in the chat section you got the trick capto bro florida to india now let me explain it let me explain it my dear friends chlorine is like this chlorine is like this and its lone pair are over here and these lone pairs if you 
are able to understand this is fluorine, this is chlorine, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. This is first period, this is second period, this is third period. So, all these are in 3P, but do remember its 3D is vacant, its 3D is vacant, 3D is vacant. So, these electrons will come from 2p, this 3p to 3d, they will do resonance and this is your 3p, from 3p the electrons will go to, electrons will go to 3d, they can do once again the back bonding, the electrons are free to move and as the size increases that orbitals get diffused orbitals gets diffused. So, dear students, just let me know in the chat section that fluorine is having, see what is the problem with fluorine? Let me, let me tell you what is the uh, problem with fluorine. Fluorine is like this, this is your fluorine, this is your fluorine and the electrons are in 2p, these electrons are in 2p and they are localized. 2d is not there, 2d is not there. Fluorine is not having any vacant d orbital, what I am ta talking about. Do let me know in the chat section, are you able to understand that fluorine does not have vacant d orbital. Let me tell you, this fluorine does not have any vacant orbital. So, electrons are localized only in case of electron, in case of fluorine electrons are localized and in case of fluorine electrons are delocalized, delocalized. De 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 my dear student, during the COVID pandemic, let me, let me, let me tell you the logic. Let me explain the logic. People used to say, people used to say that inorganic chemistry is not based on logics. You must have seen the quota factory and all. They are talking about that. No logic. See, I will let you know the logic behind it. What I am talking about, this is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So, fluorine is like this. Fluorine is having lone pair in the 2p, 2p, 2p. These lone pairs are in 2p, but no 2d orbital is there. No 2d, no 2d orbital is there. My dear students, fluorine is having number of vacant orbits, number of vacant orbitals, but there is no 2d no 2d so electrons are localized only localized localized you understand just like in covid pandemic we were localized in our homes we were not having freedom at that time to move to go to any place but once the covid pandemic was over we got the freedom to move from here to there we are particles and you know that electron is particle as well as wave it is wavical nature so all the waves they wants to move they want to diffuse if they are not getting freedom to move what they will do they will feel bored they will feel bored small house this is like a small house single room house small house small house or you can say single room single room house single room so they are not free to move these electrons are not free to move electrons are not free to move they are finding very difficult the electrons are not free to move electrons are not free to move so it is finding unstable that's why it is last so you got the answer if you are getting my answer, my dear student, just to let me know, yes, I want your support, I want your energy, just like I am teaching you with full on energy, I want your support. So, chalo bro, captain bro, captain bro, Florida to India, this is the answer. Maastricht, captain bro, captain bro, Florida to India, captain bro, Florida to India, just do let me show the chat section, in the chat section, just show. My dear students, I need your support, I need your thumbs up, I need your energy, I want to see this chat section colorful, I want to see this chat section colorful, I am feeling thirsty, I let me have some few drops of water, I want to see this, I am your teacher, now I am giving each and everything, I am giving the tricks, <laughs> what I am getting in turn of those tricks. At least I should to every action there is equal and opposite reaction. You know the Newton's third law of motion. If I am giving you the tricks, you give me the, you show me the thumbs up.
Okay, okay. Let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. Oh, what is the correct electronic configuration of central atom? Oh, great question. Let me see iron. Hey, iron. What's your atomic number? Hey, my atomic number is 26. Let me write down 62. Now, let me write down 3D6. 4s2 okay so what is the oxidation state 4 plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 so you are my hero x is equal to plus 2 oh you have donated two electrons so ferrous you are ferrous you are my dear ferrous ferrous so it is 3d6 it is 3d6 4s0 till now you are able to understand then i will let you know where the ahead till now are you able to understand then i'm going to tell you that each and everything my dear students you know that d or by two when we are talking about crystal field stabilization energy it is like this this is your T2G, this is your T2G and this is your eg this is your eg and this is your t2g t2g eg t2g eg energy is moving like this energy is moving like this now the cyanide is strong field ligand the cyanide is being a strong field ligand those hit the boss he will say hey just shift i can't tolerate any one of you so it will shift the three electrons other this weak field ligand one two three four five six but it is being a strong field ligand it will say oh you just go in the lower most energy level this is lowest energy level lowest energy level lowest or you can say lower energy level lower energy level so all six electrons have to put over here no electron at this place because of this who has done this way hey, you are doing this cyanide you are strong feeling and it is done by you only cyanide you are the culprit you allowed us to just remain in t2g so what's the answer t2g6 t2g t2g6 i will go for second option what's your answer everyone is getting second answer wow mary is getting shudarshan ji is getting and your vesali ji is also getting hey, let me show you the answer correct answer balle, 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 balle. so answer is absolutely correct hey just do let me know in the chat section are you able to understand i want to see your confidence everyone everyone are you able to understand next question next question oh which is correct thermal stability how many of you find difficulty in such type of questions just do let me know in the chat section how many of you want to understand this concept how many of you want to have trick for this just do let me know in the chat section then only i will give the trick otherwise i am not going to give you trick and logic trick and logic trick and logic if you want trick for this if you want trick for this just do let me know in the chat section then only hsp hsp is your hsp your hsp now i am your hsp your hsp will give you trick only when you write down in the chat section that you want to get trick for this otherwise i will not give you tricks for it if you want trick write down me and show me the fire and the thumbs up then only just do let me know in the chat section otherwise i am not going to give you why should I give? I want to see everyone with full on energy. I want to see that energy in the chat section. Otherwise, HSP is not going to give you a trick. Oh, my dear students. So, trick is, trick is, just to let me know in the chat section, bond of, oh, let me give you like this. Oh. Let me make something font bigger so that you can understand. Bond, bond, or you can say friendship. Bond, or you can talk about friendship. Friendship. Which friendship is better? A option. Friendship of equality or friendship of unequality bigger and smaller bigger and smaller which friendship is better equality equality means smaller 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 cation is smaller anion and larger larger that is bigger bigger 
which option will you opt just let me know do let me know in the chat section a or b bond or friendship of equality is good or unequality is good equality yeah yeah jashan preet kaur mary yeah you got it you got it you got it so i will make your inorganic chemistry like like samosa like cake like biscuit britannia biscuit my dear students so you know that let me rub it let me remove it and do let me know in the chat section that equality 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 so just try to understand oxygen oxygen hey oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium hey this is the radioactive leave it you go just away from here so this is the smallest one smallest 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 as smallest anion i will say this is smallest anion and hydrogen what do you say hydrogen is big or small just to let me know in the chat section hydrogen is big or small i want to understand i want to see whether you know even a single thing or if you don't know anything mad is doing just to let me know in the chat section this hydrogen is big or small i am asking with you my dear student this hydrogen is a option big b option is small i want to see in the chat section what option you are going to pick hydrogen is big or small just to let me day just that just to let me know the chat section small 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 so this would like to form bond with whom this is going to form a bond with whom just do let me know in the chat section it will find suitable relation with whom bond with whom so hey hydrogen will say oxygen i am your friend i am your friend just to have a good friendship with me i'm your good friend so so see which is going to be smart the, the thermal stability order who is having the maximum thermal stability h2 h2o h2o oxygen sulfur selenium tell you i will go for third option third option third option just to let me know in the chat section hey everyone just that I want your answer. I want to see your energy. If if this is the answer, everyone is getting this is the answer. Just do let me in the chat section. That relation of equality is good. So all the questions of S block, the solubility question, the thermal stability question, all type of question you can do with this relation only. That relation of equality is good. Small cation is small and I am small cation is small and just say. along with me my dear friend that a small cation a small ion that the best answer just hey this is the correct answer moment to joy moment to joy my dear friend this is a moment to joy this is today's festival that the moment to joy we have got the reason to joy ho oh. now let's start with organic chemistry i am not going to take too much time hey my dear students i am not going to take too much time i will make it fast organic chemistry in organic chemistry portion i am completed with i am completed with in organic chemistry if somewhere was in sir is there just do let me know come on sir let's a time to enjoy one thing we have done with physical chemistry we have done with in organic chemistry now we are going to enjoy with organic chemistry just check it out how much you are going to get in your organic chemistry how many of you are ready if you are ready just do let me know in the chat section with hearts for yourself i want to see the hearts for yourself your heart for you people just show me the chat section colorful then i am going to tell you about oh thank you vaishali ji oh oh my god thank you thank you just we can have water that much break only because continuously we have to study we need to study continuously then after on a chemistry break it's a big break we are going to take okay so here is your first question the most stable carbocation always remember that how many of you want to do this question with fantastic fabulous way stupendous performance see stability of carbocation depends on stability of stability of 
कार्बोकेटाइन डिपेंड्स ऑन डिपेंड्स ऑन फॉलोइंग फैक्टर्स फॉलोइंग फैक्टर्स वट आर दोज फैक्टर्स दीज फैक्टर्स आर डी ए आर बी बी एच आई एस वट इज इट मीन डी फॉर डांसिंग रेजोनेंस डी स्टैंड फॉर डांसिंग रेजोनेंस दिस आई विल लेट यू नो लेटर ऑन ए स्टैंड फॉर एरोमेटिसिटी E for equivalent resonating structures, R for resonance. Although back bonding is also resonance, B B for back bonding. Back bonding also included in resonance only. It depends on what type of back bonding is there. Hyper conjugation, H for hyper conjugation, S for I for inductive effect, I for inductive effect. S for percentage of S character. Always your NEET exam or IIT exam, whatever type of exam is there, just to remember, dare be be his, dare be be his. This is the full form, dare be be his. D A E R B B H I S. Just make a note of his. Now, dancing resonance is not there. Aromaticity is not there. Equivalent resonance is not there. Hyper conjugation only one thing is there. Hyper conjugation. Now see to it. It is with zero alpha hydrogen, no alpha hydrogen. It is having two alpha hydrogens. This one is having three and three, six alpha hydrogen atoms, and this is having three, 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 nine alpha hydrogens. So more the number of alpha hydrogen atoms. See, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. You can't understand how much active. i am here just to let you know each and everything so who is having maximum number of alpha hydrogen so d is having maximum number of alpha hydrogen so d is the correct answer you got it you got it just do let me know in the chat section if your answer is correct if your answer is correct just do let me show the thumbs up because i don't want less energy i am if i am energetic you have to be energetic to every action there have to be equal and opposite reaction this is the predicted yeah this is going to come so next question the strongest acid from the following say all they are phenol after losing proton they will become phenoxide they all will get negative charge so remember do remember one thing acidic strength of an acid acidic strength of an acid is directly proportional to stability of conjugate base stability of conjugate base now my dear students i want to see i want to understand which conjugate base is having least negative charge just to remember one thing that no2 is going to show Minus M effect, minus M that is minus R, or you can say minus I effect. So at meta position, NO2 can't apply its resonance, can't apply its mesomeric effect. So it is just going to apply minus I effect, minus I, minus I, minus I. It is electron withdrawing group. So due to minus I, it is going to withdraw the electrons and the magnitude of negative charge is getting decreased the magnitude of negative charge is getting decreased agreed magnitude is getting decreased so stability of this conjugate base is increased could you please just let me know this point is are you able to understand the no2 from meta position is decreasing the charge the charge is getting decreased and the stability is increased are you getting my point are you getting my point everyone now see this ch3 is giving electrons giving electrons giving electrons it is electron donor applying plus i due to plus i 
it is increasing the charge it is increasing the charge so stability got decreased stability got decreased now chlorine is minus i but minus this no2 was having more minus i and this is having little bit minus i and this is not having so this is going to be the answer this is going to be answer just do let me know in the chat section is if this is your answer first is the answer which of the following is strongest base water base which can easily donate its lone pair the one who can donate basic strength means base is the entity base is the entity that how fast that how fast it can donate its lone pair its lone pair i will say how fast or how easily either how fast or how easily it can donate now remember that if the electron is moving just do let me know in the chat section if electron is moving electron is like rabbit just just let me tell you electron let us suppose electron is like rabbit electron is like rabbit have you seen rabbit and proton is like dog proton is like dog now just do let me know my dear students i want your support i want your support electron is like rabbit and proton is like dog on which rabbit on which rabbit dog can attack first the moving or the uh, uh, rabbit which is moving fast or running fast on that rabbit or the rabbit which is localized tied with the ropes the rabbit tied with the ropes or the rabbit which is moving fast just do let me know my dear students because of localized yes here the rabbit is delocalized that means doing resonance doing resonance with benzene doing resonance means this rabbit is moving fast i would like to say this rabbit is running position this rabbit is in running position rabbit is running this rabbit is also running delocalized this rabbit is also running delocalized this rabbit can't move localized tied with ropes it is tied with ropes because in between benzene and this ns2 there is one what sp3 hybridized sp3 hybridized this is being sp3 hybridized my dear students so this is localized and this is going to be the answer if this is your answer just do let me know in the chat section is this is your answer just do ayan furkana ji yes our answer is absolutely correct nidhi ji yes definitely tied with rope yes definitely pooja ji yes so this is your answer perfecto perfecto so phenol ono heating with chloroform and nh anyway, this is the simplest reaction i would like to say everyone knew it phenol plus chloroform koh ch cl3 koh that this is going to give you what this will give you salicyl dehyde that is ortho hydroxy benzyl dehyde oh cho ortho hydroxy benzyl dehyde so this is rtr reamer reamer t man reaction where are you reamer t man reaction chloroform phenol this reamer t man yeah we got the correct answer we got the correct answer we are the winner we are the winner we are the winner winner just show your happiness if you are able to get the answer just just show your happiness in the chat section what has happened to you my dear students your teacher is not tired your teacher is continuously working for you people so just just show your love and affection yes oh hv z reaction hell volard jelensky reaction i do form hell volard jelensky reaction what is hell volard jelensky reaction ch3 cooh plus cl2 red phosphorus red phosphorus we will get ch2 cl we will get ch2 cl a ch2 cl we will get ch2 
Cl and COH, right? We will get this. So, Helvolat, oh, Helvolat Jelensky reaction. Let me tell you, my dear student, Helvolat Jelensky reaction. So, what is this? Helvolat Jelensky reaction, definitely Br2 red phosphorus. This third, A third, A is third. So, these are not the two answers. A is third, I, uh, 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 A third. So, all they are having three. Let me check it out. Iodoform test. Iodoform test. Who is going to NOH I2? B is first. B is first. B is first. These two can be the answer first and fourth. Now, let me check it out. C. Itard reaction. CRO2 Cl2. C is one. C is one. And Iodoform. This was the Iodoform. C is one. C is one. C is one. C is one. This is having C1. Let me check it out. A3. A3. B2, B2 and C3, C3 and D, D, Gutterman coach, Gutterman coach 4. So, I will go for third option. It was really a tough question. It was really a tough question, but I will go with this. Let me check it out. Is the answer, third is the answer? Oh, first. Let me check it out where the mistake I did. A3, 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 Halbolard Jelensky, right? A3. B1, B1, right? B1, Itard reaction, C2, C2, C2 and D4, D4. Everything is clear. Let me check it out. A3, B2, okay. B was 1. Definitely, this is the correct answer. This is the correct answer. This is the correct answer. So, take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. It was the slip of marker, I would like to say take care in this question. See, I did each and everything correctly perfecto, but I have round the circle with the wrong answer. Can you see? Everything, everything I did correctly, but I marked the wrong answer. Take care of it. Take care of it. Are you getting my point? Sometimes it happens, you get the correct answer, you and marked it wrong. You know each and everything, but yes, yeah, definitely I will, I will provide you the answer. I will provide you the answer. Now, another question. Catalyst used in Rosenmund reaction. Rosenmund reaction is RCOCl, RCOCl, H2, PD, barium sulfate, RCHO, Rancho. RCHO, 3 date movie. So, H2, PD variant sulfate. Second is the correct answer. Yeah, definitely. Another question. In Hoffman, happy body reaction. This I, I used to say happy body reaction. Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. Happy body reaction. So, what happens in happy body reaction? RCO NH2 plus Br2 plus 4 moles of KOH gives degradation RNH2, 1 degree amine. So, what is the question? 4 moles of NOH, 2 moles of Br2, 4 moles of KOH, 1 mole of Na2. What answer you are going to get? 4 moles of NOH and 1 mole of Br2. I would like to say this is going to be the correct answer and definitely 4 moles of NOH and 1 mole of Br2. Can you see? 4 moles of NOH. What I written? What I wrote over here? 1 mole of Br2 and 4 moles of KOH. Can you see? Everyone just see to it. This reaction is from NCRT. So, each and everything of NCRT is important and when I am going to tell you, yeah, reaction mechanism part 2, definitely I will, I will take reaction mechanism part 2, definitely. Okay, another question. On heating aliphatic primary amines with chloroform, oh my dear, it's really good, it's really good, 1 degree amine with chloroform and KOH, CHCl3 plus KOH, which reaction is this? Oh, foul smell. Oh, bad smell is coming. Very, very bad. Very, very bad smell is coming out. Very, very bad smell is coming, coming out. Or you can say unpleasant smell. Unpleasant smell is coming out. Oh, my God. Poisonous compound. Such a great properties. Who is this? Who is this? Let me tell you who is this. This is RNC, RNC isocyanide. So, what is the answer? And alkyl isocyanide. I will go with fourth answer. 
I will go for the fourth answer. Are you able, able to understand? Just do let me know in the chat section. Yes, show me the thumbs up. If your answer is correct, at least show the thumbs up for yourself. You can't you do that? Can't you do that? At least show energy for yourself if you got the correct answer. My dear students, at least you can show thumbs up for yourself only. If not for me, you can show thumbs up for yourself. Carbalamin reaction. Yes, this is known as car. By love, carbalamin reaction. Carbalamin reaction. Okay, another question. On heating, oh, this is okay. What is the structure of the major product band phenol stroke? Oh, my dear student, see how to do this question. Awesome, really awesome question. This is your phenol. Hey, eh? what happened, phenol? Hey, phenol. You know the NCRT lines when phenol is treated with water, it is in equilibrium with phenoxide. Do you remember this thing? Phenoxide thermodynamically more stable. Thermodynamically more stable. Are you getting my point? Have you studied the NCRT lines? These are the NCRT lines. Just do let me know in the chat section. Have you studied NCRT lines? So, this is ring activating group. Ring activating, what do you understand by ring activating? Ring activating means it is supplying electrons to the benzene ring through plus m. Through plus m, plus m or you can say plus r. But simultaneously, it is electron withdrawing through minus i, electron withdrawing group through minus i and it is acting as electron donating group through plus m. But over here, you can see oxygen is having negative charge. Can you see? Just do let me know. You can see. So, it is putting plus r that is plus m as well as plus i. That means it is donating electron to the benzene ring through plus m r i, m r i, plus m plus r resonance that same thing plus i. So, it is strongly ring activating group strongly ring activating group are you able to understand whenever somebody is coming to our home if we are having a large heart deep heart then we will say oh dear let's enjoy come to our home and stay in all the op rooms Come and stay in all the OP rooms. What are these OP rooms? Could you please help me? What are these OP rooms? For phenol, what are OP rooms? Just nearby, this is O, this is P. OP rooms. Just come, dear. Just come and stay in OP rooms. Why they are OP rooms? Because when this is going to give electrons, when this is going to provide electron, so what will happen that? this is going to give electron and negative charge negative charge that means they are full on with maximum electrons with maximum electrons with maximum electrons so you will get white ppt of white ppt of 246 tribromophenol this is given in an ncrt you will get white ppt white precipitate of 246 tribromophenol i will go with first option let me check it out yeah yeah the answer is correct how many of you got it? How many of you got it? Just do let me know in the chat section. You got the correct answer. If you got the correct answer, just do let me know in the chat section. Like and subscribe, my dear students. I want to see your likes to get increased. I want to see these likes should get increased, everyone. Deficiency of vitamin causes osteomalacia. Oh my God, this is bio question. Oh, I have to call Ambika, ma'am. Hey ma'am, please help with this question. This is biology question. Biology question has been asked in your chemistry paper. <laughs> biology question has been asked in your chemistry paper, but I know that deficiency of vitamin D, deficiency of vitamin D causes rickets in small kids. Just do let me know if I am right. Deficiency of vitamin D for the kids, it is causing rickets and for the adults, it is causing osteomalacia. Osteomalacia. Osteomalacia should be the answer. Vitamin D. I will go with 
थर्ड ऑप्शन प्रोटीन एनर्जी माल न्यूट्रिशन इज क्वाशर कार मैरिसमेंस विटामिन सी डेफिशेंसी स्कर्बी एंड विटामिन डी डेफिशेंसी इज रिकेट्स इन किड्स एंड इन एडल्ट्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑस्ट्रोमेलेशिया इफ आई एम राइट इफ आई एम करेक्ट If I'm perfect, hey, I want to see in the chat section. I want to see the fire in the chat section. Just do let me know, my dear kids. I want to see. Yes, if my answer is absolutely correct, I want to see. <laughs> yes, thumbs up in the chat section. Oh, my kids, just do show me your love. Just do let me know. Just do let me know. Am I right or not? At least show your affection, my dear kids. I want to see. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Oh, I can see your love. I can see your love. That yes, everyone. Yeah, my kids. Really. You made my day. You made my day. Feeling awesome. I'm feeling energetic. Your HSP is feeling energetic. Oh yeah, soft bones and joints pain in adults. Yeah, there is pain due to this. Yeah, I can see. I can see your affection. I can feel it. I can feel it. May God Almighty God bless you with all happiness and prosperity and with the best strength. Today I'm asking. With the God, just God, hey God, bless all these students with all happiness and prosperity. With the fantastic, awesome rank, oh, fantastic! Another question. This is correct. Decreasing order towards S N one reaction. Oh, oh, bro, this is a really awesome question. Just do let me know that rate of S N one reaction. Rate of S N one reaction. Rate of SN one reaction is directly proportional to stability of carbocation. Stability of carbocation. Agreed? Yes, sir. Agreed. Just try to understand what I am writing, my kids. What I have written, kids. Do let me know. Are you able to understand? That rate of S N one reaction is directly proportional to stability of carbocation, and we are interested in stability of carbocation. So, see to it. This is C H two plus. This is C H two plus. This is C H two plus, and this is C H two plus. Just do let me know in the chat section. Charge should get decrease. The charge of that. Positive charge magnitude should get decrease or increase. This is NO two minus m, minus m. So it is going to plus plus charge. Oh, bro, plus plus charge will increase. Charge will increase. Stability will decrease. Stability will decrease. Stability will decrease. Oh, m e plus m plus m will provide negative charge oh great means provide electron hey good good nice to see you hey can you form a bond with me it is finding stability that positive charge you can say the hungry man the man is hungry and two hungry people are together oh my god i am not feeling good and this hungry he got pizza this is pizza this is pizza and this is the hungry man hungry man got pizza idli dosa sambar vada this hungry man got something to eat it is feeling this man second one is feeling great oh my god i'm feeling good i'm feeling good so this is going to be the most stable this b is going to be the most stable and most stable maximum b b b here is not b a go here is not b a go hey 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 only in one option there is b Only in one option there is B. Just do let me know in the chat section. Are you able to understand? Only in one option. I would I would like to say only in one option there is B, and they are not going to be the answer. My answer is B. My answer is B. Everyone is saying four D. By D. Oh, this is wrong answer. B is at the last least reactive. Oh, least reactive. You are better than me. So, kids, what's the answer? Maximum reactive. They have asked. 
and they have asked the decreasing order and if somebody is putting the answer like increasing order then you will get the wrong answer this was the increasing order so b so maximum reactive is b this is maximum reactive and this is going to be least reactive so maximum reactive and least reactive b is maximum reactive and a is least reactive so a is the correct answer oh d is the correct answer d is the correct answer so you got it and keep in your brain the sign once you are getting the correct answer but then also if you are not able to understand the sign be aware of it be aware of it be aware of the sign be aware of sign increasing or decreasing sign that is the most important thing right everyone got it have you got the point have you got the point will you keep in your brain the sign once we are able to do each and everything correctly but at the last moment if we are not able to see the sign properly we won't be able to get the correct answer next question decreasing order towards sn1 reaction for the following ah, already we have discussed oh three chloro cyclobutane how it look like cyclobutane is like this where we have to put one bromo three chloro one bromo three chloro okay so there is only single ring there is only single ring that means no intermolecular no intermolecular no intermolecular woods reaction this is going to be woods reaction <laughs> have you heard woods kalipa have you heard woods kalipa this is not woods kalipa this is woods reaction this is not woods kalipa this is woods reaction woods reaction so only we have to follow we have to follow intramolecular we have to follow intramolecular intramolecular woods reaction intramolecular woods reaction are you able to understand so how it will take place it will move like this free radical at this point we will get free radical at this point we will get free radical because they will go moving like free radical homolytic cleavage homolytic cleavage now what are you, you will get my dear kids just to let me know in the chat section what you are going to get you will get something like this bicyclo 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 compound so see to it fourth is the correct answer you got it everyone got it fourth is the correct answer fourth is the correct answer next next oh the major product formation in the friedel craft acylation acylation of chlorobenzene now see to it this is your chlorobenzene why they have asked this question what's the reason behind it what's the reason behind it for what they are asking this question because chlorobenzene minus i is dominating then plus m effect this in halogens this is the thing otherwise plus m dominates on minus i but here in this case this but still it is ortho para directing still it is ortho para directed still ortho para directed this is given in your class 12th this is given in your class 12th first chapter that rx hello alkenes and hello arenes this is given over there so you are dealing with acylation acylation means this chlorobenzene will react with rcocl it is going to react with rcocl what is rcocl ch3 cocl because this is going to provide acyl group and the carbocation will be ch3 co positive so where it is going to attack chlorine is bigger this will attack at ortho as well as at para but major will be at para because of less steric hindrance due to less steric hindrance less steric hindrance this is going to attack on para my dear students i think i hope you all so now let me know what's the answer do let me know in the chat section what is the answer i have told you each and everything so due to less steric hindrance para is the most suitable position so the correct answer is fourth if you got the correct answer do let me know in the chat section my dear students how is my energy level are you are you getting each and everything just do let me know in the chat section are you able to understand each and everything my dear students 
हे ब्रो हे माय ऑल डियर किड्स डू लेट मी नो द एनर्जी आई एम गोइंग टू कंप्लीट इट दिस इज योर नीड पेपर इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू गेट दैट मच ऑफ एनर्जी देन हाउ विल यू सिट इन योर एग्जामिनेशन आई एम गिविंग यू द रियल फील ऑफ योर एग्जामिनेशन in your neat examination that is of 3 hours and 20 minutes and before that you you are supposed to go to your center and after that also after giving your paper how much time is required can you understand kids just take the real feel show me the energy level oh formal diet can be distinguished from ester diet what is formal diet h C double bond O H. This is formal diet, and what is acetal diet? C H three. C double bond O H. This is being acetal diet. Both the general names, stable names, I wrote. If I go for IUPAC name, those who are not able to understand the general names, let me tell you the. IUPAC names also. This is known as methanol, and this is known as ethanol. Ethanol. Now, this is aldehyde. This is also aldehyde Sips reagent. You can't distinguish with this Sips reagent because both will give. Now, Tollens test. Both will give positive Tollens test. Formal aldehyde as well as ester aldehyde. Tollens test is given by all aldehydes. Phalanx test, phalanx test once again is given by all aldehydes. So what is left? What is left? I can see in the chat section, my dear kids, you are really intelligent. You are really intelligent. Yes. Now I can see in the chat section, you are going to kill the exam. You are going to get the best rank. Yes. I can see in the chat section. Yes. Now I got. the satisfaction by seeing your answer definitely you are going to get the best rank in your examination because all the questions what i can see you are able to do most of the questions so definitely all the best all the one student is asking neem time who will give sips test remember that tollens test phalanx test skips test and benedict's test is given by all aliphatic aldehydes what well, student so are you getting my point just do let me understand just do let me know all the aliphatic aldehydes reason is if you are having aliphatic aldehydes all the aliphatic aldehydes if i say if i say all aliphatic aldehydes all aliphatic aldehydes they give Tollens test, positive Tollens test, positive Phalanx test, positive Benedict's test, and positive Skips test. Skips test. Don't confuse with the Skips base. They I'm talking about. They all give positive all these four tests, all aliphatic aldehydes because Tollens test. All these be a MOA mild oxidizing agent. this is your reducing agent this is your reducing agent so it is definitely a redox reaction it is going to be definitely a redox reaction so another question reaction between acetylene this is something wrong let me change some data is wrong leave it so leave this question an unknown alcohol is treated with leucas reagent to determine whether the alcohol is primary secondary or tertiary let me tell you before you give the answer if we are provided with 3 degree alcohol and we are reacting with leucas reagent what is leucas reagent anhydrous zncl2 and concentrated hcl the equimolar solution of all these two so you will get turbidity immediately within seconds within seconds you will get turbidity means reaction will take place and turbidity means the solution will become translucent alcohol 
that alcohol will become translucent. So, turbidity you will get within fraction of seconds, within fraction of seconds, within fraction of seconds you are going to get turbidity, fraction of seconds, fraction of second and one more thing let me tell you my dear students, this tertiary alcohol, this tertiary alcohol is that much basic that it can give reaction even without liquid reagent. Why it is most basic? Because if I say, if I talk about these 3 plus I will increase the electron density and this alcohol, 3 al degree alcohol is most ba basic. 3 degree alcohol is maximum basic, then 2 degree alcohol, then 1 degree alcohol, this is the being the basic strength order. Basic strength order means, so let me check it out, an unknown alcohol is treated with Lucas region to determine whether the alcohol is primary, secondary or tertiary, which alcohol reacts fastest and why with what mechanism. Mechanism is SN1 because carbocation it proceed with carbocation formation, it proceed with carbocation formation that means the intermediate is in carbocation and once the intermediate is formed that reaction is known as SN1 reaction because something is leaving from the life of carbon, OH is going and in the life of Okay, this carbon chlorine is taking place means carbon has lost OH and carbon has got chloride. Why this reagent is being used? Because this is acting as catalyst. Now, my dear student, student must be thinking what is the reason? See to it, OH is poor leaving group, strong base, so it is poor leaving group. So, it is like a man sitting on the seat and it is not ready to leave the seat. OH is a man sitting on the seat that is carbon and it is not going to leave that seat. What chloride will do? Chloride can't react with, so he will call it TT that TT is ZnCl2, some external catalyst then the reaction is going to take place. What is your answer? What is your answer? What is your answer? Tertiary alcohol? Oh no, tertiary alcohol SN1. I will go for second option. Do let me know in the chat section is the answer. See, it is SN2. SN2 means single step reaction. Single step reaction. Single step reaction will not form carbocation. And SN1 means with intermediate formation. With intermediate formation. Just do let me know. I think this is last or second last question. Do let me know. I will go for second option. If you are agreed for the second option, do let me know in the chat section. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it. 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 Now. Can he jaro? Jaro jaro. He jaro. Can he jaro? Can he jaro means can he jaro is not given by. Oh, in the name reaction, I have told you for can jaro reaction. No acidic alpha hydrogen must be present. No alpha hydrogen must be present means no alpha hydrogen. So, see to it this is having alpha hydrogen can't give this is having can't give oh Kanijaru reaction is not given by you oh, 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 see if you are not able to see not given by not uh, keep this point my lord point to be noted my lord point to be noted point to be noted most of the time we are doing this mistake we know each and everything we we know all the concept what most of the time we are forgetting this thing that what the examiner is asking examiner is focusing on not 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 this is this will give will give will give kanijaro will give because it is not having alpha hydrogen this this cho 1 valency, 2 valency, 3 valency, no alpha hydrogen, no alpha hydrogen. So, this will also give, will give Kanijaro reaction and this, this is not having alpha hydrogen, no alpha hydrogen, no alpha hydrogen. This will also give, will give Kanijaro, will give Kanijaro and this is having 3 acidic alpha hydrogens, 3 acidic alpha hydrogens. This can't give Kanijaro reaction. So, my answer is, I will go with 3. Agreed? Everyone agreed? Are you agreed? Three won't give yes. You are more intelligent. Oh my God. Really? Really? Next question. Oh, this is rank deciding question. This is rank deciding question. Would you like to do it? Would you like to do it? 
dear student this is going to be rank deciding question this is a question for top 10 rank this is the question for top rank would you like to do it question for top 10 rank would you like to do it just do let me know in the chat section question for top 10 rank this is the best question could you please let me know what type of reaction is going to take place this is really the best question could you please let me know what type of reaction it will show do let me know in the chat section how many of you want to do, do this question and write down in the chat section what type of reaction this compound will show what type of reaction this compound will show just do let me know in the chat section so you can see to it very clearly one thing is very clear this conh2 whenever you see conh2 and br2 noh or you can see br2 koh or you can see kobr it's like cobra cobra primary amides cobra reaction so like primary amine so you will get primary amine so happy birthday reaction hoffman bromamide degradation hoffman bromamide degradation reaction got it hoffman bromamide degradation reaction once the hoffman bromamide degradation reaction has taken place how to do it this question how to get the correct answer what happens hoffman, hoffman bromamide degradation reaction that r conh2 becomes r nh2 that means what will happen this co will go away so shortening of the chain shortening of chain will take place shortening of chain will take place shortening of chain that means we will get one degree amine from one degree amide one carbon less we will get one degree amine from one degree amide one degree amide has got converted to one degree amine with one carbon less whether it is aliphatic or aromatic you are going to get the same answer but but how to do such a big question how to do such a big question don't lose your hope have confidence have confidence so let me tell you how to do this question on reacting with this this co will eliminate out so you will get ch2 and the co will leave and you will get nh2 right and during hydrolysis this is ester on hydrolysis ester gets converted to what could you please let me know in the chat section asters converts into what if you're providing water water what is going to happen so say to it everyone hey zoom a zoom you will get acid r c o o h so this part will convert into same carbon acid so you will get c double bond o o h so they have given heat have you ever prepared vegetable have you ever cooked food when you keep anything just my dear student if you keep water on the pan and if you provide heat what will happen just do let me know in the chat section if you provide suppose this is iron vessel or something and you're providing heat what will happen this water will leave or not if you're providing heat what will happen just do let me know in the chat section if you are providing heat something if you're providing heat to something what will happen zoom it is plastic bottle i'm not saying i'm not talking about you are going to provide heat to this plastic bottle something metallic vessel is there and if you are providing heat to it what will happen i want to see hey dear friend i want to see in the chat section please please will you help your hsp sir will you help your hsp will you help your hsp just do let me know in the chat section if you are having metallic vessel and you are providing heat to it what is going to happen boil water will eliminate out correct answer i got it tarun shankar ji has given the correct answer water will eliminate out so we have to eliminate out water from here so this will eliminate out this will eliminate out and what you are going to get you will get you will get CH2 NH C double bond O but do remember how many membered ring is it 
while moving water from its life how many membered ring you got how many membered ring five member do remember ring can be of six or can be of five or can be of seven if ring are not of like that water will not give this is not intramolecular cyclization intra molecular cyclization cyclization intramolecular cyclization so what's your answer do let me know in the chat section what's your answer for which answer you are going to get yes just do let me know so third is the correct answer co and h c s2 correct answer correct answer absolutely correct oh we have completed we have completed today's work we have completed hey hip hip hooray so how much you got just do let me know in the chat section how much you got so we have completed today's neat paper everyone everyone with such a cool and calm and patience we have completed today's paper how much happy i can't express in my words hey almighty god bless these all these students with all happiness prosperity and the best rank my dear students thanks for your love and support and thanks for being with us with that energy it was required we have done physical we have completed inorganic we have completed organic we have completed bio and we have completed physics ambika ma'am must be happy wasim sir shreya sir your captain sir so my dear friends just show me the happiness in your goc plus hydrocarbon yeah definitely um uh, in the comment section definitely you can write i'm going to give you one question i'm going to give you one question for the last moment i want to see your answer in the chat section one question for today i'm going to give you why this carbocation is most stable what's the reason why this carbocation is most stable and this is the stablest most carbocation you are supposed to find out the reason for it first question this is your first question find out the reason in the chat section i want to know i want to understand reason for this and second question this is the first question this is the first question second question for all of you because for rank deciding for the top 10 rank if your aim is to go to the aims tally if your aim is go to aims tally you are suppose you have to find out the reason for it and you have to find out what is the hybridization for this carbon what is the hybridization of this carbon find out hybridization let me tell you its hybridization is not sp3 this is not sp3 let me tell you if you if you are thinking this is sp3 this is not sp3 sp3 is the wrong answer it's not sp3 for first com compound and for the second you are supposed to find out the reason once you got the reason do let me know in the comment section i'm giving you i'm giving you two questions what is the hybridization over here hybridization of this carbon first question you are supposed to find out hybridization of carbon in cyclopropane this is your cyclopropane this is your cyclopropane find out hybridization in cyclopropane whether it is saturated or unsaturated and what's the reason for stability maximum stability for this carbocation maximum stability for this carbocation these are the two questions do write in the comment section once if you are having your lunch have your lunch have your lunch it is not sp2 let me tell you it is neither sp3 nor sp2 nor sp nor sp3d <laughs> neither sp3d nor sp3d2 just try to find out what's the answer and do let me know in the chat section neither of them neither of them neither of them so i will wait for your answer i will wait for your answer just have your lunch just have your lunch and do let me know in the comment section bye to all of you bye bye from all 
Ah, just wait, just wait. Sir is there. Just wait, wait, wait. Just, just, uh, just for a second. Sir, please. What's in, sir? Wait. All your teachers are over here. Just wait for, just wait for a second, my dear kids. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hurry. What a clap. Oh, yeah. Everyone What's up, guys? Here. Done? What a crazy session. Yes. Exactly. So How much time will it go? Please, please, this close is that al door. Almost six hours. Guys, it's just a start. We are going to teach you like that with full of energy. Isn't it, sure, sir? I agree. There is a lot of plans going on. So, guys, don't think that we are relaxing all this time. We are actually making plans for your next exactly. week. Exactly. You, you saw that I, I created one poll in the Telegram group like few minutes back. Just have a look on that. We were just basically discussing one special plan for all of you so that Stay majority tuned. of the things will get covered in lesser time for all of you. Exactly. Okay. And it's not only about syllabus completion. We are looking after the test series as well. At least some six, seven tests we should provide. Right. So that you become properly trained, exam oriented. Right. That's all what we are planning till now. So how is the Josh? Is the Josh still high or you guys are done and dusted? Oh, huh? <laughs> yeah. Is the Josh still high? Yeah, the tell me in the chats fire. quickly. Give give me the fire symbols. Yes. Get the PDF you'll get it. You'll get it in the Don't Telegram worry. group. Don't worry about that. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wonderful guys. Good, good, good. Chalo, it was nice meeting you today. Right? So <laughs> 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 we we saw one we saw someone writing something so we had to laugh over it okay it's completely okay we are yeah, yeah. enjoying it and we are we love all the love and we love all the hate also yes and we like all the comment uh, we want comments in the comment section literally we want answer so answer me. answer you and have to write in the comment section this These is two questions I have given and answers. one more thing this is something which i want you guys to write this was our fourth day by the way right yeah. You are guys are going to write day four accomplished. Completed. Day four completed. Hashtag, Hashtag yes. day four completed. Yes. This is something which keeps us motivated all the time basically. Just after looking your chats and all, your comments and all, right? Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Very good. <clears throat> Very good. So I think that's it for today. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. it for today. Let's, let's, uh, let's catch up now. Who want to uh, study will keep studying. Answer from will us. be yeah. provided in another session. Two questions I have given to them. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Someone is writing dancing resonance. Is that? Which question was? Yeah, but don't. Yeah, yes. But, <laughs> but don't, some, don't tell. Huh? Don't okay, tell. Okay, okay, don't okay. don't let them know. Huh? Them Two questions rest. and this is exactly guys. Yeah, you now, take now, some rest now. Okay, let's catch up tomorrow. Yes. Do watch the session again. Right. Do have a proper eye on the questions which all the teachers did in different subjects. Okay. Rest. Someone is saying some nonsense stuff. Why did you do this? Yeah, that happens. Well, let's not worry. You just matter. you just focus on you know, the learning. That's how it. You should be in the exam also. See, a lot of distractions will come. Now, some students are saying this, that, and all. It doesn't matter because we are focused. We know. We think like toppers. We think like people who are going to score more. Exactly. So, that's how and your attitude should be. literally, you people are allowed to ask us the question when we will leave teaching. And that I I don't think that we are going to do that. Exactly. Right. We will keep on teaching, and that is our spirit. Isn't it? I Isn't it? Course, so course. take care, everyone. So take Bye. care. God bless you all. Take Sorry. proper rest first. Or उसके बाद. पहले विस्तार guys. You guys. Question का आंसर दे दो. दूसरे का नहीं देते. पहले के बच्चे पूछ रहे हैं. Later on. 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 Later